Hello? H h hello? 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 <laughs> My dudes, what's going on? What's happening, gent? How we doing today? Nice YouTube shorts, G. Yo, thanks, Arlong, dude. What'd you get? Did you guys see the, uh, did you guys see the YouTube short that just came out? I mean, it was, it was a, it was a beginner guide, but I mean, it, 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 it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Nope. No? The audacity, dude. Wait, what, where, what, what is it at? What is this view count right now? 2.2. You know, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's getting there. I don't watch sh shorts. They rot your brain, dude. Yeah, but if it's a Griffey short, dude, it doesn't rot your brain. What are you talking about? Bro, you, bro, 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 bro. It's a Griffey short, okay? That shit should rot your brain. How's it going, Chad? How we doing today? What's going down? What's happening? Yo, shit, the music's really loud. You're right. We turn that down. Is that better? That's still way too loud. Here, let's go like this. There it is. I'll go watch and learn something. I mean, it's nothing that I haven't taught people already. It, it was a beginner. It was a beginner tip for the people that just starting out alone. They were. Uh, it, it was. It was a walking sticks tip of how you can get early in-game money and shit. And then some and then some dude messaged she's like, Well well actually you could do it at Sandy Pots and it's like Bitch, did you not hear what I said? You get accuracy statues and money. And XP. Alright. Sandy Pots has a low mob density. Okay. And Sandy Pots materials are actually used for something. Would you fucking believe it? My god. Well, I'm apparently the guy that did the goddamn speed run. Doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Do I need sticks for post office? Eh. Eh. But I mean, let's be honest. It, it, let, let, let's let's be let's be completely honest here. Okay. Just for just for a quick second here. If you're going, if you're at the point where you need to kill sticks to level one to fifty, and you're just trying to get some easy money and statues, are you really doing post office right now? Probably not. You're probably not doing post office for a hot minute. I need an IE review for worship, dude. You need to kill sticks for star size worship, also. Yeah, true. Did you cosplay a fire hydrant today? Bro, imagine wearing a red shirt and getting called a fire hydrant. But how we doing today, chat? Sorry I'm late. I had to go help out the G-Ma bit. I had to get her G-Ma's disguise all ready to go fight Amrock. So, uh, a little, little bit, little bit of late skis on that. But we're back. I made sure that I still wanted to stream today. I didn't want to leave you guys high and dry. And plus, we also have to tackle the tier list today, so I, we need to get this done. And by the way, it's Nick Dark. Welcome on in. Thank you for the follows. Chris Skull, thank you for the three-month primer, dude. I appreciate it, dude. What's going on? Need that green tier list, brother? Yeah, we. I mean, we got... So basically, I've been working on chopping down the orange tier list and then try to get that out for this week and then i can get the green one out for next week and then i can get the purple one out and then i can get the the yellow one out and then and then we can do like a gaming guide and then uh and then and then we go from there wish me luck gm pushing around 200 pet arena 
Yo, good luck. Good luck, Bosky, dude. How you doing, Jansen? Doing good, dude. How you doing, man? What's up, confirmed? What's happening? Post office is actually hard to unlock. Took a couple days for me since I unlocked World 2. Yeah, exactly, dude. And even once you unlock, even once you unlock post office, it still takes forever to get any boxes. Has Gma one shot Amrock? Not yet. She's getting there. She's getting there. You know, it's slow. She's she's not technically inclined, half act. So you know, you know, she's uh, she thought she took she took some tips from some other guys and she didn't put any points into accuracy. You know, cl classic classic newbie issue. New player. Yo, what's up, Pax Frosty? Why is two hundred fifty high achievement so annoying? Because lava likes annoying people sometimes. It is what it is. At work right now, been caught on fire twice on hit with a grinding disc already today. Well, why don't you wear more uh, fire retardant stuff, huh? Eh? So, Smile, why'd you, why, why was there so much struggle putting the Griffey vibe into Discord? Ah. <sighs> Oh, she not see G video help? Yeah, I linked it to her. Yeah, it works great now. G unlock goblin breeding, and now I'm 15 in breeding. That also jumped my damage from 6, 9, 7k to 700k. Look at you, dude. Slowly moking it up. Slowly moking it up. Yo, what's up, Tets? Nerd. Yo, thank you for the primer, dude, for the 10 months. Yo, thank you, man. Two, hey, two more months, and it'll be a full year of Tets. Jesus. Can't believe I put up with you for almost a full year. Jesus. Holy moly. I'm just kidding, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. Too big of a file? Ah, uh, I see. Just sit in happy hour and spam it for an hour and come in and out? Oh, yeah, that's fair. And scaling doesn't seem for some reason? Ah. My whole set of clothes are for real except my boots. They're a bit old, but for real shouldn't have been washed out. They've only been washed these a few times. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got to World 4 today? Yo, grats confirmed. Welcome to World 4, dude. It says 128 by 128 recommended. It says you can't scale. Set the gift to 96 to 96. That just sounds stupid. Geez, is it worth to do World 4 Collie to get eggs and boost breeding level? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Since there's no... It's also a good source of money is early World 4. Uh, is doing Coliseum. Uh, just because you get eggs and you get ladles. Not only do you get eggs and ladles, you also get money percent, which is also very important. Or not money percent, you just get money. You have for longer, been here since March last year. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, ah, oh, jeez. Oh, Probably got my first 100 million damage care today. Super stoked. Nice. My defense won't let me prog. But time to put some points into FMJ, baby. Wait, uh, confirmed. Are you maxed out on your Flurbo defense percent? Like, have, you done, have you done enough happy hours to max out on Flurbo shop? The grip got A, dude. Uh, and also confirmed, what you can do is recraft, like, what what gear do you have? Because if you're still running Amrock, you can recraft Amrock and then upgrade tier 4 stones onto your Amrock gear, and that should give you a bunch more defense. Hey, Griffey, how are you? Just came back to the game after a major life issue financially, but I'm back getting into the game with a break of, from life stress and need to get back of what you told me to do four months ago. You told me the ways I can get defense and accuracy to up the ways to progress. Yo, what's up? What's up, Drake Lee, dude? We've been expecting you. Welcome back. Oh, fire retirement, by the way? Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. See, I thought it was for real, dude. I thought it was for real. What's up, Mitch? I learned today that I have a 100% shiny chance on every trap, even blob. You gotta love that, dude. That, that's the best feeling. Fire retirement, also for real, also for real. <laughs> it's for real because it's for real clothing, dude. I thought it was for real clothing, man. It almost 9 mil oak print today. Give me them atoms. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, bro. I turned on my A- we finally got an air conditioner and I turned that shit on because I had to leave it off for 24 hours. Dude, I didn't realize how hot it was in this room. Holy moly. Absolute omega game changer, okay? Insane game changer. I actually have to wear socks now because it's freaking cold in here. I love it. So good. Imagine going to World 4 and you still unlock star signs. Yeah, star signs is a big one, dude. Imagine, imagine not listening to Griffey and go unlocking star sides. How to get more bloaches for prints, bro? Uh. So when it comes to getting bloaches in 3D prints, you're going to be more relying on AFK gains when it comes to fishing than you are with efficiency because efficiency is so goddamn hard. 
No, I'm maxing talents points right now. I'm working hard towards void gear. Okay. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good then. Yeah. I mean, you should, you should. I mean, wait. You're in world four and you're having trouble with defense and you're running Dementia armor? That shouldn't, that shouldn't be an issue. What level is your FMJ bubble? And do you have, do you have level 50 hemoglobin? Paramax 2? Yo, 4,224 call me Bob. Yo, how much XP is that? 89 times ain't shit. Yo. Yo. Spit him coming in with the primer, dude. And Twist coming in with the 15 months. Yo, thank you for the T1 twist. Spit on. Thank you for the primer, dude. Thank you, guys. I know time. Time passed way too quickly when you're playing Eidolon, dude. Ain't that for real. Ain't that the truth. G finally getting AC moving up in the world, dude. Yeah, I know. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's one of those portal ones. So it's not like we spent like six grand on it. Like a freaking industrial AC. But I mean, it's, it's one of those ones that has a hose that sticks into the window, you know. The room's small enough that it cools it down, so it's like, I feel like I'm li living in an iceberg. <sighs> you were expecting me? Did you remember that I was supposed to come back in two weeks to check the progress of DK in World 4? Yeah. Yeah, Drakely, that's exactly what that was. Yeah, and not because I was just saying it, just because everybody that leaves Eidolon always comes back. Right, I remember. It's yeah, it's the DK. Yeah, you're not a real Canadian. Then when Canadian never get cold, also never wear socks. False and false. We wear Crocs. What are the best star signs to activate? Uh, so it depends on what part of you the game. Like AFK, you're gonna be running the mob re the four percent mob respawn, the the four percent fight AFK gains, and then Forsaken, which is 8% fight AFK gains, and then if you're running active, you're going to be running um, Mount Eaterist, uh, Bulwark, and uh, probably the Overachiever if you want extra DPS. And if you're doing stuff like uh, mining, you're going to be like running Dwarf Obeardus, you're going to be running... Um, uh, the two percent skill AFK gains, the four percent skill AFK gains, but that's that's like later. That's later in. Oh no, I was in plat. Oh, okay. So yeah, you still have to get to void there. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're, I don't know if you're trying to. Do you have plat in tier four, or or do you have to make dementia to get into tier four? First time I managed to catch the stream, I'm a YouTube frog, so normally I just watch VODs, so I'm happy to be here. Yo, hell yeah, dude. Well, I mean, I le at least, you know, at least you have the VODs for the second channel, you know? At least there's still stuff to get it going. So, welcome on in, dude. 20 billion construction XP an hour. That's disgusting. Could you look into my IE and tell me how to progress further? I'm pretty much at the end. No. Uh, we, we do IE reviews as, like, a giveaway standpoint sort of situation. We don't just uh, hop in and just do IEs because realistically, if I if I did that for you, Dark, then I'd have to do it for somebody else, and then I'd have to do it for somebody else, and then the next thing you know, we'll just do a whole stream of IE reviews, and it'll just uh, yeah yeah just be unnecessary. I'm so close to 150 Goblin TD right now. Wait, are you? Wait, what, what what's your wizard damage percent for your towers? All right, I'm heading D and D. Yo, sounds good, Demos. Have a good one, dude. Crocs ain't no socks. No, you wear Crocs and socks, okay? That, that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate Canadian experience. That's like soccer dad minus, or times 5,000, okay? Just can't beat uh, 139, but if you, and if you could beat 139, you could beat 150. Yeah, but how long, how long, how long does that take? Oh yeah, all right, relatable. Yeah, yeah, there you go, dude. You gotta make it fair for everyone, right? Yo, gee, I'm using steel traps. I can use six for each character at a time. Should I... Dedicate a couple characters to pump out critters from our refinery to keep that up. Using steel traps. So the two traps you want to be running, I believe, are... What is it? Silkskin boxes and nature traps. Nature traps for XP, silkskin boxes for shinies. And then once you're done, once you get to the royal egalitarian Il traps, that's when you run egalitarian traps. Is that right, chat? Like, you can still run, you still run steel traps with the setup box. Got my first lucky lad? Huge, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> what the f- What the f- What the- TTS 
Jets could say that? What the fuck? Yo, thank you for starting the hype train, dude. Yo, thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you, Wes, for the 100 biddies, dude. That TTS success. Success. God damn it, dude. There you go. There's your first Ram, dude. Jesus. But I mean, I mean, you were just speaking facts. I mean, that's basically what, what happened right there. As a fellow Canadian, I don't wear socks inside. It's too warm otherwise. Yeah, but I have an AC unit, so now it's like nice and cold. It's like 23 degrees. The idea of Crocs already hurts me. Combining with socks is just too much. I mean, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a nerd, so I mean, it's not like I'm going to wear, I'm not going to like wear it outside. It's like a scooter, okay? You know, it's fun to ride, but you don't want, you don't want your friends seeing you ride it, all right? That's why, that's why you keep it inside the house. The only reason I'm alive is auto armor. The pets, these guys are the best. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Hype trade, quick math. Trying to, uh, just trying to power level trapping, but I'm running low on refinery critters, and I haven't unlocked tier 4 anvil due to low world 3 TD. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely an issue. If you're trying to power level trapping, then run nature traps and use your maestro with transfusion. That should make things a little bit easier for you. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. True and real. Yo, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you for the 300 bits there, Wes, dude. Thank you, man. Hell yeah. So I just got an AC. How were you surviving without one before? Just fans or what? I had one fan. And even still, I was overheating. I, it was getting to a point where I was like feeling like I was stroking out. I have AC also, but set it to 65 Fahrenheit, so it still won't put socks on. Oh, okay. I'll do a dad joke to entertain you, dude. Oh, thank you for entertaining me. Is 30, 23 degrees in freedom units or Celsius? It's Celsius, brother. Nature is XP only? Yeah, he said he wanted to power level critters. He wanted to power level trapping, right? So I was like, well, I power level trapping using nature traps. I went from world round 34 arena to beating 200 and completing all last two territories in a week. Hell yeah, brother. Let's get it. Uh, okay, I've been using BM. Thanks for the tips, G. Yeah, no problem, dude. Well, whenever G sees this, I got 60 billion total cooking speed. I'm happy I'm progressing more. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get it. Yeah, but he said he needed more critters too. Yeah. 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 Yo, Brader, gift a sub over to Lemon. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the gift of Rudy. So I know you get the lot, but how can I get to like 200, 2,000 plus defense? Uh, so there's the Flurbo shop to max out defense percent. There's armor in general. There's upgrade stones. Bigger the upgrade stones, the more the defense, higher tier gear. Um, there's also, there's a lot of things. I'd have to go through it. It's a process. But those are some of the big ones. FMJ, FMJ is huge. Plinko, Plinko's not even that good. It's only base defense. It's actually a weak amount of base defense. Way to increase alchemy quicker. My Meister got bottlenecked by 40 alchemy for skillage. Run, uh, cooking roadkill. Cooking roadkill and put some talent points into alchemy XP. And if you, yeah, if you manage to have power proficiency, which I don't think you do, but if you, if you do, run it. Can I, I, I can have 11 times drop rate on my Bubo or both crystal spawn cards doubling, but not both. I mean, realistically, nine drop rate is really good, really nice uh, for Bubo. So running double crystal would be more worth it. I would strongly suggest a double poop card and Demon Genie always. I don't, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to. You don't want to trade that off. That's too good. It's too, literally farming Bubo crystals is is way too important. Yeah, it's like twenty base. Yeah, dude, it's so big. Yeah, twenty base is massive, dude. Someone gifted me a sub last night, so we're even now. Yo, hell yeah, dude, paying it forward. Good progress day for me. One point four trillion cookie speed and five point five trillion unlocked more spices. But big sad when my pet collar run got to wave one twenty five and I white screened. Oh, you white screened? Yo, thank you for the hype train chat. You white screened? I have heard rarely people white screening. It's crazy to think that people still white screen on, on, on Pet Arena. Yo, Viva Elves, dude. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. 
By the way, started playing two weeks ago, got to World 3, got Journeyman, being overwhelmed the amount of information uh, and guides. So, Brader, we, we had this discussion before here. So let, let's... Uh, Let's uh, let's quickly open let's, let's open this up for a sec, okay? So we we we've we've had we've had this discussion uh, many a times, and I I'll go over it one more time here, okay? Th so so don't feel overwhelmed, all right? Do not feel overwhelmed, because this this is totally normal. I explained this before that that's the make or break point. So when it when it comes to terms in progression and difficulty of the worlds world one is pretty you know pretty nice and simple here it's not too bad world two gets a little bit more complicated with like alchemy fishing and catching because you have to get this other stuff going and then you get into world three world three is by far the hardest fucking world in the game to figure out because you got things like refinery Construction, multi-kill, prayers, tower defense, blah, 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 blah. You know, a, a talent library, salt lick, uh, a death note. You know, all this stuff just starts getting crazy. But if you can learn, if you can learn World 3, the nice thing is, is that then we start getting into World 4, which it becomes much, much easier than World 3. And then even World 5 is easier than World 4. This is how the terms of progression, this is how the terms of uh, hard it becomes. So if we go like this here, uh, let's just go boom, 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 boom. I'd say, I'd say world five is easier than one or two. No, because now you have to like juggle gods. Like you, like you have to, you have to juggle gods. Not only that, you have to figure out sailing, what's the best for sailing, not to mention gaming doesn't really make a fuck ton of sense at the beginning, because you got things like mutations, uh, you got things like different plants, you got bit gains, and then it, and it also feeds into just everything else. Just get dude, Nick. Let's go from a standpoint that doesn't fucking have dude, okay? Okay, don't, don't be like, just spend $300, five head. You know... So, World 3, by far, I say this all the time, World 3 is the make it or break it world. People will play World 1, World 2, and then once they get into World 3, boom, stat check. It is literally, it's a DPS check, a defense check, an accuracy check. Not only that, it will give you so many mechanics like multi-kill, refinery, construction, uh, talent books, uh, tower defense, and it just, it just keeps on going on. So if you can survive and understand the concepts of World Three, you can you 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 can you can you can continue through the game. You you can you can make it go, bro. You can have it go in burr. World Five is harder than World Four for me, mainly because World Five is complicated. Dude, World Four is way more complicated, bro. Pet cops, understanding spice cops, pet territories cooking how to increase cooking speed getting that rolling lab is even more complicated than anything understanding why you should connect here what levels connect here line width between uh line length is also super fucking confusing roll three makes me create excel to follow the powder cycle 3d print yeah exactly and 3d prints which is used forever in the game this looks like my <laughs> network provider if you can't make it through world three you can get dude dude yeah, basically. G is still beneficial level minor buffs on gods, even if I have dupe. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, 100%. Because the thing is, is like, the more you level up divinity, the more powerful your dupe will be. I'm scared now. I'm getting into world three for the first time. You shouldn't, dude. You shouldn't. This is just the make it or break it place, right? This is, this is the threshold. So if you, just, if you just stay at it and just keep on going, world four, world five comes much easier. You understand the mechanics, and then you're, you're going to feel much, much better. World 5 is also a lot more front-loaded power creep compared to the other worlds. Very true, Smashy. Very true. When it comes to a power spike, World 5 is like basically RNG. You RNG it and it'll boost you up. 
The only the only thing that you could argue that's super complicated about World Two is alchemy, but but other than that, that's the that's the reason why it's higher than World One. Kind of want World Six to be like World Three base take, but I want it. But I like World Three. I like World Three too. I think it'd be good for another stat check. Thanks for the time and advice. Trying to find a way how to play well and efficiently while keeping a full time job in a gym. Oh oh, that's easy, Brader. It's an AFK game. Just set your characters up where you think they'll be properly efficient and then go touch some grass. It's just that simple. It's just that simple, dude. That's the best part about this game is that it's fucking AFK if you want it to be AFK. You can have as active as you want. You can have as AFK as you want. And also, while you go to the gym or something, are you, wait, are you a mobile player or are you a PC player? I mean, yeah, Refinery can go lick a, lick a, lick a sand. You know, go eat dirt. Just a, just a personal opinion. Refinery can suck. Well, yeah, absolutely. I like World 4 mechanics are easier than World 3 mechanics, but the scaling is tough. Yeah, they're easier than World 3, but the thing is, is World 3 has like 50 billion different mechanics. PC at home and mobile before work and at lunch. So if you're looking for like, if you're honestly looking for like insane gains, Raider, Believe it or not, the 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 fa the best way to get gains is leaving it on your computer while you're going to work and shit. Just let it active farm, and just and just farm XP. Just farm tons and tons of XP and just loot filter some base materials so you don't cap on so you don't cap on uh, and leg yourself out. And when you come back, you'll get a shit ton of shit ton of loot and stuff like that, and I'll be good. I crashed my PC, dude. Can you explain the taste test? Okay, so taste test, basically what it means is once you have fire in your kitchen, like, you know, when you're getting a new recipe and you have, and you have a fire ready to go to be consumed in order to attempt to get a new plate, you can use taste test to just reduce some of that fire to get a free attempt. So basically, it just gives you an extra attempt a day without losing a ton of progress to try to get a new plate. And that's basically, that's, that's taste test. Um, da, da, da. I gotta set my, I'm just setting up my 3D prints. We're good. Just more ladles, dude. Hey, G, what's the best way to get a fifth or higher mutation gaming? Should I leave one instance for fourth Evo? And then each plant randomly get a chance, should I be harvesting? Best way to get the fifth mutation? Like, you talking about, like, the specific plant? Oh, bro, you gotta throw on Kitsune and just wait, like, three weeks. There are enemies that drop dense water? No, dense water is the only thing that can't be dropped. You have to do your daily, you have to daily purchase it from the alchemy shop. Seriously, three weeks? Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get super lucky, sometimes you don't. It's just, it's just all how it works, dude. It's, I mean, when I was going for my, when I was going for my five mutations, it took me like two weeks. And I heard some people, it took them like two days. Damn, so just don't collect? Yeah, just don't collect. Is there, is there free to play wings and helmets? Yep. Yep, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Actually, in the gem shop right now, for one gem, uh, you can get the Primafier helmet. So you can take, you can take your favorite looking helmet in the game and you can Primify it. So, I mean, it's, it's only one gem. So, I mean, a fr free premium helmet. Uh, are there more than 32 nodes? Uh, my gem won't reset, but I'm not done the task. Uh, no, Captain, there's not. There's, uh, there, well, there, there's supposed to be more, but at the moment, there's just 32. Yeah, Primify Amrock Helmet, best of the game. I can 100% agree with that. I run on a Beastmaster. It's the best. What's the strat with the final plant in gaming? Strat in the final plant in gaming. Were you talking about, like, chemical? Did you get dude? Yeah, yeah, I've had dude for a while. Thanks, man. Uh, keeping each character to grind the skill they're best at. Don't know what to do with my hunter, and if I should focus leveling my journeyman or his skills push to first to maestro. Um, I wouldn't hard focus too much on maestro, but I would eventually think about getting maestro fairly soon. Like, if your average character level is about levels 80-ish, 70 to 80, I would, I would go for maestro. Is Kitsune the best route to unlock chemicals as well? Yeah. So basically, if you're looking to unlock new plants, you want to do a, you want to do a harvest and then take an attempt. 
do a and then and then and then you could use your water or use your log to refresh your plants do another harvest try it again you don't want to wait until it's 0.3 percent you want to do it at like 0.1 percent so you get it more temp more attempts than possible it's the same way as like say uh early game when you're trying to farm out cheese or scarfs you want to run normal cheese or because although it's a higher chance for the it's a lower chance for the scarf to drop you have more attempts so overall you'll end up having a better net worth in the in in the long run rather than doing just nightmare and just farming you know, three nightmares versus farming uh, 150 normals, right? Is it important to level up divinity and lock the remaining gods because I got dudes so I get all bonuses? Absolutely, because you need, you need not only divinity level to help boost up the strength of all the gods, you also need big P, which will also juice up the multiplier by the gods. So dude, dude is strong, but if you ignore divinity, you're losing like 80% of its power level because of all the minor bonuses that you get from it. That's like damage percent, skill XP, class XP. You Sure, you get the major bonuses, which are super, super strong, but you don't get all the, like, the, the cream of the crop sweet stuff at the bottom. You know, that's also like extra talent levels as well. Remember, you need around level 130 for max bonuses for do. Yeah, and then it goes, and then it's like 200 afterwards. It gets, it gets insane. Oh, yeah, also Pogu rewards. Yeah, you want the Pogu rewards to get uh, juiced out bottle wins. Yeah, exactly. They're like 50 to 60 level. Uh, Shamus Eyes level 66, but AFK a lot, taking baby steps at a time at the moment. So you're not quite ready to get Maestro. You can start getting him skilling. But usually, so just to put it in perspective, the Maestro trophy that you get when you complete it is level 70. So that should give you a good standpoint of where your character should be at when you're going to go, to, you would take your journeyman and go attempt Maestro is about level 70. Yeah, it sounds good, Didi. Got Maestro at level 40 characters. Yeah, but that, I mean, that's, I mean, level 40 characters just, it just sets you back. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pointless. I did it at level 59. Yeah, I did it before level 70, but he said he was taking baby steps. He's taking the slow route, chat. Okay. He's not, he's not trying to hard farm Maestro as soon as he can, okay? Do you recommend attempting 1% instead of 3%? Yes. Attempt the 1% over the 3% every day of the week. Absolutely. It's free skilling buffs. Not really, and not not really at all, because you you still have to le you still have to level up your characters past that amount. So it, it, by that point, you're you're if you can't level up your maestro higher in mining or fishing or catching, you're not getting that you're not getting that skilling buff. Yo, got my first cattle global. Let's go! Hell yeah, dude! Grats. Especially early game, maestro gets trash efficiency. So even trying to level up maestro skilling is already garbage. Also need to apply to join the guild? Hell yeah, dude. Join the Discord. We do have a bit of a backlog. For Divinity, do you also advise 1% over 25%? So what I usually do is I do 1%, 5%, and 10% until I proc a 100% chance. And then I just farm out the 100% chance, hit the 100, and then do the same thing again. And that's how I usually go with the gods. The best uh, to always offer the highest costing teeth to unlock more Divinities or risk of the small... Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so you want to, you want to do, you want to do the ones, the fives, or the ten percents, and then, yeah, I just answered the question. Yeah, okay, I just answered it. Yeah, all right. Two, que two, two, two questions, one stone, bro. Two questions, one answer, baby. Hell yeah. But yeah, sorry I was late, chap. Like I said again, I was helping out the old G-Maw there. Ugh, but now we're back. Riff got hard at work, dude. Uh, Messiah? Not God. That's the other guy, okay? That's the other guy that left us, okay? You know? Just, he, he left us, all right? Can't believe he did that. Is that obol any good? What, the cattle obol? Yeah, it's, the it's one of the best in slots. I saw Thomas earlier. <laughs> I'm sure you did, dude. Griffey plus five wheel for chat. Was a brilliant time, dude. Me too. Wait, where'd you guys see Thomas? Wait, wh where, the f where the fuck did you see Thomas? Are the premium stones worth it because normal armor can get more or no? Uh, premium stones are okay because they go into premium helmets. Premium stones are premium helmets. Um, I, I don't think they're, I don't necessarily say they're worth the gems. Um, you can, you, you have a potential chance of getting them in Plinko anyways with your free balls. So you might as well just wait. We are all Thomas. Spartacus 2.0, dude. 
to left to join pickle and hearthstone yeah dude minus one pickle oh by the way it's a it's a new day can i see minus one pickle now that's fucking hilarious dude that's so funny bro that's so funny dude <laughs> Hey, G, I just unlocked noob sect. What does the scale efficiency mean? Scale efficiency is straightforward. Uh, so scale deficiency metacro means where your character is at. So it so that efficiency was scale depending on if you have a lot of uh, a lot of efficiency or not a lot of efficiency. I believe it's less the efficiency, the more base efficiency you get from it. And the more efficiency you have, the less you get from that bonus. So it, it's it's scaling. I see Thomas every day because I'm his brother, of course. Yeah, this is bot stream. We're all Thomas's brother. Should I increase my luck or my drop rate if I want to get dude? What? Not, you, neither, bro. You can't, bro. You you need to you need to you need to pray to the R and Jesus, okay? If you want to get dude, all right. There's there's no there's no drop rate or luck. It's prage, dude. It's all prage and all copium. President of the Griffey Fan Club. Some last meeting, dude. The Griffey Fan Club, dude. <laughs> Are you already working on uh, World Five a minutes or less video? Uh, not yet, not yet. We're 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 almost done. I'm trying to. I'm seeing what I'm waiting. Honestly, I'm waiting for the Badger Gods, the Badger God and the Cattle Crook God Divinity still needs to come out. So we're waiting for that and the new NPCs. Thanks everyone for your time. We'll be hot heading off in a minute. Join Discord. Ready? Sign up for the guild tomorrow and join the. Yeah, sounds good, bro. Have a good one. Tomorrow's made, right? Yes, tomorrow's made. The ice oval, I was talking about, G. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, oh, the ice guard oval? The ice guard oval's drop rate, right? My day doesn't reset for another four hours. Is No, it's uh, so Frost, your daily, your daily reset starts when you start the game. So if you start the game at 5 in the morning, your daily reset is at 5 in the morning. If you start at 12 p.m., your, your, your daily reset is at 12 p.m. I think mine's at like 7 a.m. or some shit. So luck. Yeah, basically luck. Killed King Dude 156 times. No pet yet. Damn, bro. You gotta kill it faster, man. Griffey Fan Club meets weekly to have Gobium, dude. Yeah, we do World 5 call up. Hey, Griffey. Tried to Plinko stamp again and got the pickle. What am I supposed to do with it? Drop it at the cauldron and uh, try to get a vial for it. If you want to hear something funny, I'm getting 120 million crit critters an hour right now. Wait, how the f- wait, what the- how the fuck are you getting 120- what, what- which critter? Which- which critter are you getting 120 an hour from? I know badger is supposed to be a badger, but it kind of looks like a trash panda. I mean, hey. A raccoon, dude. I can see that. Yeah, 8%. Mine's 10 p.m. Yeah, there you go. My daily respect when it was originally started. I mean, that happens. Because of desync. Oh, frog? Oh, yeah, okay. It's- it's frogs. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. I get 20 million at blob. Yeah, yeah, all right. That makes sense. Damn, chip rotation is omega. My bad. Imagine having 10 million Krakens. Yeah, imagine having 10 million Krakens. Dude, you better get a print for that ASAP. Mine is almost a full day when I started. Went to 4 a.m., 11 p.m. Yeah, it's desync is huge for that. I think Treasure Hunt number five is going to come out sometime soon. No. I don't think Treasure, I don't think Treasure Hunt 5 is ever going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that was kind of like a one and done scenario. If it hasn't happened since World 2, it's not going to happen. I think that's just a special thing. Personally. You mean a four and done? Yeah. But I mean, it, it stopped happening at World 2. Solve and done treasure hunt, dude. You got it. Bro, that's plus slabs, bro. That's slab shit, man. Start a cruck fight. Good luck. Let's see how long it'll take. I bet it'll take you like at least five minutes. At least five minutes, dude. So chat, the plan today is, if you guys don't know, uh, we don't have a shit ton of time today uh, because I was, you know, not here. So here's the plan. We're going to be doing our gambas. Uh, we're going to be doing some boss farming. Uh, we're going to be doing, taking care of our normal daily activities that we have to do every day anyways. And then we're going to be hopping in and making a green bubble tier list. And we're going to be discussing... Uh, where things deserve to be where and we'll have a big group discussion same thing as the orange bubble tier list and uh, based off of resources potency and uh, how like like how much it costs what it does etc etc if it's a big bubble small bubble whatever yeah tier list baby 
tier list plus one pickle, dude. Yeah, I don't think I don't think pickle's gonna show up for this one. All right. <laughs> Since I had the ice scar random event, got the oval after beating him. Hell yeah, dude. That's huge. I ice scar oval is massive. Plus one slab, and I'm pretty sure it's really good. Definitely minus one pickle, dude. That emote's actually fucking hilarious. That em that emote's actually ten out of ten, bro. Pickle is pickle has became a honestly true meme of this society. Even 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 when bro, never forgotten. Is a vial that had a chance to double deposit statues have a chance at times three if over? No, it stays at two times. I got frog oval a while back. Should I trash it? Um, is it just? I mean, I'd keep it just because it's a flex thing. It's basically another lit stream. Hell yeah, dude. You know it. How low uh, has your giant chance gotten to? I got like one in one million this week. Kind of insane when I think about it. So I think... What is my giant chance right now? I'm only at 1,662 at the moment, but I've gotten a lot of procs. Damn, oh well, thanks, dude. Yeah, I mean, we'd... That would be nice if we got three times statues, but I feel like that would kind of get broken after a while. 12% money and like 2% drop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Ice Guard Oval's better, isn't it? Chat, what's the stats on the Ice Guard Oval? Lock the first MSA bonus. Does all MSA bonus come from Super Bits? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Yeah, for the most part. Three pet arena for 200 is 1.4 times damage. Is that 40%? Yeah, it's 40%. Yeah. It's not as strong as you think it is, though. Statues are easy to farm. Now it should be a little bit more broken. Hell yeah, dude. Ice Guard is 8% drop rate. Yeah, so Ice Guard, Ice, Guard is the, Ice Guard is the best in slot drop rate oval. So I haven't got the Ice Guard. Bro, I haven't gotten any of the good event stuff. Additive? Uh, I don't know how it scales, personally. But I know it's just not very strong. Web Blower plus 2, plus 3 all stat. Defense plus 5, 9% drop chance with reroll. Yeah, that's insane. Chat, by the way, can you hear that? When I'm talking, can you can you hear anything other than my voice? No? The music? The bit music? No, 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 not the music. Here, here. Here. Can you can you can you can you guys can you guys hear the AC in the background? No? 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 No, we good? Nope. Sick. Sick. That's awesome. All right. Cool. 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 That's what. Uh, that's what we love to. That's what we love to hear, dude. Just the screams. Just the screams. I can hear the ram telling me to commit sin, dude. Yeah. Don't don't listen to it, dude. Matthew Richard Griffon. I got the Octodars today. I went from Biggie Worms to Octodars. Kind of thinking about quitting the game. You're thinking about quitting the game. You can't fucking quit Eidolon. Eidolon, you don't get to quit Eidolon. Because, because if you quit Eidolon, you're just gonna come back and you're gonna be even farther behind than what you were before. Everybody's done this. So many people I know have done this. They've quit Eidolon, came back a few months later, and then they fucking all sad because they're so fucking far behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no such thing. You can't quit Eidolon, all right? Quit Eilon, but Eilon doesn't quit you. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Sounds like you need to spend more money on the game. Just good dude, bro. We can hear the children in your basement, so don't turn the music off. All right, all right, all right, all right. The better question is, why do you want to? Yeah, why do you want to, huh? I remember it was AFK for five, 5k hours. Yeah, now, now Joker's in it to win it, dude. Calculator telling me in order to kill Nightmare Kruk, I would need 5e plus 15 hits to do all do 2 billion, 200 billion damage. That calculator is fucking wrong. That calculator is big wrong. All right, I don't know what calculator you're using, but if you have if you have hits that are doing all 200 billion damage, that should take you five hits. Oh wait, no, sorry, it's more than that. My bad. My bad. It's more than that because it's one quad health. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not five. 5e, that's like 6 times 15 is 300, bro. Question, where's the best place to get XP on each world, and 
when would you transition? Um, best XP for World 1 would be Walking Sticks. Best XP for World 2 would be Sand Giants, I want to say. Best World 3 is Dedicated Rams. World 4 is Floms. And World 5 is Tremor Worms. Or OJ Bay, depending on the class. Oh, wait, he's right. I did quit. That's why I've been playing nonstop. Yep. Yep. Ratio. You just ratioed yourself. El Bozo Stoneface. Calculator from Wish. Did you just see the Eyeline game in game chat map node? Sounds like an ultimatum from Lava. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. It's 5k hits. That's not too bad. What is the minimum damage push rift to get construction mastery G? I like 200. I don't know. It's like, what is like 100 bill or something like that? Yeah, 100 bill? Went AFK for 180 days. And look, everybody that's went AFK for so long. Why do I want to quit? Simple. Game is boring because of updates. Ratio. Imagine saying game is boring because of updates, yet you're not even at the point where you can enjoy the newest update. You're, you're, you're in fucking World 4 and you're talking about how the game updates are boring. You haven't, you haven't even completed jack shit. You're only at Octodars. You haven't enjoyed World 5. <laughs> Bro. Bro, that, 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 that's, that's like that. That's like that goddamn Zoomer mentality. They're just like, ah, oh, man, I'm not getting dopamine 24-7. Game's boring. It's an AFK incremental game. It's a long journey, not a short journey, dude. I quit Eilon. I quit resisting its temptations. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Halfway through World 4, dude? Uh, yeah, exactly. Future updates are guaranteed to happen until late 2023 after that. Well, it depends. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd you see this, Rexar? Future updates are guaranteed to happen until late 23 after that. Well, it depends. Bro, he be better not back out on World 6, dude. I will... In game chat, see map? It's a quote as old as time. Oh, okay, that's a quote as old as time. Okay, thank God. Who is World 4 and 5 again? Was typing and forgot already? Uh, World 4 is Floms, Flambeige, or Cans, and World 5 is uh, OJ Bay or Tremor Worms. Also, there's a cool bug. You can get a random map you haven't locked. There's a new random event in it. Oh, yeah, okay, that's kind of cool, dude. XR said it, for that, it said that for months, thank God. It's been a message that could show up for a while now in game chat. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It's been in the game for months now. First time seeing that one? Yeah, dude, right, Rexar? Same thing, dude. In-game messages in chat are fun, just funny as shit, not believable. My dude, what's up, Negan? What's going on, man? What's happening? What's going down? It's a shorter journey if you're financially respons irresponsible. I mean, realistically, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's a shorter journey. It, even if you have dude, if you're a dipshit in the game, you won't get anywhere. You know? Like, you could wail the shit out of this game and not be able to progress properly. You actually have to learn how to play the game because other people are just going to storm past you and you're going to be sitting there wondering, it's like, why, why does everybody have 300 trillion damage and I, I still only have 1 billion? And it's just like, well, because you fucking didn't pay attention in class. Or, or, or the classic thing that you always see, they're hard into World 5 and they have like level 10 alchemy bubbles. Level 10 alchemy bubbles. There are which are supposed to kill the arms of the boss of World 2 because some arms do like 10 damage. Yeah, you're supposed to you're supposed to kill the the top right. Uh I believe it's bottom left, top left, and then the rest of them can just die. Because the two the two most dangerous ones are the top right, bottom left, top left. Lies, I'm dumb as fuck and made it to the end of World 5. Bandrix, you've been, in, you've been in stream for so long, bro, that you fucking learn everything, man. What are you talking about? You're goddamn, you're a fucking three-month subscriber, dude. You've been in here for three months. The shit that you picked up is probably immaculate. 
Unless you're Elon Musk, you can't get go past World Three without sinking. Yeah, dude. I, like actually, like if if you just start throwing money at the game, you won't get fucking anywhere. It's gonna be me. I'm in World Five. I have level twenty alchemy bubbles. Yeah, there you go, dude. And then there's people still stuck at frogs. They're a different breed. Absolutely. You know about my pace? Four point five months. One guy at Crook. Mild swiping. Yeah, I mean that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Hey, G, I forgot. Uh, what? Well, should stamps be for World 4? I don't know, like, 1,500 wouldn't be a bad idea. 1,500, 2,000 if you're, if you're just trying to speed progress. Top right depends on class. If you're not a warrior, just outrange the top right. I mean, to make it easier. Just to make it easier, Smashy, we don't need to be like, well, actually, if we use this specific class in this specific rotation with this ex exact talent setup, we can go X, Y, and B depending on where you are and what class you're using. How about we just keep it a generalization? Actually. Implying I pay attention. Yeah, exactly. That's three arms, not two. Yeah, because the, because the other two's do, the other two arms are mid. So if you kill those three main arms, everything else is easy. Promise myself to stay free to play before getting to world three. Now at the end of world five, spend like two to three hundred. Just get auto loot, Dark. It's all you need. I keep on telling that people that they're like, I it's like, bro, it's like just just all you need is auto loot. Anything else doesn't matter, realistically. It just helps with, with speeding up the progression. Other than that, you, you can live your life. Th think of that song? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not huge on Three Days Grace. I'm going to be honest with you. My dudes, how do you get leaves? I'm out. Yo, Slither, you get leaves from trees. You know, just like, just like, in, just like in Minecraft. 3k stamps, no problem. There you go, nice. Yo, yo, how's it hanging, G? Yo, what's up, Divide? How you feeling? You feeling better, Divide? Will there be a JPEG or something stuck in work so I can watch or even listen? Sad times, dude. Yo, rest in peace, bro. Just throw a boomerang from a safe distance. Yeah, I mean, you could cheese, cheese it out with daggerang or with, uh, with, uh, bear swipe. There's ways to cheese it. Can't believe that Mori also all the random event drops. Yeah, Mateen, that, that's insane, dude. About four days, Grace? Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit not as good as three. Pretend the game costs five dollars to get auto loot. Then, if you like the game enough, toss it a couple more bucks to support the game. That's usually that's usually what I say. I was like, I don't I don't suggest people to go out and like try to try to push for dude. All right, I've I've never once told people that they should just gamble away to get dude. Not at all. The only time that I've ever pushed people to actually spend money on the game is auto loot, because that's the only thing that I would say that's overly worth it. Everything else, fuck it, whatever. Who cares? If you want to get a pack, get a pack. But I, I don't, I don't suggest it. Just, just do, just do how you feel. If you feel like it's worth it, it's worth it. But no. What level should FMG should be to be okay in World Four? About level fifty. Level fifty FMG should be good. Won't quit. I'm just gonna check in every five days or so. My traps get the candies. AFK pushing a little bigger in hundred days. Can't put it off. Yeah, ratio. If you're feeling burnt out, bro. Just go in maintenance mode. Just, just, just set your characters up efficiently. Leave for five days. Come back. Check it again. Leave for another five days. Check it again. And you can make it like a fun weekly thing, right? And then once you're ready to get back on the grind, then you go back to daily. But at least that way you're not falling behind. Because I guarantee you, Ratio, I bet money. That when World 6 comes out, you're going to be like, Oh, fuck, man, I wish I was still playing so I could enjoy the new world. Because that's how it always works. That's how it always works. And then you're going to be grinding so hard trying to get to World 6, and it's just going to feel like you're not getting there fast enough. So I green stack Mang believes. I'm so unlucky with these Nightmare Catacrooks. Hell yeah, dude. There's still got Snake uh, on my Blood Berserk and AFK gang. Decreased even though I have dude. I wonder if being linked to a god gives you double that bonus. It does not. It does not. It was probably it's probably just bugged out a little bit. You just gotta maybe do a do do a, a cloud save. Stamps are just too expensive. Yes, yeah, stamps. That's why I like the IE reviews. You give people a prior list, but a uh, but it's a loose prior list with like one or two tops. Yeah, I mean, and you know, I like how that we did uh, Wheel Wednesday for IE. So next week I have to do at least four, which is not a big deal. I don't mind doing four. It was just, just, just doing seven a week where it started getting monotonous. Get dupe before even making it past frogs is the only way you'll ever get, make it past monster frogs. Yeah, true. I got sploosh sploosh 11. Get wrecked. Nice, dude. 
Griffin just made a New World reference? Bro, who the fuck plays New World? <laughs> <laughs> what what fuck New World? Oh, by the way, dude. I want to play Albion again. Albion just came Albion just came out with a goddamn shapeshifter build. Oh. Oh man. I want to be a shapeshifter so bad, dude. Watch yesterday's VOD, you called me an asshole because I suggested Sailing Captain to the wheel. I'm shocked. Uh, I, was, I was probably, I was not being serious. I was not being serious. Update sucks. I'll be real, if you're feeling lazy, I don't care if you do IE reviews or not. I'm, no, no, it's not that I'm feeling lazy. It's, it's that, that's not a lazy thing. It's a burnout thing. Because they're all the same. They're all like X, Y, and Z, plus this, this, and this, and this is what you want to work on. Okay, next, X, Y, and Z, plus this, this, and this. Next one, X, Y, and Z, plus this, this, and this. You can only go past Frog's map after you, you beat the fourth Grand Frogger in the dungeon. It's the rules. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, chat, guess what? People are finally have stopped talking shit about me in the Eidolon Discord. I'm so happy. I'm finally not getting shit talked as much. It's great. It's so good. So soon? Yeah, I mean, it blew over quite a lot faster than I thought it would. Almost 700, but it's getting expensive, yeah. Mine was all messed up because I don't try. Yeah, I mean, there you go. I only need more things so that IE reviews get less monotonous. I mean, Eidolon does not, to be fair, Eidolon does not need more things. Eidolon has enough mechanics. Just another day, I'll support your content. Hell yeah, dude, let's get it. That we agreed IEs are just get doot until World 6 launches. <laughs> Bro, we never agreed on that. It don't, it changes monthly. It really does. Don't jinx it. Yeah, you're right. Time to start shit talking. The haters are out of steam, dude. Yeah, true. Should I make old troll armor? I make into magma. Yeah, yeah. Troll armor goes into magma. Absolutely. It's better to go for higher dungeons than frog because I see everyone doing world one. Uh, only for the achievements, only for DPS achievements. Wheel suggestion active BM for 30 minutes or one hour. Why would I sit there and active BM? Why would I act of BM for 30 minutes? Nobody, nobody wants to watch 30 minutes of BM content. How about we agree to it now? No. I, uh, I have cloud save, restarted the game, AFK game is still showing at 68%. When I'm linked to Snake, it was 98%. So weird. Wait, is that true? Wait, hold up. Let me, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me test this. Let me test this quickly. Let me, let me, let me do a quick test on this. So if my AFK gains are not, okay, 95%. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with you, dog. I don't know what the fuck's going on with you. That didn't change for me. Still at 95%. Still at 95%. Didn't change for me at all. Dude? He has dude. He's getting an extra 30% with dude. Is it even worth to get Luster or Diabolic here, or should I just wait to go from Void to Troll? Wait, go from Void to Troll. Void to Troll, bro. Void to Troll. Absolutely, Void to Troll. No questions asked. Nice, dude. Big game bubble. Huge. Huge. All right, chat. It's been an hour. Let's, uh, let's get into the content here. Let's get it rolling. Let's get it happening. Shay, get World 5 Marriage Shop. You want uh, the atom reduction, the sailing piles, and the cattle cruck armor as the as the big ones right now. Implying first hour stream is it peak content? First hour stream is peak content. Okay, it is the it is the peakiest of content. Are you chat? Are you telling me you are not entertained? Complete and utter blasphemy.
Uh, hey, G, when do I get to World 5, do I have to unlock gods to get their effect? Do you have Duke confirmed? No. Post one hour, post one hour becomes third monitor content, dude. Oh, okay, okay, Ben. Wait, what did you say for World 5 merit? Like the... Here, let me just look. Think you have 40 portals of speed run with 100? Yeah, probably. Definitely entertained. Yeah, I have Dude. Yeah, so you have, yeah, so you, you, it's basically once you get to Divinity level 2, confirmed. Divinity level 2, level 2, and then all gods will unlock. So, for merits, you want to get the loot pile chests, the mob respawn. The, if you have a lot of star talent points, you could do stat overload, but atom reduction will overall just be better. And then, you know, cattle crook pieces. My Blood Berserker's Divinity level is 1. Oh, there you go, no shit. Oh, there you go, yeah, yeah, if you have level 1 Divinity, yeah, you're not getting the, you're not getting the dude effect, it has to be at least level 2. God damn it. God, God damn it, dude. Alright. Let's get this, let's get this. Bro, imagine, dude, imagine. Imagine, okay? Can you show your attack bar? Yeah. Let me just do my... Let me just do my clicks. This is 450? 450, okay. Yo! Brandar! Yo, thank you so much, dude. Thank you for the three months, brother. Thank you so much, bro. But try out the Minecraft called All Mods 8. Over 350 mods in it. That's a, that's a little overkill, don't you think? You need bossing banes for portals to count for from bosses? No, you don't You don't need bossing banes. It just makes things 10 times better. Currently half through, halfway through World 4, push a DK, but I'm told that's not the class to do it. What should I be using? Who the fuck told you not to run DK? Who Who is the person that told you not to run? It, it, wait, did that person tell you to run Elemental Sorcerer? My guild? What'd they tell you to run instead? I swear to god, if they say boobo, I'm gonna- I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw your g guild through a goddamn wall. Who'd they tell you to farm? Who'd they tell you to run- run it through? Wh which class? Your guild is insane? Probably BM, dude. Yeah, fuck. Imagine. They said Boobo to push hard to World 4? Are they idiots? Bro! Boobo needs so much love with talent books in order to be good. They... Boobo literally, literally hands down requires the most funding in order for Boobo to be insane. Boobo's amazing. Boobo's the best portal pusher in the game. But he's also dog shit if he doesn't have the talents. Dude, run DK. DK DK is the lowest funded guy that takes in order to push. In my opinion, ES is better. No, ES is not better. Because ES portals don't count for kills. ES portals do not count for portal count. I'm at chocolate guys at the moment. DK takes one point. To be OP for active? Yeah. It literally, it literally takes no talent point funding for it to be good. That's the thing. And that's, that's, this is specifically active farming though. If you're, if you're AFK farming, ES is better. But his AOE is insane and wormholes can respawn normal mods. Yeah, you know what also can respawn normal mods? Divine Intervention. You know what's also super great about Divine Intervention? It takes one point in order to get the max, max effect of your respawn mechanic. DK's way fucking better. DK's 10 times better. The portal, you're spending all that time using AoE on portal counts, that, that doesn't even, that doesn't even do anything. It's only that you could kill all the mobs, which you can't, and you're pushing early world 4. If you can't kill all the mobs, good. If you're not killing all the mobs, that, that's totally fine, dude. There's nothing wrong with not being able to kill the mobs, but knowing that you have divine intervention as a full respawn mechanic just means you're doing it faster. You will, 
I guarantee you, you'll push faster with DK than you will with ES. Fucking guarantee it, dude. DK is the most beginner friendly if you're just trying to push. Because you also got to realize it not only, yeah, sure, it kind of struggles a little bit on the DPS department, but it's, it's super good for accuracy. It is literally the best one for accuracy. It, it's super, super smooth. Yeah, e Elemental Sorcerer is way better AFK. All right, let, let's obviously, let, let's, let's obviously put that, in, let, let's put that into perspective. Yeah, DK also has the best defense, so you need to run less food. He has the best accuracy in the game uh, because of his because of his talent. And not only that, he's he's his survivability is top notch. But Elemental Sorcerer's best AFK. Pushing World Four, you can probably lack on mana for ES skills. DK works so good for me. Yeah, DK is just overall. If if see, because here's the thing, if you're hard pushing. That means you haven't been focusing on alchemy. That means you haven't been focusing on stamps. That means you haven't been focusing on other things to help power creep. The people that are telling you to run Bubo have been playing World Four that that played World Four for like three goddamn months. Okay, they they already they already had the 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 post god the pre god mode Bubo with the two second tentacle eye with the big auspicious aura and and the good gas. So so of course they're gonna suggest Bubo. But if you're if you're just if you're just starting to push through World Four and you need a good class that is that it doesn't need to be incredibly funded right away just to push to World Five, DK is way fucking better because ES still require ES still requires a ton of funding just like Bubo does. Is Bubo even God mode without sailing level books? It's still good. It's just not God mode level. It's it's still good though. It's definitely still good. But it's just it's just I don't know. I mean, obviously play play the way you want to play. But I mean, anybody that's suggesting to push with Bubo obviously doesn't know how to be a teacher. I'm saying it right now. They don't know how to teach because because they're they're just they're see here 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 here's the difference between me and other people when it comes to teaching the game i have the ability to put myself in a position of where you exactly are in the game other people that are teaching you think just like oh when i was here this is what i did when in reality that's not that's not accurate whatsoever because they've already been playing the game for a set amount of time so they already have all that extra juice all that alchemy levels all those stamp levels so it's it's not it's not an accurate situation to tell how to how to progress i had 13 bill on my boobo still get a push with it yeah dude i mean i mean boobo's still insane boobo is the best portal pusher in the game okay hands down literally s tier portal pusher there is nothing better than the Bubo when it comes to portal pushing, but he doesn't become that level until he's until he's funded. That's his issue. Is because his gas does like little to no damage. His gas does like what? At that level, he's probably doing like maybe 10% of his total damage. Siegebreaker better or no? No, Siegebreaker's not better. Siegebreaker has a Siegebreaker's Siegebreaker's respawn mechanic is incredibly unreliable. Do second treasure chest when I one shot both goblins and doctor. Uh, what does it require you to do? Yeah, 305 gas deals 20%. Still low AF, dude. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's put a gamba up. It's gamba time, chat. How many bottle wins do I have? I think I only have four. New artifact, four balls wins. Predictions up, chat. Yeah, Siegebreaker is good after V-Man talent buff, but not that good anyway. Yeah, I mean, he's not really, he's not meant for heavy pushing. Who is true power as a portal pusher won't shine until World 6 drops. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even World 5, I pushed with Bubo and he pushed great. But I also spent a lot of time and a lot of love before that happened, right? 
So, in my, in my, do you know on which level Aura gets eight cast? I think it's like, what, 245 or something around there? Give or take? But in my personal opinion, for people that are just brand new to the game and just pushing, DK is one of the best beginner-friendly classes in the game. It is so, so beginner-friendly, it's insane. Because it's auto-attacks, do, does shockwave slash. So you get a you get a juiced out ability with with literally just auto attacking. So your auto attack not only does an AoE, but it also does a big line of damage. Which is so, so, so strong. And not to mention daggering, if you're not moving and you can catch it. Bro. It's a free cooldown. And statue, which is absolutely just super solid, just for like if you're killing stuff on bottom platforms, you have statue on top platform, it's pushing, it's just so good. I pushed literally world one to world five. A first character happened to be DK, no coincidence. Bro, I should do a speed run from world one to world five and only run only run Divine Knight. And showing people how fast you can get to the world five with just Divine Knight. Showing the true power of the, of the divine. How do I subscribe with Prime? I can't. It only says resub, but with credit card. Well, you have, you have Jara, you have to connect your, uh, your Amazon to your, you have to qu connect your Amazon to your Twitch. So you have to have Amazon Prime connected to your Twitch. That'll give you one free sub a month. Do it, do it. Eight times DK account. How long with DK to World 5? It'd probably take about a month. Maybe, maybe, maybe about a, yeah, I would say about a month speed run. Give you five million gems, dude. <laughs> Has you got 15 printer proc? Hell yeah, dude. It would actually take like 20 days. Yeah, it would take a long time. Yeah, definitely. That'd be a long ass speed run. 110%. Yo, Floobs. Coming in with the primer. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you for supporting the stream, brother. All right, here we go, chat. We need, we need, uh, we need to pump up the music. I need, we need to unlock this today. More like a slow run, to be honest. Yeah, you're right, dude. Seriously, though, I started at the end of this year, Valence Slime event, and I hit Worms last month. I'm no sense an efficient player either. Yeah, exactly. Primer also worked for free trial also. Not sure if this still counts. The trial's over, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. Chat, get if we, what does chat get if we hit 500 subs for the month? I mean, we only had a goal for 400. I have all characters at one point where I don't need Royal Sampener right now. That's oh, that's such a good thing. World four, watching your speed run of playing. Then at World four, I started learn how when to do things on my own. That's perfect, man. That's what you love to hear. Lowest character without is seventy eight percent. That's still pretty low. That's a long trek to go. Here we go, chat. It's already linked. Well, it might not refresh, Jara. As of refresh today, you it, it might not. You might have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, it's coming along. Yeah, for sure, dude. Bam, bam. Probably forget some boost somewhere. Oh, probably. Who doesn't? Bam, bam. Come on. Give me the gains. We only need one more Eldritch. Is today the day, chat? Is today the day? Sample italic is percent. Yeah, I think it's up to 13%. I want ancient, but also Fury, Eldritch Fury artifact. It's it's game changing. Guess we'll have to wait then. Yeah, 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 probably, dude. More refinery, more sailing. Give me those procs. Give me them procs. I need to go farm uh, World 4. I need more. Wait, is it World 3 for cheese? I might have to farm, I might have to farm World 3 for more cheese. Something while well taking samples will remain right after I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is. I need to go farm dead aid ramps. Come on, drop it. World cake for cheese? That can you Arika, can you not make any more sense in a single fucking sentence, dude? World cake for cheese. Like what what does that mean? <laughs> What kind of what kind of what kind of fucking hieroglyphs are you talking about here right now? Cheesecake for the world, dude. Happens to Gamba if you get Eldritch from Prox. Then then we win. 
I use my I use my bottled wins at the end. And that's the end of the gamba. This is how it's always worked. It's never it's never been different. Then I just realize I'm at the point where I'm printing fish purely for stamps. Hell yeah. What it usually comes down to. Give me more prax. More prax. Juice me up. Juice me up. <clears throat> Please. Give me the juicy juice. Where does the bird from a curd also stare so slippery once lab starts to feast? What the? Drug drugs are bad, okay? Marika, dr dr drugs are bad. Nice, dude. Divine Pendant. Let's go, bro. Huge. Is this the right song for sailing, Gamba? It is. It is. Brain Brainstorm was doing us dirty. Brainstorm was just doing us... Or brain power. Brain power was doing us dirty. They were bad? Ask high school, G. Bro, I, I, I ain't stepping anywhere near a high school, dude. I, I, I did what I need to do there. Never again. Sandstorm for sailing? Yeah, dude. Can you explain why, why my boobo is doing 50% better than DK when we only have a level 4 level difference in same armor and only has one less tier in weapons? Uh, what, what, do you, what, what do you mean? Like, there's so many, there's so many variables. Is this active farming? Is this AFK farming? Like, what are we talking about here? Accuracy. Accuracy difference. Talent levels. You know, I, I, may, I may be good at teaching people how to play the game, but I'm not goddamn Dr. Phil. You gotta give me a little bit more than that. Should be just... By Ailstorm, dude? Yeah, okay. AFK probably because Booba has more damage? Yeah, probably. Alright, we got more procs. Nice. More 3D printer procs. Boom. 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 Wait, are we 106 yet? Oh, yeah, dude. 106 on cranium cooking, dude. Hell yeah. Let's get it, dude. We've actually been getting some mad levels lately. We got over a hundred levels on our. Yeah, we're we're popping off right now. Oh, and chat, take a look. We managed. We got our first rate to a hundred. We got this rate to a hundred and this rate to a hundred. So now we're just working on getting caps. So now now it's getting caps to a hundred, and then we're gonna work on to getting to one hundred and fifty. Now do third cauldron. Well, I've been working on the third cauldron. She isn't Dr. Phil? No, no. Is hitting and the boot, uh, the Divine Knight is with damage and health shrine. Well active and the accuracy is hitting and the Divine Knight is, is with the damage and health shrine. Bro, bro, d d you gotta take a second. Write out your sentence, dude. Just that I, I that doesn't make any sense. I I'm reading goddamn hieroglyphs here. Just 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 take a breath, think about what you're gonna type, then type it. I I don't know what you're saying. While well, active and the accuracy is hitting, and the divine eyes with damage and health shrines. Okay. My bad. You're good. You're good, dude. No cap, dude. Do bargain tags for alchemy stack once you hit 90, or is it waste once you get there? It's a waste once you get there. My highest liquid raise 12, you'll get there, dude. You're actually not far behind now in levels. Still like 50 on each, but it's expensive for you now. Yeah, it is really expensive. It's 100 max rate for liquids? No. It's the highest you can get, 170. That's only for colored cauldrons. You ever leave the game open so long it starts lagging? Bro, I leave the game running for five minutes and it starts lagging. I I literally I literally just run boobo and it lags. Okay, you don't you don't need to have you don't need to have any sort of special thing whatsoever. It just lags. That's it. 
Trench water for 10 to 18? Hell yeah, dude. I got to 10k grind time, and then I was like, okay, now it's time to farm this up. I need those wings, they're cool. I mean, I have a lot of them, you want one? I mean, I, I have a, I have a, I have 10 of those wings, do you, do you want one, bro? You guys get liquid rate above 8? Yeah, dude. I get, I get, I get 25 liquid an hour running Viaducts of the Gods. Not a single one? Damn, dude. Damn, dude. We need Queen Dude. When are we gonna get Queen Dude? I'll take one if you're giving them out. Bro, I would if I could. Honestly, I would just give out the wings. I don't need them. I already have the characters that have the wings that they need. I got 30 across with the liquid thing. With the Viadox, 30 across the board. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too far behind. I was slacking a little bit, though, to be fair. I was big, big slacking. Doing alchemy without the lab boost is actually impossible now. Yeah, because you're capping out liquid so fast. Picnic stowaway time copium, dude. No shot, dude. Once I got the penalty drop, I can get over 15 drop rate on DK. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, drop rate has gotten out of control at this point. Want to go back and farm those cauldron levels? Got all of them to at least 100 to 120. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to just start hard farming them. And then once I get them to like 150 each on rate and uh, capacity, I think at that point I will be ready to start farming up grind time again. So I can, I want to, I, when world six comes out, I want to push to like level 600. Level 600 would be dope. Come on, last one here. Come on, show me the juice. Give me the urn. Show me the money. God damn it. Easy game. That's a big N-O for us. Woo! Hate this game. Trash game. Worst game I've ever seen. <sighs> Always a big F, dude. All right, new protection. I learned I can copy paste hieroglyphs into chat, so I have a RAM instead. I see. This is what I get for believing you, G, bro. You know what? It is what it is, okay? Alright, it is what it is. Hey, uh, G, did you remove delete a random captain from the wheel? Nope. It's still there. Alright, new gamba's up, chat. Speaking of which, I need to check my captains, dude. All of them are trash. Yo, what's up, Cloudy? What's going on, man? Uh, is it not good sailing captains? No, there's not. I, was, I think, thank you, thank you for the primer, dude. Thank you for the three months. It's not using loot pile upgrade from Siege Breaker better for artifact finding, G? Uh, I think it is. It seems to be a little bit better, but I mean, it's up to you. No two times loot value. I'll use, I'll use loot value when I'm, uh, when I'm not upgrading that shit anymore. Checking captains log can I all get trash, dude. Okay, yeah, let's change the song. We've been listening to this song like literally like five times over now. Falling out trying to complete the rest of Griffey's checklist for my after my review. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. Upgrade, barely upgrade that, upgrade that, barely upgrade that. Boom 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 Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. I'm waiting for a big day. Okay, I got like 5 million of these green guys. I do, I will not sell them. I will not sell them until I get the big juicer. That's what I really need. I need a juice out. Gotta give that some upgrades too. Actually, I should probably have kept that for this, to be fair. Whatever. You will not sell them? Yeah, I'm waiting for the gold bars. I think I've been using DK in a wrong way. Can you tell me which skills I should put on the bar? Single stack captains? Uh, I mean, if you can replace them, trash them. It is what it is, dude. It is what it is. Yeah, so I run... This is what I run for my bar. 
So div so you have divine orb dagger ring statue shockwave boot a uh, juicer boost. Check on mine to get an achievement today. I feel like I should get a divine knight up to level five hundred. I feel like divine knight level five hundred should be easy enough to do. Statue over dagger. Uh, statue has a higher cooldown. So I mean, it's it's gonna proc regardless. So I mean, eh. I mean, I guess you could swap the two. It's not a big deal. There a reason for you to put that talent in the third bar tab? Why? What? Why would I put it in the third bar tab? My boobo just hit 500. I feel like pushing 10k grind time. Waste of time right now. Yeah, but other characters. You want to get to 500 obols. 500 obol slots, bro. 5,000, sorry. Which ability should I level up first? Um, For you right now? Probably Shockwave Slash. Shockwave Slash is... Because shock, Shockwave Slash procs off your auto attacks and procs off your statues. Your statues scale off of your Shockwave Slash. So Shockwave Slash is like your biggest damaging ability. Hidden Mechanic in the third tab. What the fuck are you talking about? Hidden Mechanic in the third tab. What are we, what are we talking about here? What kind, of, what kind of fucking shit are you talking about, dude? I have no idea what you're trying to say here, dude. Level is your grind time right now? 10k. 10k grind time. Is there like a hard cap for XP at some levels? Like 500 or 550? Nope, there's no hard cap. It just takes forever to get there. Alright, here we go, Jet. Oh, he's talking about the fact that you have attacks in the number 3 hotbar. Oh! 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 Oh, I see what you mean. No, there's no, there's no special difference. It's just I placed it there and I haven't changed it. Card should I use for DK? Uh, crystal spawn chance and um, drop rate. What books do I prior to juice my Bubo for active play? Tentacle Eye, Respawn Dead, uh, Auspicious Aura, Cranium Cooking, uh, Flatulent Spirit, and then uh, the Gas. The gas, man. Those are basically the main ones. When first starting to jump into the atoms, what's the early priority? Uh, the one that gives you alchemy upgrades for atoms. Is Void Trial Rerun number one prior for speedruns? Yes, because it increases your speedrun timer. Why do you always make your uh, V-Man lick the inside of the tube before doing this? Because it's my ritual, dude. I have, I have weird rituals. All right, here we go. One. Two. We only, have, we only got two today. Fuck. Bro, so garbage, man. So garbage, dude. See, it doesn't work, dude. There, there, was a, there, was a, there was days where I was getting like 10 procs while doing this, while doing this exact same setup. Okay? I am, I am a strong believer in the proc gang. There were days. There were days, dude. Once upon a time. Yeah, you know you can do your alchemy procs between the V-Man procs? Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I just forgot about it. Everybody does their rituals. One star game sucks, dude. Once upon a time. Yeah, drop literally all my channel points and believe in G just so everyone else would be, have a nice payout. It's not my- So what, it's my fault that you decided to go for charity, dude? Two V-Mans, get a 5 to 6 average now. Feels bad, man. I feel like doing alchemy in between bricks my RNG, therefore I don't do it. Yeah, I feel like it bricks my RNG too. Should probably do my salt and printer boost now as well. Absolutely. Remove past 69%. That's why you fail. Probably, actually. Wouldn't, wouldn't doubt it, Nick. Yo, what's up, Donkey? What's going on, man? So, chat, we're actually almost done with the next damage booster for Power of Try 1. We need this at 450, and then that's at 90% capacity. And then I think... I think I might start doing Power of Try 2, getting that done. And then I could start working on stuff like uh, Killer Massacre and Kill Per Kill. Seems like Nat Lava Ninja Nerf printer goes burr. Oh, probably. I wouldn't, wouldn't doubt it. And then, I'm going to be honest with you, chat, I might start putting points into Divinity XP. I do Massacre before. Eh. Massacre's stronger? Eh, not really. 
Not really. Because if I want to run big brain time, I would I would need a lot more damage than over Mr. Massacre. Because big brain time would be really good. More divinity XP means more gains from all your gods. You get with Dute, so it makes sense. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Poise at heart would be a good one. And, you know, with Sheepy, it's just more XP. But, I mean, that means I have to throw people in Divinity, which... Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's XP for... It's XP for HP, yeah, yeah. Bite. I do Bite, but not True Before. That's the best bubble at all, dude. I already have 99%, dude. Did the math on your procs, G, and you've been getting decently more unlucky than average? Yeah, I know. I think I'm on an unlucky streak. You get XP from Tranqui anyway, so it's kind of fine. Yeah, but does Trank... I wonder if Tranqui gives you more XP. The more... the more Divinity XP you have. Because what's my Divinity XP right now? My Divinity XP currently is 20, 254 times. And I'm only level 98. Gives more XP with the multipliers, yeah? Tracks to base 3 and it goes up like everything else. I do deep rest to take a short power nap before every speed run, unironically. That's smart, dude. Playing a new game. I bought Arcade Paradise. Might be a thing for you, too, if you're into a simulator management games. Arcade Paradise is basically a laundry simulator where you run an arcade hall in the back, back rooms. It's fun. Yo, that actually kind of sounds fire. Are the leaves from World 4 and World 5 good for anything? We just hold them for possible future uses. Uh, future uses and... Um, what is it? Uh, you want to use them for... What is it called? Uh, stamps. It's good for stamps and green stacks. Leaving people active on Zen is more worth base 15 times multi. Yeah, but that, don't they have to be on Divinity? Because, because uh, Arctis and Goat conflict with each other. With Zen, yeah. Even showing build thing, you can show me your Bubo talents. Yeah, I'll show in a sec. Agent Perry, hell yeah, dude. Every time, every time my AC turns on, my lights flicker. Classic, dude. Classic. Not too bad. We're getting our capacity up. I mean, it's a decently powerful AC. Huge power drop, nice leg, hell yeah, potato PC. I don't have a potato PC, bro. Fuck you, man. Actually, I do. I need to, I need to do upgrades, but I can't do upgrades right now. All right, so we have 308 on this bad boy, 308 on this, mana booster. I mean, basically, this is not going to be helpful for you because I'm, I'm literally like just all around, just overly juiced out. Everything's pretty much max, getting to a point of max at this point. Here's tab two. All the stuff that really matters. Mining minigame, everything for DPS, mana. I mean, your next doesn't really help me all that much. Uh, Auspicious Aura is a huge one for 9 auras. Tentacle Eye, 3 seconds at 75%. Vero Vials for 507% damage. Uh, more Wisdom. More Lumberbob Cauldron Statues. Max Talents for Wisdom. Fast Fantasia Flask for Mage's Best. Cranium Cooking. Busy Bruin. Bubble Breakthrough. Sharing the smarts. You know. Def top tier, dude. Actually 1%er now. I don't know what you're talking about. And then 308 across the board on here. Disappointed you didn't max XP, so v man could get more levels for talents. What do you mean? What did I what what did I not max for XP? Are you talking about this? They're in sigils, man. They're chilling they're chilling in sigils, bro. Should be at like 1100, like Book of the Wise, if you really cared about Bubo, dude. Imagine getting 1100 Tentacle Eye. That'd be like five seconds. The game, would, the game wouldn't be able to function if it got to like five seconds. And not to mention, it'd be like, okay, so hold up here. So let's just, let's just, let's just do in a, let's just do in a, in a, in a, in a, in a future world. Let's just, let's just say for all extents of purposes that it, it, it's, it's, it's possible that we could get to 1100, you know? For for instance, we we could we could manage to get bubonic conjurer's tentacle eye to level one hundred. Okay, let's let, let's just see what type of OP we would get from this. Uh, it's shaman. 
Tentacle Eye at 1,100. 91.6% chance to reduce attack cooldowns by 7 seconds. Well, that wouldn't break the game. That wouldn't be fucking broken at all. Imagine losing Gamma, dude. Watch this. Clearly not. Bro, even 3 seconds is god tier. So, let me guess. 400? 400 is 4 seconds. 3... what? 350? 3 seconds. 360? 370? 380? 390, 395, it's 400. 400 to get 4 seconds for an 80% chance. How to white screen? This would, this would actually cause you to white screen. It'd be slower than level 200 to be honest. I think it would be slower. I think having 4 seconds would be slower. Imagine having tentacle eyes so juice to bring off CC before the buff ends, dude. Bro, if you have cranium cooking at like 400, that would be insane, because if you... You would have it for not only give you 32 seconds of instant progress, because right now, what are we getting? We're getting 30 seconds, but the extra timer on it is 210 seconds. That'd be overpowered. Wait, why is 200 good? Oh, because 200 tentacle eye is when you, when you proc 3 seconds on your reduced attacks. Two ten before cooking road kill. Yeah, exactly, dude. Plus bubble. Cranium cooking forever, dude. Yeah, you'd literally crane yeah, you would probably proc cranium cooking before cranium cooking stops. Can you get splicer recipes from time candy? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Best map to farm ovals for frags? Uh usually either world two or world three. Usually I, I prefer world world three because dedicated rams are usually Better. Cool red shirt, my dude. Yo, thank you, man. But I mean, World 2 would be ideal because they drop square golds. But. Up to you. I, I notice I get a lot more obols. I get a lot more silver obols from World 3, and then I get, uh, I get gold obols from World 2, so it all depends. Also, to be honest, just hit a point where you just hard limit by how fast auto battle selects skills. Yeah, I mean... Like, even, even with the Tentacle Eye right now, like, you see how I'm, like, barely even proccing Auspicious Aura at the moment just because d Respawn Dead is proccing too much? Like, you see that? Like, you see, you see how sometimes it just lags out just because Respawn Dead is just popping off way too hard? Lava gives us a third talent preset soon? Yeah, that'd be nice. So I mean, yeah, that's uh, that just that just goes to show you that you know it's it it doesn't need any more tentacle eye. We don't need any more tentacle eye. It's too strong already as it is. Construction. What's our build rate? Well, bro, we're almost level six hundred. Why you want third talent? Wait, what do you mean? Well, ability to use two abilities at once that would break the game. Yeah, dude, actually, it would actually crash the game. I might, I might actually want to swap between these two, to be honest. Maybe, maybe it'll be a little bit better. Oh, third talent preset? Third talent preset would be great. What are you talking about? Yo, Almond King. Yo, thank you, man. Yo, what's going on, Almond? Thank you for the five months, brother. Why, the, why a third? Easy, because some people aren't as juiced out as we are, man. So you can't, you won't be, you're not at that point where you, you can, be, like, think about it this way, okay? You already have everything back, so why change? I'm not talking just about for me! And besides, it would still be nice for Bubo. Because you, or sorry, still nice for V-Man. Because, because then you have a full drop rate V-Man, you have a damage V-Man, and you have a skilling V-Man. Or instead of, instead of a drop rate V-Man, you can have a support V-Man. That literally just has specific stats for for boosting other people, and then you have a preset that's specifically for skilling, and then a preset that's specifically for combat. So then three presets for V-Man would be sick and would still be used because because you you don't you can't max out everything with void points right now. Or even you could have a speed run build. You could have a speed run build. You could have a you could have a combat build, and you could have a skilling build. Having a third wouldn't hurt because constantly changing PC to mobile and another PC, dude. 
Well, I mean, just don't change them, Flyphead. Went from 3.9 to 15.1 to 35 this week. Juicy? Hell yeah, dude. You know, if there's a cap on mining uh, efficiency percent you get from logs and copper on catching and mining talent? No, there's, I mean, there's not really a cap, no. Wait, let's see. Right here, chat. Here it is. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a brand new nugget right here. Ready? We're gonna finally beat the 32k. Finally beat the 32k. Mm, I love those two frames per second. This game's just getting way too laggy at this point, man. 97 stacks of resources. Yeah, I guess technically, yeah. DK is only better than Bubo if you're in a flat area. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, for sure. I mean, D but it depends on what you're doing. Like, if you're farming drops, DK will always be better than Bubo. If you're farming money, Bubo will always be better than DK. Level should I get Mage's Best and Equivalent Bubbles too? Well, Mage's Best, I believe, is like, what, 900? Somewhere around 900? Or, no, 450. 450 is a good spot. Book RNG is ass today. Bro, just, just use 20 books. What about farming for XP? Well, they, they all have their own XP. So, it, I mean, if you're looking to farm XP and who has the, and who has the fastest XP gain, fucking Bubo. Bubo's the best XP farmer, best money farmer, and best portal pusher in the game. That's what he's used for. Save a guild box for the super secret redemption? Yeah, good luck, dude. That's a, that's a long ways away. Is getting rid of fart boys to get rid of poison clouds help with frame rate? Probably. But I mean, you don't want to get rid of your poison clouds. Your poison clouds are super important. You'll lose tons of kills per hour if you take off your poison clouds. Speaking of which, what should I upgrade? But I stopped at Larry to 1100. Yeah, I stopped at Larry at 1100. Man, I'm running out of talent points. Actually, I could just do a talent point reset to be fair to get my talent points back. Wait, why does that ruin your kills per hour when active? Because poison clouds cover the whole map. 120 the way of SSR? Hell yeah, dude. What, I don't even know what that means, but fuck yeah. Really should be an option to turn damage numbers? Yeah, it would definitely help a lot. Poison clouds got your back when orange coverage wears off? Yeah, that's, that's literally all it is. Oh, oh yeah, so it's different for me. So I can run Jawbreaker and Midas and my Poison Cloud still, and run full drop rate and my Poison Cloud still one-shot Tremor Worms. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're in different segments of the game. Something weird happens to me. I got V-Man Stilt Moles and did World 5 Boss and unlock the rest of World 5 to Worms. Is that normal? Uh, V-Man has seemed to be unlocking all the worlds for some reason. How close are you to having Big Brain on? I'm not gonna run Big Brain. I'm already level 530. I don't need any higher... I don't need Big Brain with it. I mean, I could... I mean, we could try. Sure, I could try to see if I can run Big Brain with it. But I... I freaking probably doubt it. Yo, what's up, Hunter? What's going on? Here, let's try it. Let's see it. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so those get one shot. First stream I've been able to catch? Hell yeah, dude. Open all maps. I had access when I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But can the thing is, can the gas one shot? Because the auspicious aura can definitely one shot the crystal mobs. But is it the gas? But it's not even worth it to run anyways, because it's only like 1.7 extra XP. Seems like the gas can one-shot. Yeah, the gas is one-shotting. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. My gas does one hit. Even crystal mobs at one hit still. So how much, how much health would that be then? What's the point of flatulent spirit without the poison clouds? Flatulent Spirit drops Poison Clouds. So Chemical Warfare, Flatulent Spirits, fla Flatulent Spirits drops Chemical Warfare. 
So your so your your flatulent spirit damage scales off your off your off your chemical warfare. It's the same way with like Divine's Knight's Shockwave scales off your stat or your statues scale off your DK's uh your DK's fucking whatever it's called. Yeah, it's all, it's only 64 billion health. Never mind. Yeah, it's it's 64 billion. And I do and I do 5 trillion. Yeah, I do 5 trillion damage right now, so. Why not run both then? Leg? It actually, believe it or not, if you, if you run Chemical Warfare, it actually messes up your rotations. It, it hard messes up your rotations. How can I grab Void Armor? If the beatboxing barely spawns, I can't get 75k for a Void Bag? Well, 3D Prints help with that. But yeah, you, you, actually, get, you actually get less kills per hour if you run Chemical Warfare. Oh, so lasts longer, divides less gas. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I can run Brig... So that's kind of OP. So the fact that I can run all three prayers that increase monsters' HP... So what is that? 1,475. That's 1,180. And that's... So basically 3,000... Let's just say, like... Uh, but like 4,100... 4,100 4, times HP. And I could still one shot shit. That just goes to show you that like the power of the account is a little overpowered. My GM, what's going on? Yo, what's up, Hados? Last class far on top of enemies leaving gas where they're there and last longer. Yeah, exactly, dude. So I mean I mean I guess we can run big brain time, but is it really worth it? Not really. Because what is it? For for that much increase, it's uh 177%, so it's only 1.77 times. Well, that's not that's not fucking worth it at all. I miss no, we're we're gonna be getting on the tier list here pretty soon. Uh connect lava or connect lava if I really should be a world three splicer recipe to drop. Uh is broken. I've spent 120 hours time candy with over 30 and I didn't get it with 7.7 .7 times. It's not broken. <laughs> it's not void, it's not broken. You're just it's just it's just didn't drop. <laughs> it's it's just not dropping, bro. You think it might be faster if you dropped either the auras or the ghosts? No. No, because the thing is, is auras, auras are super strong because you're going to want to run them because they, so the reason why aura is stronger than gas is because aura has a less tick damage tick time than, than poison clouds do. Uh, aura is a one tick, well, well, the, or like an insta tick, well, uh, the gas is more of a, uh, like a, like a two tick. It takes like, Two, two ticks in order for it to actually start doing damage. Leg is actually not mobs and so anymore. Yeah, so that, that's why that's why you'd lose you'd lose kills per hour if you took off Ghost, and you'd lose way more kills per hour if you took off Suspicious Aura. I think it's also the damage numbers. I think the damage numbers and the loot that's dropping on the ground is the is the issue. But I mean, even running drop rate build, we're still making an insane amount of cash. Which I'm trying, I want to push to 1 million god shards. That, that's, that's the goal right now. If we can push to 1 million god shards, I'll be happy pappy. Because right now, as it sits, chat, we are currently at 356,000 god shards. So, I mean, it's just going to get to a point where it just... How much you get? So, when I, when I set up my money build, my money build, I was getting... 2100 god shards an hour when i'm running my drop rate build i think i get 1500 always have unending energy on my current active character which is smart i usually run unending en energy on my active character i borrow one god shard bro i just start giving god shards away if i could i just trade people god shards i'd be like here have this i can make this in an hour how much more candy should I spend to get World 3 Splicers, guys? Don't spend candy, bro. Just active farm it on, like, your ES. Void, if you active farm World 3 Splicer on your ES, I guarantee you'll get it way faster than trying to AFK it. And run full drop rate. Yeah, look, like, look, look, how, many, look, how, many, look how many drops just came. Like, look at all those crystal mob procs. Like, you see how laggy that is? Like, look at the fucking amount of cards that just dropped for me. It's disgusting. It's freaking disgusting, man. How many top of the guys' leaderboards with 69, 420 god shards? Yeah, right? 
Um, and how's my alchemy doing? And my liquids? No, my liquids are only at 3k. Chalky Chip gives brain the happiness chemicals? Absolutely. Cry a green stack, cappy bar cards? Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm close if I was to. Uh, what, what am I at for copy borrow cards? Uh, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I'm at 2.7 million copy borrow cards. I'll use one hour candies and only urgently need some resources forgot about. Yeah, dude. But we will, I will eventually start doing my card farm again. I do want to get, I do want to get back to the card farm. Um... I mean, it's just going to take some time. I am praying, dude. I am praying so hard that Lava releases a summer event. So I, I, st I saved one five-star card Primafire just, just for this one. Specifically for the Blueberry card. So it gives me a drop rate so I can run a full drop rate build. Green stack cars don't give Lava's ideas. I'm pretty sure it... Oh, no, no, never mind. That was Ludi. I was like, I was like, wasn't that a thing before? But no, it was just Ludi. Okay, so... Uh, what we were doing here was... Uh, I didn't save any. Well, I mean, I'm, I mean, bro, that's, that's like, what, 18% drop rate? If anything, that card will replace Mimics. You gotta think about it that way, okay? Because at level 1, it's 3%. So level 2, it's 6%. Level 3, it's 9%. 12%. 15% at 5-star. At, at or at Ruby-star. Ruby so that means that's an extra 3% over Mimics. So that means Mimics is technically better. Or, or sorry, that means, that means Blueberry would be better by 3%. Yo, Todd! Yo, my dude! Thank you for the 13 months, brother. Hell yeah, dude. It's equal to the gift box event card? Yeah, exactly. And it's super, super strong. Well, actually, the gift box... I, I thought the gift box was better. It's 18... Wait, this will be 18%, so it's a 5% increase? Well, that's even better. Sample for the wire thing for the beatbox to give me 35. Ain't no way this will help me. You'd be amazed, dude. You'd be amazed of how much it helps you, bro. Even with 35, Yos. Still wear all of them for that boost percent on DR from Siegebreaker. 3% per rank, 18% at Ruby. Yeah, it is... Yeah, it's, yeah, dude, it's 18%, right? Yeah, 18%, man, that's what I'm saying. It's juiced out, man. You know, we gotta, we gotta think about that big brain shit, all right? You know, and then also once, once the limited time shop comes out, and hopefully we get more Ruby, Ruby fire cards, then I can get bosses and nightmares maxed. Then once bosses and nightmares is all maxed out, I mean, re uh, realistically, then we're in the juice. And we're in the absolute Mick juice, man. And then, what is that? What, it, what, it, what, it, what would be Ruby? Would that be, what? Do we know, do we know what, do we know what Bosses and Nightmares buff is at Ruby? Do card is the same as Stilt Moles? Wait, what do you mean? 36%. Yeah, no, dude. Biggie's not even good anymore, Tez. You max out on double claim chance. There, there's a cap. There's a cap to double claim chance. It should be 36%, so it's an extra 6% damage, drop rate, and XP. Hell yeah, dude, give me that shit. What's cap? It's, uh... Where do I... Where do I... So, so... So it's 75%. 75% is max value. I'm not, I'm not running any... I'm not running any biggie cards, and I get 75%. All my characters get 75% chance at double XP. Or except for this guy. And this guy. And this guy. But it's, it's 65.7. Biggie is just overall double? No, it's just XP. Biggie, Biggie is just XP. 15% double AFK claim chance? Bro, it's just XP. Doesn't give you double loot. Doesn't give you double drops. It doesn't give you jack shit other than double XP. Where do you get the 75% XP from? I don't know. I'd have to take a look. Scale XP too? Yes, scale XP as well. Absolutely. I would actually, what, what does give me that? What does give me that? <sighs> um, is there anything that gives me AFK gains? Or AFK double claim chance? It's 
No, it's PO and Alchemy. But that doesn't make any sense. That that wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense, chat. Because then everybody would be at 75%. Then everybody would be at 75%. So there has to be a specific buff that is specifically meant to the bowman that gives him 75%. I want insight. Yeah, okay. See, by putting your mouse over the. Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. Oh, the bubble. That's right. True. It's the alchemy bubble. Right. So that means that means this guy is 75% as well. Big brain. Big brain. And it's funny because we're doing a tier list right now on this. Yeah, okay, okay, that's the alchemy bubble. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right, you're right, you're right. AFK, XP, XP. And it's funny because we're doing that today. Don't you have the pet for the bubble? What? It's a small bubble. Isn't the double claim XP chance the small bubble? Yeah, it's not a big bubble. Yeah, yeah, it's not a big bubble. And then, and then, also, you gotta realize Archer or Bust doesn't get duplicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 2.5%. Yeah, max is out. Off of the green bottles, honestly, I barely level my greens. Honestly, I'm the, I'm the same way. I, I, I have neglected my green bubbles for a very long time. What's your layer blow up? 1100. 1100 is my Larry bubble. Speaking of which, I do need to get my green. I will eventually do my green bubbles for skilling. As, yeah, yeah, that's where you should stop. Unless, unless, you can, unless you can somehow manage to do hourly clicks for Larry, it's not worth it past 1100. It's a very slow, slow amount. But players have been neglected with DK and Bubo popping off in the last year. Ah, uh, Siege Breaker's okay. I mean, Siege Breaker's like not not terrible, but it's not it's not fantastic, right? Speaking of which, what is my damage on my V-Man now? Twenty-two. Okay, so it's not terrible. Two hundred and twenty bill. It's getting there. It's, uh, slow and steady, bro. Slow and steady. They're okay, dude. It's nice that he has added companions to be able to check, not having to calculate everything outside of it. Yeah, I I think I think what he realized what was going down is that. If he if he was to if he was to stop doing stop doing uh not do companions, idle on toolbox would have taken over. Idle on toolbox would have would have swept him under the rug. So he, I think he had to put his feelings to the side because because a toolbox hopped right on it. Toolbox was like, "Yep, let's add companions. Let's get it going. Let's get it rolling." And. Yeah, IE did add companions. Yeah, absolutely. We need a, we need to, also we need to give our V-man some love here. I think we have some books that we need to purchase. Oh no, we already spent it. Never mind. Is toolbox legal? What do you mean toolbox? What? What do you mean is toolbox legal? What does that even mean? Does he get any income from IE? Yeah, I mean people buy him coffee. When I have the books, I'm legit right out to the library with V-man right now. Yeah, I got you. Toolbox is very illegal, dude, to use. Like, you, can you get banned? No? No, it's like, it's like IE efficiency. I got the red hat? Yo, grats, dude. Yo, hell yeah, Joker. Let's get it, dude. Welcome to the red hat club. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, Toolbox is just another IE. It's another, another version. Just, just uses the game's uh, JSON files. Yeah, it's it's not it's nothing bad. It's just it's just it basically just calculates. It's the same as IE. I just like IE more because it makes more sense. It's more I I personally prefer IE just because it's more user friendly. IE toolbox is, does stuff that I uh sorry uh toolbox does stuff that IE doesn't, and IE does stuff that toolbox doesn't. Toolbox is toolbox is a lot more fucking sweaty. Toolbox is super super sweaty. You would actually quit the game if IE and Toolbox were illegal. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't. I would just have to do it manually. 
I mean, I did remember how long it took me to get on IE Jet. So I mean, but I mean both. I mean, if if you if you use both of them together, you have literally every source that you need to. You literally have every source to your power. But I mean, I'm not. I I I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't like the. I don't like the UI of Toolbox. And the one thing. Okay. The one thing that I don't fucking like about about Toolbox is the fact that you need to run an ad blocker to use the fucking site. Okay. It, it, there's too many ads. Too many ads all over the goddamn place on Toolbox. Okay? I, I don't like running ad blockers. Just for the sole fact that I watch a lot of YouTube and shit. And, and just because I like, like supporting, you know, content creators, so I don't usually run an ad blocker. But... But with the whole fucking shindig with Toolbox, if you're not running an ad blocker, it is so in your face with the amount of ads that are in there. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's isn't it just one ad? No, you have two, two side ads and a bottom ad. And then your Toolbox in the middle. There's literally two side banner ads and then one banner ad at the bottom. It's fucking annoying. It's like, it's like going, it's like, it's just, it's too many, too many ads, bro. Too many ads. And I mean, I get it. You, you got to make money, all right? I, I respect it, okay? You know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a free 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 website. You know, you got to make money somehow, but fuck me, man. That shit's dumb. And they get like 0 .02 per view in each ad. Yeah, exactly. Google Chrome said something about banning ad blockers. If that ever goes through, I'm going to go somewhere else. Well, I mean... The only reason, I was using Opera GX, but the only reason I stopped using Opera GX because it crashed my OBS. And yes, chat, before you say, once again, I changed my RAM limiter, I changed my CPU limiter, I changed fucking everything, and it still ended up crashing my OBS, okay? So I went back to Chrome, okay? It is what it is, fucking whatever, dude. All my homies hate ads. I don't mind watching ads. There's, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing that I don't, I don't mind watching ads. Like if, like for instance, you know, I'm one of those people that'll watch a YouTube video and then be like, today's video is sponsored by, I'll watch the whole fucking ad, dude. I'll watch the whole sponsorship. If there's an, if there's an ad roll partway through the video, I'll watch the ad. It helps, it helps content creators out. If there's, tw if I'm watching a Twitch stream and they drop an ad and I'm not subbed, I'll watch that ad. I don't fucking care, dude. Realistically, it's like, because I know that the, it helps them. It helps the content creator. Those are the people I like watching. But I mean, like 15 double ads in one hour vid? Come on, man. Who's getting, nobody's getting 15 double ads in one hour videos. Who, who, the, who the fuck is getting, who the fuck is getting 15 double ads in one hour videos? Material reduction bubbles are only level one. Is it worth the upgrade on classes? And two bubbles are level 30. You do if you watch on TV apps. Well, you just said you just said TV app. Anything that anything that's TV app is guaranteed to get ads. Roku YouTube app spams the fuck out of you. Then don't use bro. You're using Roku. You're using a fucking TV app. Of course you're gonna get spammed with ads. If you use PC, you get way less. Ads in the middle of the video are way too annoying. Yeah, but I mean that's how you make money, man. I get ads longer than vids. Yeah, I mean it, realistically, you get ads every. Uh, I think it's like eight minutes or something. Remember when the entire Lego movie was playing an ad, dude? Yeah, dude, right? Android phone has ad implements into the fucking system apps. I hate it, dude. Let me watch my videos while I'm going to bed, man. I mean, I agree with that. I mean, I do, I do agree with that. But I mean, I mean, if you got, if, I mean, just get YouTube Premium, my bad. On YouTube, I noticed if you let the ads keep going, don't click skip. The ad, they'll keep scrolling. At least the YouTube ads got busy listening to ads for an hour and a half straight before I had time to phone and hit skip button. That's kind of annoying. Just get YouTube. Just get YouTube Premium. Easy peasy. Because then you help content creators, and you don't have to watch ads. It's a two in one. Every twenty mi every twenty minutes, one ad nowadays. Yeah, Jet. Have you noticed how I don't have ads in my stream? The only the only ads that you get is when you click on my stream. Other than that, you don't get hit with a single ad. Like I said, I have ad blocker. And I don't feel bad, but I'll watch through sponsorships for especially make it entertaining. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't have ad blocker when the ads were in the beginning and the end. Max the plug in the start of the video. I block ads in the sub to you here instead. Take it or leave it. I mean, that's fair. I, I'll take that, Clowny. I actually got an ad that was eight hours of Rick Roll once. I bought YouTube Premium. It only works for YouTube Music on a phone. You got an upgraded version. What the really? What's up, Cubes? File archive on my phone every five minutes. Again, ads stupid. 
Gee, my material could, reduction bubbles are level 1. Is it worth the upgrade on classes in my second bubble or level 30s? I mean, it doesn't hurt. I remember when we did ending ads, the days, dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I mean, eh, it's all right. Hey, ads when they pop up right when something good is about to happen. Bro, true. That's the one thing I can't stand. That streamers will specifically run an ad break when they know something badass is coming to help push at, to help push subs. And it's like, man, man, you fucking did them wrong. Yo, Clowny, coming in with the gifted sub, dude. Thank you. Thank you, my dude. You get a good amount of if you run ads or not. Nah. No. No, the only time that ads actually start being good is if you're like 500 to 1,000 viewers. That about, about 500 to 1,000 viewers is when you can actually start making money from ads, but other than that, it's fucking pointless. Not, not only that, it's like you have to run like six minutes ads on the hours. Every hour. Every, once, once an hour, six minutes worth of ads. Ad once 12 hours, just grass growing. It was crazy, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I got an ad once, a lo-fi music mix. It was lit. Ten and a half hours of lo-fi music was raining background. Okay, ad blocking. Yeah, there you go. That moment when streamers run an ad and they get raided. Bro, so triggering. Imagine a big lava update going straight to ads. Honestly, real talk chat. If lava implemented ads into Eidolon, I would quit. That would be the last straw for me. I can deal with bullshit microtransactions. And I can, I can deal with, you know, having, having fucking gacha system implemented. And having things blessed with RNG. But as soon, as soon as you go to ads... I'm 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 fucking done. I'm fu I'm fu I'm fucking done, dude. That's that's the thing that will break the camel's back. That's the reason why this game is good. I love we're talking about ads. We get an ad here on Twitch, dude. Bro, bro, what do you mean? You don't you don't get ads. The only time that you get ads is when you click on the stream. It's the only time when you get ads. I'd quit the second it came out. Wouldn't even argue with myself why I would stay. Yeah, man, I would. I we'd be moving on. We've been moving on to a different game, if that was the case. But, I mean, we don't have ads, so that's not, that's not something we need to breathe into the ether. Please play an ad reel, dude. I'm not playing, I'm not playing ad reel. Steam itself is an ad? Yeah, true, dude. I haven't seen a Steam game include ads in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, f oh, fuck yeah, dude. You can add, you, yeah, bro. You can add ads to Steam games. Absolutely, bro. There's tons. You just play good Steam games. See, the difference is, is when you play good Steam games and when you play dog shit Steam games, dog shit Steam games always have ads. Good Steam games don't have fucking ads. Just roll an ad for me. I've been watching since you started. It shouldn't, it shouldn't run ads. I don't have pre-roll ads. It shouldn't be running. Name one game. One game that has ads? Um, Firestone Idol. Firestone Idol RPG has fucking ads. <clears throat> Something about picking up Maple Stories. It's apparently it's like more active. Idol on is worth playing reboot. Play play Rag Server. We're we're playing Rag Server right now. Endus and on Barra. That's that's what we've been playing. Yo, Winsley, coming in with the T1. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, brother. Any of the EA sports games have ads in them? Yeah, true, dude. Yo, thank you so much, Winsley. Good Steam games just have millions of daily pops as both spending in real life on cosmetics. Yeah, not to mention, also 800% value, dude. Imagine the future PCA forces you to watch ads to continue using the PC. No, here's what's gonna happen, okay? We're gonna, we're, we're gonna be able to, st we're gonna get augmented reality. And where we're basically we have like Google glasses and shit like that, and we literally just wear glasses for our phones. And then out of nowhere, we're just gonna get fucking ads popping up in our Google ad glasses and be like, oh, buy now. It is right here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. And then it was like boop, boop. And there's gonna be constantly little fucking things in the corner of our eyes. There are gonna be ads and shit. That's basically exactly what's gonna happen. Pay to remove ads is fine for me to purchase if there isn't other significant off offers in the game. Here's the only way where I would consider. An ad being okay in Eidolon. If it's meant specifically for obtaining free gems a day. So watch, you can watch five ads to get, and every time you watch an ad, you get like five gems. Or like, for like pets. Like for green gems, you can, you can get like five green gems per ad that you watch. Optional ads for gems, but I think that would be a terrible, terrible, terrible thing to do. I think that would I th I think that would I think that would be very very bad to do. 
100% watch tads, tons of ads for green gems. Ready Player One, the CEO says, put 80% of the screen as ads before the user has seizure flashbacks. Yeah, exactly. Optional ads, totally fine. But the ones that, the, the forceful ads, absolutely not. If they're smart, they'll have ads that subtle, like you see a Big Mac on the table in the corner of your eyes, you start getting hungry, crave it out of nowhere, dude. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's not, but that's subliminal messaging. That's, 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 that's super predatory when it comes to ads. Believe it or not, subliminal messaging is one of the most predatory things that you can do. That, have you guys ever, okay, so the thing is, here, here's a great, a great example of subliminal messaging. Have you guys ever seen the old McDonald's commercials? The old McDonald's commercials, if you watch them, one frame, there is one frame that flashes at you. And they did this multiple times, where in the whole entire, in the whole entire segment, they had this one picture of like a burger or chicken nuggets or, or a phrase of a word that would happen for one frame. It's almost, yeah, it's like a dick flash frame. That is, co that is to the core, a subliminal message. And that is to, and that is, it, it literally triggers in your brain to make you be like, now I'm craving that shit. It's predatory as fuck. People just AFK ads for gems. And I mean, I think that would be a good way to do it. But I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest ads in this game. They had to stop that because the FCC blocked that in the 90s. Yeah, they blocked it a long time ago. Can two of you beautiful people help me with Doot really quick? I'm at the end of World 5 and I didn't do them once. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure, Cubes, I can help you. Chat, let's get a couple of people to go do Doot. Let's get, let's get a, come to Pop School World 2. Uh, I need a, I need a Doot key. Do I even have any Doot keys though, man? Doot flash frame ad? Bro, I'd watch it, I'd watch it, I'd watch a Queen Doot ad. Hell yeah, dude. I do have a dookie. All right, I have a dookie. I can I can give you a hand. I have one. Uh, what character you're coming on? Cubes. Mage. All right, I'll I'll swap. Yo, dungeon. No, we're doing a dude. He needs help with a dude. Cinemas used to have single frames of lemon wedge during the previews to start salving, so you go buy concession. Yeah, dude, exactly, right? Need help? Yeah, we need, we, I think we need... Uh, I actually, uh, do we have three people? I have one, Aliu has one. I'm rolling on a, I'm rolling on a bowman, so we need a warrior. Yeah, we need, we need a warrior. Wood circle for dude. Damn, dude. Rip. Are you, are you, uh, I'm taking a guess, cubes or Ricardo? What is this for? We're helping. Okay, so chat. If anybody needs to get their dude phone for King Dude, you need one dude Jedi. And then we can, we can help anybody get their, get their dude Jedi. And that, and basically, it basically will get, unlock a dude phone, which means you can summon dude and you, and you don't need anybody else to summon Doot. Because the first time you do Doot, you need multiple people in order to summon it. So let's, I'll, I'll, get, I'll give it five minutes, chat. Don't go in yet. Let's give it five minutes. And anybody that wants to join, you have five minutes to get here. You, ne you, ne you, need, a, you need a Doot Jedi if you want to do it. Can you do like 20 people at once? Yes. And when you get in there, do not say anything. Is Dutaphone a permanent item? It is a permanent item. You just have to click and hold to use it. So anybody in chat right now that needs a dude, there's, an, there's enough room for like, I think it's like, what, 20 people or something, shit like that? We'll give it five minutes. What happens if you say something? Do not say anything when you get in there. Because you gotta wait for everybody to get in here. I mean, if you if you summon the boss before anybody gets in here, I'm gonna be smacking you through the screen. You got 20 keys. I got 30 keys, but I, but I I have to save my keys, Tez, because I'm still I'm still going to be completing World Two questline, so I need to keep my Duke Jack keys for uh, for E font helmets. Just got back with server for Duke pops World Two where we always are. Every game that Dangerously Funny uploads on YouTube is filled with a ton of ads. Yeah, because he plays a lot of mobile games. Free-to-play mobile games. 
which is funny. I, I feel like I feel I feel like dangerously funny needs to pay more for games because he just plays free to play games, gets like 300k views and makes like two grand from it per fucking per fucking video. All right. I don't need it so I can do as many people. OK, well, that works. Four minutes, chat. Four minutes. Hurry up and get here. Pops World 2. If you haven't gotten here, hurry up. What do I have to do to unlock the portal? You have to drop the Doot Jedi right on top of the right on top of the stone. The amount of money he spends though sometimes. Yeah, on fucking Roblox, man. You guys need to come over here, by the way. If you if you're not. Can't see the stone. I'm uh, I'm sitting on top of it, I believe. Yeah, I'm right on top of it. Everybody go like over here. Everybody come to the right. Stand on the very right so everybody can see the see that where the stone is. There you go. There's the stone. The stone's right there. Alright, two more minutes, chat. Two more minutes. If you're not here, make sure you get here. Pays for a lot of games more than once without sponsorships. Oh, 100%. 100%. He does do it, but sometimes he does do free-to-play games. Which, I mean, are alright. I mean, I don't, I don't mind it, but I mean, he definitely, he definitely should, like, just pay for no ads on those games. <laughs> it would make the content a little bit better, so he doesn't get all those pop-ups. Five times drop rate to get Amrock wings, but now we gaming boys. Hell yeah, dude. Character is bugged. What do you mean your character is bugged? Reload the map. Leave the map. Come back in. It should be. It should be not bugged anymore. All right. One minute, chat. One minute, and then we're gonna go. Use uh, Night Fox. Use a, a WASD, bro. What's the limit for the server? Like for, for like max amount of people on a map or max amount of people in a server? I don't know, dude. I don't know. But all I know is, all I know is, is we've been red in this server for a very, very long time and we just keep on adding more and more people to server. And it seems to be working just fine. What's the earliest converter pet in breeding? Bot boxes. That's the only converter pet you can get, I'm pretty sure. All right, here we go, chat. Drop your dude, chat eye, and go in. Do not say anything when you're in there. Just come on down here and don't say jack shit. Anti dupe protest, dude. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, 100%, bro. Just wait for everyone in here. Is everyone in here now? Taking a guess that everybody is in here. All right. So I need I need a mage and a warrior to say a word, anything. Slash dance. Anything. Okay. Dude's dude is summoned. There it is. Boom. Done. Now, what dropped on the ground is you should get a thing called a Doot phone. Now, this way, chat, means you can farm Doot without requiring other people. And this is, this is a, you have to, you have to consume it, but it, it's a permanent, it's a permanent item. This will never, never disappear. So now you can permanently just summon it whenever you need. So there you go. Infinite dudes. As long as you have a dude Jedi. Didn't know you could stack a group like this. Huge. Yeah. Yeah, I know it for sure. And if you guys also didn't know, there's a, there's a little green mushroom chilling right there. So there you go. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your dudes, Jet. Enjoy your dudes. Oh, by the way, chat. By the way. Plus one's out, dude. You can super chat a green mushroom? Yeah, fuck, fuck that, dude. No shot, man. I'm not, I'm not super chatting that. By the way, speaking of super chows, we're officially at 69. We did the, we did the rift. We did the rift. So now we get 717 times 
our, our cooking speed. That's the number. That's the number. I don't think we can get any higher other than if we do the Mimic and the Green Mushrooms at the Dudes. Those are the last two. That's the last two. All the other, all the other supers are done. Oh, and I guess, and, and I guess, and bops. I guess, and bops too. But I mean, eh. Eh. Who fucking cares about bops? But if we go over here, chat, I want, I want to take a look. Dude it, bro. I don't know, I'm fucking, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't sitting there for three months killing dude. Did you do Dr. D poops? I did do Dr. D poops. Yes. So we go over here. Let's do a quick cloud save. I want to see what my what my cooking speed is at now. I'm pretty sure my cooking speed is disgusting at this point. Did you, yeah, I did Acorn TD as well. Yep. We're currently sitting at 5.9 E38. So now, now we're, uh, we're almost getting to a point where we can go to, uh, E39. We're almost at E39. If I made a bunch of these plates with some ladles, um, I could probably, I could probably easily get to about, I would say, I would say E39. Wait, Dr. D and Acorn mobs are separate stack, even the same mob? Yep, different, different mob ID. It's a, it's a completely different mob ID. Same with, the uh, the Bandit Bob Mimic. And the green mushroom spore on King Doot, not to mention Rift mobs. Yeah, but it, it's a lot of time candy for the for the Nutto. The Nutto takes a shit ton of time candy. The uh, the the poops take less time candy, but still, it still takes a while. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a different it's a different it's a different ID. You can kill Bandit Bob's mimic. Yep, you sure can. You sure can. I believe you have to go to... How? It's really, really stupid. It's really, really fucking stupid. But, go to World 2 here. Are you leveling all your characters? Yeah, I'm getting them to 450. You just pop this. And you have to bust. This is literally the only way to do it. You literally just have to sit there and bust. It's so dumb. It's so fucking dumb, dude. And then you have to wait for it to respawn. And then you bust again. And then you bust. And then you bust. And then you bust. Then you bust. How many per hour? It's active only. It's active only. I mean, we could try it. Uh, here, let, let, let's, let's see. Let's see if it can miraculously AFK even though we attacked it. Let's, let's use one hour time candy. Wait, what do you do? You bust? Yeah, you have to bust. We can test it right here. Yeah, see, it is catching. So it'll always be set to catching. So you would have to, but you would have to literally just sit there. But these do not count, by the way. These do not count. Because I'm pretty sure they're immortal. Does flame have to be active in order to combust? Yes. So you can get, but here's the thing, chat, okay? Here, here, here's the thing that we got to realize here, okay? This is not worth it, because as soon as World 6 comes out, as soon as... So you have to set up an auto-clicker? Not even. Night Fox, this would take you three... This would take you three and a half months of you just sitting here, doing this. Fucking World 6 will be out by then. We'll have so much stuff from World 6 that it'll be easy to level 60 plates. Level 60 plates will come... will happen in World 6. I guarantee it. Guarantee it, most people will be... or... The, some people will be able to get the level 60 plates in World 6. It's no question in my mind. Try to piece World 2 breeding or continue World 1 breeding since 1 and 643 and World 2 is 1 and 32. Probably push World 2. Do you want my 400k ladles? Nah, I'll be back to ladle farming once these guys are 450. 
I just want the trophy. Why would you want to even kill this mob? Uh, oops. It's for, uh... It's for the Super Chows. Super Chows are a massive uh, multiplier. Too lazy to use ladle, so I dump stacks of 50 at a time. Bro, that's, that's so inefficient. Holy shit. The level of inefficient that is is crazy to me. Let's take that off. Swap over to... We're going to do some quick ES farming here, chat, and then we're going to get to the tier list. ES farming, and then it's tier list time. Just pump through our bosses here. Yo, G. Everyone in the cafe says hi, too. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, man? Hell yeah. Bro, it is so cold in here. Oh, man. It's so nice how cold it is in here. Oh, it's nice and chilly, boys. It's nice and chilly. Feels good. Titanic. Oh, Titanic. How goes the... Uh... Oh, chat, by the way. Let's have let's have a let's have a quick group discussion here. Titanic, can I show the thumbnail? Can I show the thumbnail? Yeah. Okay, Chad, I want your guys' opinion. What do you guys think of this thumbnail? We use them more in ladles in one go and less and less effective. Yeah, tactically, yeah. Because of V Man. I like this thumbnail. I don't like the font. I I, I the black text the black text is really off putting. And the and the exclamation mark is off putting as well. And there's no, there's not really a drop shadow on Amarok. I would, I would, I would want more drop shadow on Amarok. And the text, yeah, the text is a little too small for mobile. So I, I would, I would, I would put the text bigger. I'd make Eidolon a little bit bigger, text a little bit bigger. Or sorry, question mark. Sneak peek of Titanic Llama's video. It is. And I think what you have going on here, on this left side, I think it's a little too much. A, 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 just, a, just, a spi just a smidge too much. This guy's pretty fucking good. You did well for getting him to editing thumbnails. What? He's not, he's not editing my thumbnails. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, uh... This is, uh, what, 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 this is Llamas. He doesn't, he doesn't edit thumbnails. I've, I've been helping him. Helping him teach how to do stuff. So. Get it, so here's, here's what I would suggest, okay? Change the font. Make the font bigger. Change the, uh, change the question mark. Change that up. Uh, the Eidolon, Idol MMO needs to be bigger. The drop shadow on the Amrock needs to be more prominent. And a little less clutter on the, uh, on the, on the left side. But other than that, for your first thumbnail, for your, for your first thumbnail, I'd give it a solid, I would say a solid six for your first attempt. So a solid six out of ten. I think the clutter kind of works. I would say a little bit less clutter. It would be a little bit better. Maybe re to, re, re, uh, take off maybe like one or two assets. And, there, and, you, and, and then also if you notice down here, it's kind of blank. So you could use this real estate from your font and fill up more of that blank. Want some help? Just message me. I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm seeing dude in there. Yeah, dude, you need dude. Where, where the fuck's dude, man? Prefer what is Eidolon over what it is. But maybe that's just me. Yeah, it's just... 
Yeah. Queen Dute? Yeah, you need Queen Dute, bro. You know what you need? You just need- you just need to put Queen Dute. Just give Dute some- some hair and some tatas, dude, and easy. What is the big Eilon logo below it? The question mark, dude. Maybe switch the Eilon and the other way- the other ways you can use a big question mark as an asset. Have an Eilon bigger question mark at the bottom. What you could do? Okay, you want you want to know big brain? Big brain idea? Okay. Big brain idea. Um probably if I'm guessing. You get the green question mark from the text bubble. And you put it, and then you size it up, and you put it over the character's head. So it, so it, so it blend, so it makes more sense with the, with, with Eidolon assets. So, so anything that you can hand in a quest for will have a green question mark. So then you can use that instead. Or you could use the exclamation mark. But yeah, there's a red question mark bubble too. If you can't complete it, or, or if you if you have too much inventory. Yeah, huge. Never thought of that. Well, that's why you come to me, Titanic. Yeah, from Blue Genie. Yeah, exactly. You could. Oh yeah, dude. True. You could instantly get it from over from Blue Genie. Right there. Boom. There you go. Red question mark right there, dude. Money. There it is. There it is, dude. There it is. That's all you need right there. And then you can make it bigger. Wicked thank you. Yep. Sometimes, sometimes it's better to get a group, group idea of brainstorming rather than just one person. It's also difficult to encapsulate what Eilon is and only in a thumbnail too. So many systems draw inspiration from. Yeah, but I like going, uh, less is more. You want to go the, go the Charmin Ultra method. Like, like for instance, if you, if you take a look at, uh, here, let's, uh, let's, let's pull out something here. Um, let's go documents. Uh. Here's, here's, a, here's a banging one. So, with this one here, okay, there's not a lot going on, but it's super impactful, right? Obviously, you're not going to be able to do something like this on your first try because this is a lot of work into it but you see how it's there's not a lot of assets in it but it but it creates that pow factor you know what i mean it creates that clickable that clickability so sometimes putting a shit ton of assets in isn't necessarily better so that, that usually usually going by usually yeah that pow dude usually going by less assets sometimes mean more just use those less assets and make them more impactful Seen Dragoon's Eilon, I found it super funny. I wasn't a huge fan. I watched it, I wasn't a huge fan of it. But yeah, this is by far one of my favorite thumbnails out of all the thumbnails that I've made. Hands down. But yeah, there you go. That, that's some feedback for you, bro. Take it, take it how you want. Hopefully I'll help you. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's get our, let's get our ovals here. Let's get let's get the drop rate started here. Looking forward to seeing the video. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, we're going to be reacting to it as well, so we'll be able to help boost the llama's numbers up a little bit when we when we react to it and then we uh we link the video after we finish reacting to it, so. Try to put two NPCs from each world. I'll play around with the decluttering, cut it down a bit. Yeah. I mean, the thing is is usually when it comes down to it, it's like you'll do your first iteration. And then once you do your first iteration, all of a sudden a new idea will pop in your head and you'll end up changing the whole thumbnail. I've d I do that time and time again. Hands down, you mean hands up? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, right. Hands up, baby. Hands up. I do that a lot too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally just artistry 101, basically. 17.48. All right, here we go, chat. Oh, and uh, Polyvoid, thank you for the follow, dude. I don't think I said thank you for that. 
We have 2.7 keys chat. Let's put up a quick gamble here before we get started on our beautiful, beautiful tier list. Gambo's up. Do we need an oval pendant or cape within 10 kills? We have 2.7k keys. And I mean personally, with the with the with the two NPCs that you have, those NPCs aren't very impactful as characters. I would I would go with more impactful Garys. Uh, uh, I would go with more impactful characters. Like I understood why you did Larry because Larry does the whole lean up, so it can like lean up against each other. If you want to do something like that, for instance, maybe do do Grassland Gary and Desert Dave and and put them and put them together so they're so they have their backing up by each other's backs, so it kind of creates that mirror effect with different characters. You could do something like that too. Need like five sets of platinum armor. Yeah, good luck. Yonder Green, bro, man, fuck Yonder Green, dude. Yonder Green. Another really good example of less is more is uh, is Cinderbane's Cinderbane's thumbnails. Cinderbane Cinderbane does the same technique I do, I do and does less less is more, and it and it and it always always looks really good because it ca it encapsulates what it's what it's supposed to look like. <clears throat> All right, here we go, chat. First one. Lightning bolt. Oh, I didn't one shot, dude. Oh shit. Am I not using the proper cards? Oh, I am. Oh shit. I was using the I was using those cards through the whole entire time. Damn it. That's kind of shitty to be honest. One shot. Whoop whoop. That's two. Number three. Boom. All right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Number four. It's like, yeah, I mean, ES is my 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 ES is pretty pretty powerful right now. Kind of almost overpowered, if you would. Number five. And there it is. Pair of wings. There's our wings, chat. Five kills and a wing. Is that the new leaderboard record for top damage? Not even close. Not even close. Will Berserker and V-Man be struggling to keep the boss from healing? Right now, Zelb has a sheet damage, max damage of 220 trill. 220 trill is Zelb's max damage right now. And you gotta realize, 220 trill max damage also stacked with, with 3,164%. That's that's disgusting. That is big, big, nasty ass damage. World 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 six is gonna be it's gonna be super hyper farm. I bet you will probably I'll bet you will probably get to world six. Yeah, that's seven Q without crits. Yeah, so and then you also slap another time six on that. Well, actually a little bit more. Yeah, like like six point three. 6.3 times. Yo, what's up, Ken? What's going on, man? Yeah, yeah, Zell Bauer really clicks. Yep. Sitting in the waiting room? Oh, yikes, dude. Reason I can't get work even though I have 20 mil copper ores or a limited minimum. Yeah, yeah, you, you can change the, uh, change when it takes stuff out. There's like 10 mil, 100 mil, 1 bill. It might be, it might be auto set to uh, 1 bill. So you have to check what threshold you want it at. All the damage, dude. So that's kill number 2. Kill number 3. Come on, give me some pendants, man. I need more pendants, bro. Please. Kill number four.
Number five. Oh, I didn't one shot it. Garbage. Let's go for number six. Bro, not one shotting? Trash class, dude. Number six. Still not out. You need more pendants to get more pendants, dude. There's no bishop class. There should be- I wish there was a cleric class, dude. If there was a holy class, I'd play the shit out of it. Okay, number seven. Have you got all the trophies? Yep. Yep, I have every single trophy. Da -da -da. Number eight. Number nine. How'd you go about getting V-Man damage for Nightmare Cattle? You upgrade these two alchemy bubbles. This one, power of try three, power of try one. Those two. Because those both affect Maestro's damage. Does V-Man's gimme give gimme give effect both bot? Yeah, it does. Alright, number ten, shit. Bishop is best, dude. That'd be so sick. Like, holy intervention. Or like... Holy light that does like fucking AOE giant lights that spew from the from the skies. All right, that's no that's no dice on that one, shit. That's a big nope on that one. What about the archer one? What do you mean the archer one? So flashbang? I mean, it'd be kind of cool. I think. Okay, hear me out. I think lava should add a ninja class, but use fists that use fist weapons. Okay. Because we only have one fist weapon using character. So if we have a ninja that's auto attacks, throw is a ranged attack, like ninja stars, but it uses fist weapons. Because then you can already use assets again. But then it but it's still still being able to be used still he so he doesn't have to make a new whole new weapon type class. But we just have another fist weapon character. Yeah, he eat the gum gum fruit, so he's a last man. And he and he and he uses agility. He's an agility based class that uses fist weapons. I mean, I guess you could use luck as well, but probably not. Probably prefer using agility. But benefit from luck. At least that's what I think. I think it'd be, I think it'd be good. Alright, going for number one. But I, I think, I think, I think the fist would make a lot of sense. When a class uses a bunch of cards like Magic and Maple Story, like Phantom did. A gambler. Just watched the new Indiana Jones movie, it was okay. Damn, dude. Damn. Okay, that's number two. I, I, I thought the end of the Indiana Jones would be kind of mid, to be honest. Number three. Going on number four. Man, we're just getting garbage here. Number five. Six. Told me it was mid, so same, dude. <laughs> Seven. I just, I'm gonna be honest with you, I just want a new class. I think it'd be cool to have a new class. I think that would definitely bring some refreshing shit. Eight. There's the wings, baby. Didn't need wings, though, but we still got them. <sighs> so we've gotten, so far, we've gotten two wings. And 24 kills. 24 kills, two wings. That's actually really disgusting odds.
Yeah, that's that that's gross odds. That's that should not be that should not be possible. I got zero and five hundred. Bro, you need a streamer client. I'll send you the link. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. What's your drop rate, Tess? Or see pickle yet? No. No, no. Oh, I did see minus one pickle, yeah, but pickle's playing Hearthstone. Yo, KG King, thank you for the follow, dude. Number five. 15? Ooh. Yeah, you got a little low drop right there, bud. Number six. Seven. Eight. That's usually how I have it, yeah. Going for number nine. Come on, give me number 10 with a good drop. Yo, Quinn's got thing for the vault, dude. Actually, Pickle's playing Soda Dungeon 2. Nah, it's still Hearthstone, dude. It, it, it's all a ploy. He just has Soda, he has Soda Dungeon running. So it, so it says that it's running Soda, but it's actually, what it's actually running is he's playing Hearthstone. No shot on that one. We have, we have a couple of keys left. How many keys is that, chat? What is that? How many chances? That's... Five runs. <laughs> One. Number two. And I'll wait for the last three. Wait for the last three runs. Let the gamble go through. Three more, three more chances, shit. Soda Dungeon Two kind of sounds fun. I mean, it's all right, but it just it gets really it gets really mundane after a while. And the, I don't know, the art style bothers me. I don't like the art style very much of Soda Dungeon. That, that that's that's just me, dude. That's just me. Yo, Karinskar. Yo, thank you for the primer, dude. Coming on in with a big juice. No, oh, thank you, dude. We're going to be getting started on the tier list after this is done, though, Chet. It is going to be a bit of shorter stream since I got here late, and I do need to finish off the previous tier list. Even I'm, if I'm stuck 5DR, my alchemy is going to go to the moon since my boobo run active. Hell yeah, dude. Yo, Moonbloom. Coming in with the primer for 11 months. Yo, thank you, man. Oh, thank you, thank you for the 11 months, brother. One more, one more month, and it's a full year, Moo. What tier list? Uh, we're doing a, we're doing a green alchemy cauldron tier list. We're, we're gonna do all the alchemy bubbles in all the tier lists, bro. Apparently, TF2 had an update. Ugh. That's gonna be hype, bro. It's gonna be it's gonna be super hype. There's wings. There's the wings right there, dude. Three wings. There it is. Ugh. There it is, dude. It's just that easy. Three wings and 38 kills. Three wings and 38 kills. 
kind of good. Kind of good. And for the last one, drop the pendant. Drop the pendant. Drop the pendant. Come on. Come on. Do me like that, dude. Do me like that. Oh, I can't sell them? Yikes. Can't sell wings, man. Does the mole get harder when you fight the boss in higher difficulty? Uh, I think so, yeah. Ready for this chat? Do you have a siege captain cap? What do you mean siege captain? Cap for trading? Don't do it. Are going to be 12 though? But I st don't worry chat. I still I still have a bunch more in my inventory. <laughs> I still I still I still I still have five more in my inventory. Don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It, it is what it is. <laughs> Save for 11th character. I don't need to do it over there. But I miss and 40 kills, we got three wings. 40 kills, three wings. Streamer privilege, dude. Yeah, we have too many wings, man. Too many wings. But I mean, to be fair, we also have 7.5 drop... 17.5 drop rate, chat. We, we, have, we have basically gone super ham with our drop rate. Dude's already in 2050, dude. Bro, you know, you know, you know we in 2050, all right? Got that, I got that big brain shit, all right? Well, we get about, what is it, about 2.5k keys per day? Yeah, about, about that, about 2.5k. So, I mean, it's not, not terrible. We do all right. We do all right. That's what I'm saying, Tez. You gotta pay more attention to your drop rate, bro. You did 0 and 500 kills? Imagine if you had a little bit more drop rate. I mean, that's like 35 runs per day. Yeah, it's pretty big, man. 182% crit chance down my mage with Buff Beholder. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, but too hard on the last one. Lost half. Does that keychain add that much DR? Oh, yeah, dude. They're, they're 25... They're 25%... Well, I think... What are they? Yeah, they're 25% a piece. And if you have the keychain doubler, it's 50%. 50%, dude. That's a so seventy five percent for the two keychains. That's almost a full drop rate, and also you have to add another twenty percent onto that because of the siege breaker buff. This is why I'm stuck at five drop rate. This is why I'm no. That's not the reason why you're stuck at five drop rate. Siege breaker is is so so strong when it comes to that shit. Is it the best to get big keychain with these fragments if you're a new? Um. So the thing is, is those these specific keychains only dr only were part of the limited time shot. The limited time shop had these keychains. They don't have them anymore. So you so you can't you can't actually obtain them anymore. Yeah, for like two to three days. Yeah, yeah. And what we need to do is, I'm pretty sure I have a bunch more talent points now. Yeah, I do. So now I can... Ooh. Am I able to book that now? Can I book that? Yeah, you can still get... Yeah, you can still get 16%, but that requires a perfect roll. If you can get a perfect roll, then yeah, it's worth. But if you, it's pretty hard to get a perfect roll on that. And now we get 20.1%. So we went up by like 0.2%, but that's multiplicative. And 307 is the max we can get. We could get we could get 240 for symbols and beyond. You know what? Screw it. Let's try. Let's try to roll. Let's try to roll 240 for this. Might as well. Or I mean, even then I wouldn't be able to get that to 240. I would need to level up one more time. Rest in peace. We don't even need to do that, actually. 
One tenth of the way there. Yeah, I will eventually get to one mil. I, w I think once I'm all done with Cattle Crook and I'm finishing off Cattle Crook, that's when I'm going to go back to cooking and I'll probably start running Siege Breaker. Probably start juicing up the Siege. How long for one? I think it's like, what is it, like three months? Three months or something like that, give or take, of active farming to get one million? Might be less, actually. No, it's, yeah, it's like two months. That's so as. Yeah, but it, I mean, it's drop rate, right? It's huge drop rate. All right. So what we need to do here, chat, is we need to go to our... Our tier list here. And we need to go to got that. And then we need to go extend that just a little bit up. And then we need to go here. And we also need to add chat. Battery or sharp eye in dungeons? Usually sharp eye getting closer to 100% crit chance is going to be better. I got to go to the bathroom. I got to make a quick drink. And then we'll be ready to go. I need to add uh, this quickly though. I need to add a color source here. That's a source mirror. That's not what I need. Uh... <laughs> Ah, my eyes! Ah! And then also what we need to add is we need to add another color source here. Why'd you do that? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Ah, flashbang! Is this image? Oh, yeah, there it is. There. There we go. The void, my eyes. Well, here goes my eyes. So we'll be we'll be getting started here very, very good. The VOD is gone now. The VOD is gone. So I'm gonna quickly go to the bathroom. You guys enjoy the Bubo gameplay. And I'll be I'll be I'll be Uno Momento and then we'll get started on this. Sound good? Sounds good.
It's not a chair mat, you idiot. <laughs> it's a standing mat. All right. All right, so let's go to... Bump, bump, tier list, there it is. That up a little bit. Out here a little bit. You guys don't see the little speckle of the white? No, we're good? All right, cool. All right. So, chat. This is how this is going to work, okay? You guys ready? So. I'm seeing the light, yes? No, there, there was a little speckle there before, and now it's not there. So this, this is how it's going to work. We're going to go through each bubble of where it lands on. We're going to be talking about, there's things that we need to take in consideration. How much it costs. The potency of it. If it's a linear bubble or not. And also, uh, what, it, what it does, you know, for instance. So those are the kinds of things that we'll go off and we'll talk about. And chat, as, as all tier lists, I feel like I need to say this. Keep it civil. Keep it proper. Let's not get any toxicity or any bullshit in there. All right. Sound good? Sound good? Great. Hammer, hammer, number one forever. Always best to progress. Okay, so chat. The first one we have today is what we're dealing with is Swift Steppin. Now, Swift Steppin gives us plus one total agility per level. It's total agility. It is not base agility. So it does not get scaled off of all stat percent. This is still... It's kind of it's kind of like Roid Ragin'. It's still an amazing bubble, and you can upgrade it hourly because it only costs copper ore. This can be hourly clicked. This is this is this is easily S tier bubble. It's the same as Roid Raging, easy S tier. With, with without without even a mention, this is easily S tier. And also, this gets this gets doubled by gr perma green. So I think, without a question, easy, easy S tier. It will get it will set down throughout S tier more, but easy peasy. No, it's F. Now you're crazy, dude. Smile. Enough with the fucking raffle, man. We're doing a goddamn tier list here. The next one we have chat is cheap shot which gives you critical strike chance, but it also costs mesquite snows, and its scaling is incredibly dog. What are we thinking about this one, chat? What do we think about Cheap Shot? I'm going to say this is like C tier at best. C tier. Without, it's, it's extra crit chance to help get you closer to mega crit or hitting 100% crit chance, but I honestly... It doesn't scale very well, and it takes forever to level up, and Mesquite's nose are absolutely terrible. This is kind of the same deal with uh, Bapity Boopity with crit damage. It also doesn't go into AFK gains, so I think this should be easily C tier. There's, there's many other ways to easily, especially with V-Man, many other ways to get way more crit chance. This is so minuscule nowadays that it's just pretty much just not even worth it anymore. So it's not a priority. C tier. Super F, dude. Next one we have is another big one, chat. Bojack. Bojack is a juicer. Bojack gives you total damage percent. It's the same one. It's the three bubbles, the same as Maddie Statford, Britley Spears, and Bojack. These are all easily total damage percent. They don't scale super high, but they do only cost green souls. Green souls is not very expensive. And it is multiplied by the by the beautiful, beautiful archer. What is that? Archer is archer or bust? I believe it's archer is bust. 
So I would, I would, I would say, what do we, what are we thinking about this, chat? I think this is A tier. I think this is the same as Britley Spears. It's, it's strong early. It's strong early, but then scales down later. Because it is total damage percent. It's percent multi-damage. It's an additive percent. It's an additive percent. It's not a multiplier. It's just like Britley Spears. It's just like Brit Britley Spears. It's not a multiplier. It's multi? No, it's an, it's an additive. It's the same as Britley Spears or, or Bojack. This is, not, this is not more overpowered than the other ones. No, it's, no, it's not. No, it's not. It says, okay, chat, chat. You got to realize something here. Lava, when has Lava's text ever been accurate? When has Lava's text ever been accurate? When? This, this is the same total damage percent as Britley Spears and Bojack. It's literally the exact same. I think it's A tier. I think it's, I think it's A tier. This is Bojack. Yes, you're right. It is Bojack. You're absolutely right. And it, I would... It does cost green souls, though. It does cost green souls. I swear to God if I look, dude. I swear to God if I look. Okay. While we're trying to make a tier list, now you're just being a dipshit, so... Let's get it together here. Souls is easier than frogs. So I would say, I would say personally, I would say personally, this is higher than Britley Spears. So it's, it's between A or S. What are we thinking? I would say high, I would say high pack A tier. I would say it's S. It's dumb cheap and good scaling. No, no, it really, really isn't that great scaling. It falls off later game. Because if we, if we, if we go over to here, it's not a multiplier like the rest. Because this has the same thing. Britley Spears literally says the exact same thing. Literally says the exact same thing. There was no difference beforehand. It's literally the exact same. Yeah, but frogs. Yeah, that's true. So I, I would say I would say it's higher. Tez, I can hear you without cap locks. <laughs> you don't need to cap locks the whole thing, Doc. The bubbles are A, I'll say. I, 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 think, I, think we can, I think we can agree at top of the A tier. It, it, it is better than Britley Spears because of souls. Okay, because of the soul fact that it does cost green souls, and green souls are one of the easiest ones to get. I'd almost argue that green souls are easier to get than frogs by a long shot. So for, for that reason, that reason alone is still a good bubble, still something you want to prioritize. So I, I would put it at A tier. Guy, the debate between multipliers and additive, is it just a matter of being a multiplier, but obviously adds to other multipliers, as it says? So, what, what, basically what they're saying is it's an additive multiplier, it's not a multiplicative multiplier, okay? So, if, if you, if, so if you have 30% total damage percent from other sources, it just adds another 31% onto it to make it 61%. That's basically what it means. Obviously, it's going to be like, 60 something percent because of the uh the archer archer bust multiplier bubble adds the other damage but it multiplies to the other damage yeah it multiplies to the base damage but it's an additive to the total damage per total damage percent 
yeah, it's 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 it, it's not like Eclipse Skulls because that that is a multiplicative multiplier. Eclipse Skulls is a multiplicative multiplier. Bojack is an additive multiplier. You have thirty percent plus thirty percent, sixty percent. One calculation on a number. You have thirty percent on a separate calculation, which is lower. My IE is legit god tier. I I, th I think Tez got the wrong idea on Bojack. Is Tez's IE getting roasted? I mean, we're, we're gonna roast him just like we roasted his fucking three D prints, bro. So th this is this is not as strong as people think it is. It's a still super good bubble. You still want this early. It's still fantastic. This is definitely something you want to prioritize. Same with like Britley Spears. Bojack and Maddie Stafford. Those are all the ones that you want to prioritize because it's very, very early good aim game damage, but it's an additive multiplier. It is not a multiplicative multiplier like Eclipse Skulls is. So for that reason, since it costs, since it's since it's more cost effective than frogs, I'll put it at the top of the A tier. Next one. Yeah, this guy's talking about that he gets two point five k atoms an hour, dude. <laughs> He's trying to tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Imagine. All right. So the next one we have here, chat, is called Call Me Ash, which gives you trapping efficiency and also gives you plus one placeable traps. But with the newest update, you will always have the extra placeable trap regardless. And this is a linear bubble. This is easily S tier. Easily S tier. Easily S tier. This is what breaks this is this is what breaks points in order for you to get a huge amount of critters. This is very, very good for critters. This is a must-have. Efficiency for trapping is so necessary. It's not it's not like call me Bob. It doesn't deserve to be the top, the top of the pack, but it's like bottom S tier. It's a fantastic bubble. This is like the same as like this is like the this is like getting Wyoming blood or getting or or getting uh uh, like the logs for days. Efficiency for critters are really bad. Not when you get over, a th not when you start getting to like a thousand plus efficiency. And then this, this is, this is, this is a big, big percentage. This isn't small and it's linear and it's an hourly clickable. So it's better than call me Bob in that respect. It's not better than call me Bob, but it, but it's, it, it, it scales. It, it's a linear bubble that will always scale. So you could take this from, you could take this all the way to like level 10,000. Okay, this will forever scale. This is a linear bubble. So even the, the efficiency has, does not have a small increase in efficiency. Efficiency does not have a small increase in critters. Efficiency increases critter gain a ton. Because you got to realize it also stacks on V-Man's species epoch. Which makes it even more. Which makes it even more. So call me Ash, by far. And if we did pre-update, it would be way better. But I would say bottom of the pack S tier. This is a bubble that you want to get. This is a bubble that you need to farm out. When you say hourly clickable, do you need to click it hourly? Return once a day, click it 24 times. So every hour, every hour you can click it when you get your 3D prints up enough. Efficiency mattered for other characters, only for uh, Hunter with the Eagle Eye. Hunter with the Eagle Eye. G, you're overbelieving on Call Me Ash, no joke. It's really not that strong. It is strong. 1,057% efficiency is not strong. You're cracked out of your mind. It's additive with Epoch, isn't it? Well, th the thing is, is it so Epoch increases the amount of critter gains that you get based off your worship and trapping levels. And this also increases the bonus critters that you get uh, for, for traps. So that just increases it even more. So this, this is an insane bubble. You will get way less critters if you if you ran this bubble compared to not running this bubble. Million time. Yes, but with the new V-Man update, this makes this makes it so much better. It's all because of the V-Man update. If it, if it was if it was pre-V-Man update, this would be A tier. But since it's since the V-Man update, it's S tier because it's that much stronger. Tez told me they claim they got 30 million crit critters without Call Me Bob and 40 mil with. So that's a 10 million difference. A 10 million difference based off just Call Me Ash. Why V-Man update? Because Species Epoch. 
Species epoch is huge. Yeah, that's like a yeah, that's a huge percentage increase. Yeah, I got 2,500% from Ash. That's a massive increase because it's a linear bubble. Because it's such a juicer linear bubble, this is something that you're definitely going to want to prioritize to get as high as possible so you get as many critters as possible so you get as efficiency as possible. This is a very important bubble to be leveling. This is not, this is not, this is not something that you should just ignore. So th this is bottom of the pack S tier. It's nowhere near Call Me Bob. It's, it's nowhere near Call Me Bob, but this is definitely something that you're going to want to prioritize. When you, you literally didn't want, no, Tez, it was Sheepy that I didn't want to consider. Sheepy was the problem because everyone just said Sheepy. V-Man makes this a good bubble. That's part of the game. Because everyone was like, yeah, but Sheepy. Yeah, but Sheepy. Yeah, but Sheepy. This has nothing to do with a pay-to-win mechanic. This all has to do with using your abilities to your, to your, to your power. It's a completely different, it's a completely different situation. And it's, and it's cheap. Well, for, for the most part. You can eventually hourly click it. It's prioritizing the right bubbles, though. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Exactly. Thank you, Hammer Girl. It's a gift that keeps on giving. If it wasn't a linear bubble, it would be B tier. But since it's a linear bubble, it's an S tier. He be typing. All right. So the next one we have, chat, is... Because I got to catch them all. Now this is a multiplier, which multiplies more likely to catch shitter... Sorry, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me redo that, dude. I said shitter. Because I catch them all gives a times more likely to catch shiny critters when opening a trap. Now, what do we think on this bubble? I mean, to be honest with you, this is like C tier. This is like C tier. Now, the reason why I say it's C tier, it may be a multiplier, absolutely. But it caught, it, it may be B tier. I'd give it, I'd give it B tier, actually. It, it is, it is a multi, yes, but it costs Rooted Souls. Rooted Souls is a issue. Rooted Souls is a big issue. I mean, it does just level it up on its own. Early game, struggling with shiny critters. Early game, you're not going to be leveling up this bubble. Early game, you're not going to be leveling up this bubble because it's, because it's Rooted Souls. There's no way you're going to get this early game. Early game doesn't struggle with shinies. Yeah, early game doesn't really shine, uh, struggle with shinies. And besides, I mean, if you want to talk about the highest shiny critters in the game bonus, that's, 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 that, that's, that's the prayer, dude. All right? That's shiny snitch, okay? Shiny snitch is the best. It's a World 1 TD. Technically, it's not. When it comes, when it comes to power scaling, it's, it, goes, it goes Green Souls, Dune Souls, and then the third one is Rooted Souls, then it goes frozen zones, frozen souls. So technically, if we were to be considering, it would it, it's a way higher tier souls than anything else. So I'll say B tier. The fact that it's a multiplier comes C over time, but B for the most part. I could I could I could see it's either B or A. It, it's either B or A. It's super expensive. So what do you what did you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer B or A? B or C never A? It's definitely something you're not gonna really prioritize. You're just gonna let no bubble left behind level this up anyways. Shinies are so niche. They are pretty yeah, shinies are pretty niche. A by the cost, B is good. B? C because the first word is C. Being a worship tower we're we're busy, long shot. Not at the moment. Scaling seems not great. 1.79. Yeah, the, the scaling is garbage, too. The scaling is absolutely garbo. B-tier shinies look cool. I think... So, it is a good bubble. But the scaling is trash. It is a fat multiplier. 
but it also cost a ton of rooted souls to get the multiplier to keep on going. So I would say top of the pack B tier. It's still a solid bubble. It's still a great bubble, but it's it the cost. The cost is brutal. The cost is absolutely, absolutely disgusting. All right, next one, chat. We got is. Fast boy talents. Now the fast boy talents give you talent points for each tab. And this is specifically for the archer. And this also gets multiplied. This also gets multiplied by archer or bust. What are we thinking here? This is kind of this is kind of the same deal. This is kind of the same deal with uh with the other one, the other talent points. Talent points are always S. A because class Archer class sucks, but great bubble. I mean, you really think it's A tier? What was our what was our last one? Where where where, where we play? Where were we placed the other one? We remember what we placed on the orange bubble? It is a linear bubble, absolutely. You put it on F? No, I didn't. I think I put it on B. The only F one was bite, not chew. But you also got to realize it costs flycicles. You got to remember, chat. It's flycicles as well. But it also gives... That's a really good point. It also affects V-Man. It affects V-Man. So, th ooh, that's a good one. So I would, I would say, I would say this is high A, high A for sure, high A because it affects two, it affects two classes. Yeah, but but or or orange was B, but it cost mousies. Now you're relying on V man again, Tez. Tez, it it gives you both class talent points. Shut the fuck up. Because A and not S, because it's infinite points as long as you level it up. Yeah, it's a linear bubble. I would say it's high A. It's much easier to level up than the other bubble. Yeah, it affects V-Man. Yep. No, it doesn't give him void points. It gives it up to Maestro. A since V-Man. 80% of the game doesn't have V-Man. Bro. Beginner. Journeyman. Maestro. You have these classes in like World 3. What are you talking about? Bro, if bro, you bro, you are you pickling right now, dude? Tez is out here fucking taking taking the spot for pickle right now, man. Most accounts it still affects three characters, which Buff Boy affects four characters. Yeah, it doesn't it it, it doesn't give V Man points, but it it does give the Maestro points. Maestro journeyman. I would say this is high A tier. Now the real question is, Jet, do we put it above or behind Bojack? I would say we put it above, because talent points will end up giving us more damage than Bojack will. We play Eidolon, name, name every V-Man buff. So, let's see here. You have Void Trial Rerun, you have Void Radius, you have Bossing Veins, uh, you have Enchantments, you have the Damage Percent Multiplier, uh, you have the, the, four, the four boost to base stats, uh, you have the XP buff, Species Epoch, Voodoo Statification, and you also have uh, the, uh, the, the Blood Marrow and the Multi-Kill per tier. Okay, next. And also, you technically have, you know, the Checkmate one that gives you more Void Points in the Maestro tab. He's like, hold my beard in. Infinite scale win. Sweet base damage, juicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot family buff. Oh, it does it have family guy. No, I don't think I don't think it has family guy. Oh, you like Eidolon? Name every family bonus ever, dude. Yeah, okay, okay, bro. Yeah, okay. All right, so chat. I think because since it only costs flycicles. And not only that, not only that, it gives talent points to not only one class but two classes. I would say it's going to be higher than Bojack at A tier. 
Flyzicles are hard to get, but they're not as hard to get as mousies. Hourly print, honestly? Well, I mean, no, it's impossible to hit hourly print. You will never hit hourly print with Fastboy. Flyzicles are a pain early on, but it's a very, very strong thing to get. Very, very, very good bubble because it's for both classes. If it was only one class, it would be B tier. But since it's two classes, it goes to A tier. But flysicles are easier to get than mousies. It's still fewer characters than Buff Boy. I don't agree here. Yeah, but it's yeah, but it's two classes. It's still four classes or three classes, I guess. Three classes. Wait, wait. What do you wait? What do you mean? Wait, hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Buff Boy does. Blood Berserker and DK. This does Siege Breaker, Beastmaster, and and Maestro. What are you what are you talking about? How is Buff Boy better than this? On most counts, you have two Blood Berserkers and two DKs, is what I mean. Then it's still four and four. Okay, you can't go off of that basis. You can't you can't literally go off of that basis. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I think they're saying you have 2DK to 2 Blood Berserkers. That, that doesn't make any fucking sense, man. Beastmaster doesn't get any talent points. Yep, Beastmaster gets talent points from this bubble, absolutely. It's a 3 to 2. This is, this is still better. This is a 3 to 2. Beastmaster is useless. No, Beastmaster still has its benefits. So they don't? Okay. All right. All right. Okay, yeah, that, that's like saying, okay, I got 10 V-mans on my account, so that makes that one the best bubble in the game. That's, that's, that's basically what you're going off of. What, what, yeah, what, what if I have a, what if I have a 10, what if I have a 10 Beastmaster account, huh? Then that, then that should be top of the S tier. Like, can we, can we, can we not, like, 5 IQ this? Even points to a trash class with Beastmaster Maestro makes the bubble worse, to be honest. Bro, you're, you're, you're so cracked. You're so, so cracked. But there's no reason to that. Just like, just like your reasoning. There's no reason to that. You can't go off of that basis or else, or else that's going to be hard base, bro. Because, because then we could argue that the other meta was two Siege Breakers. So if we're, if we're talking about the double Siege Breaker meta, then it's four to four. It would be, it would be, it would be a four to four then. We could absolutely argue that because some people are old meta. Some people are old meta. They run two Siege Breakers. Some people, some people have two, two BMs. Not all accounts run meta builds. That's the thing that you got to remember. Not every account runs the meta build. Some people run different builds. Some people have different classes. So you can't have that basis. This is for a generalization. This is not for, this is, this is, this is, this is not, this is not just specifically for meta builds only. We got to change the song. This is a bad song. It's like turn into a Tez versus Griffey opinion war tier list. <laughs> okay, so for the reason that it costs flysicles, not mousies, and the fact that it also affects both your archers, not, not only that, it also affects your maestro, makes this a A tier bubble. Let's move on. The next one we have, chat, is... Bubble count is reliant, dude. F rank bubble is account reliant? Man. Mousies are technically easier? No, they're not. No, they're fucking not. Mr. I have 2500 efficiency on my call me ash, yet doesn't call it an S tier bubble? Shut up. All right, the next one, chat, we have is called Green Bargain. The material cost of all green bubbles are 38% lower. What do we think about this one? I think this is C tier. It, it starts off really good. 
It start it starts off really good, but then scales really bad lower. It's the same like the other one. It becomes incredibly irrelevant. Does it affect atom cost? No, it does not affect. This will just level up naturally. I would I would say I would say I would say this is C tier. This is not necessarily a priority. It is a ton less farming. You're absolutely correct. It is a ton less farming. But it, it, it is good early game. It's a good early game, but it falls off really hard. And if anything screw, screws you over late game, and look what it costs. It costs hourly, chat. This is an hourly bubble. Okay? That is dog. That is absolutely dog to level up. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really save you that much time now, does it? So, I mean, it's not necessarily, and not to mention, Owlies is literally only used for fists. You bear, fists and green bargain. You really don't use Owlies for anything else. Early mid-game alchemy feels unplayable without the cost reduction. I would still say it's C. I would, I would still say that it's C. It's early useful, but yeah, it's it's low by cost. I would say if it didn't co if it if it didn't cost if it didn't cost owlies, I would say B tier. But because it costs owlies, it should be C tier. This is just something that you're not going to necessarily prioritize. Now the real question is: is it is it is it a head of cheap shot or below cheer shot? Oh, Tez is leaving. Thank fucking god. Jesus. Now we can actually get some constructive constructive conversations here. Below ahead. Hourly needs printable materials. I mean I mean I mean I tell you what, Tez, when you when you get to the point where you can call all of chat wrong and me wrong. Let me let me know when you catch up to my account, bud. And then and then we'll talk. Crit one is worse. Tez is learning of other people having different opinions. Yeah, right. Tez about good. It'll get him get him addicted again, so he'll keep on playing. Hey uh Tez, you got any uh you got any of those wings yet? Oh wait. Oh sorry, five hundred kills, no 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 cow crook wings. Thanks. Ouchie. That sucks, dude. That sucks. Too far, G. What do you mean? Sorry, I work eleven hours a day. I do too. Too far, G? Sorry, man. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I work too. 11 hours of typing in this jet. Ice. Weekends too? Yes, sir. You know we work weekends as well. <laughs> you ain't work? Ah, what do you mean? Content creation is work, bro. Just a different type of work. Only the truth hurts the more. 341 hours of work monthly? Nice. <laughs> What are we doing here? I thought, we're doing, I thought we were doing a tier list. I thought we were doing a tier list, not, not Ted's fucking crying over here, dude. I want pickle bag, dude. Let's make a chatter tier list, dude. Yeah, let, let's make a chatter tier list. We're all them guys, dude. We got distracted, dude. Tier list, you ain't got shit on my playtime. Yet I'm still farther than you, and I have less playtime? Crazy how that works, eh, Jen? Lurker S-tier? Yeah, lurkers are S-tier. Alright, so. I would- I would say- I would say this is above- I would say this- this is above crit chance. This is above crit chance. How did this arise? Oh, because he basically told all of chat is stupid. It, ba it basically told all of chat they're wrong, and told us we're wrong. So, I mean, basically, I mean, he's just basically just being an idiot. Job tier list, content creator F. <laughs> I mean, he ain't wrong. Ah, uh, no, I feel like you guys have some really good opinions, except for Arika's opinions. That tells me that Labo made an update and got me to look. Not the first time we called that, dude. So, I, I, would, I would say for that reason, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think it's a, I think it's a little bit better than cheap shot. It's, it, it's a little bit better than cheap shot, but it's not that much better. Point just, yeah, just do your things. Hours will stay there. Yeah, true. We put this F tier. We need a lower tier of some other bubbles. I agree. I don't think this is F tier. I don't think it's F tier. I, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think it's F tier. I really don't. I really, really don't. I think it's C tier. I think, I think just because it's super cost. I think, I think, I think we can agree at C tier. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Tez. We're, 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 we're going to, we're going to give you a timeout, buddy. You're, you're going to, you're, you're going to start getting toxic here real fucking quick. You literally level that bubble to like 30 to 50 and forget about it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. You get it to level 30 to 50 and you forget about it. And then the rest does atoms. So I, I would say, I, I would, I would say, yeah, it goes right above cheap shot. It's a little bit better scaling. A little, a little, a little bit better scaling. Bottom of C alley is one of the last things trapping you get. You think, you think it's below cheap shot? You, you think, you, you think it's below cheap shot? It is one, yeah, it is one of the last things of trapping you get. I mean, it's not wrong. It's already only four away from G's. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I'll put it, I'll, yeah, even before it costs too much to scale, which you can gain. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 for that, okay. Yeah, we'll put it, we'll put it, but we'll, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll put it below. We'll put it below. It's, it's still, it's still, like, let's not, let's not beat around the bush. It's still good early game, but it falls off mid to late game pretty hard. Like, like, really hard. And if anything, it starts hurting you. So yeah, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put it below C tier. And man, the alleys are super expensive. All right, let's go to the next one, chat. You might not want to get it to world five. Yeah, that's exactly the point too. For normal people who aren't farming, trapping hard. Exactly. And that's the majority of the player base. Majority of the player base doesn't. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I put an end to it. It's just, yeah, it, 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 there was nothing constructive coming from it. So it's just. All right. So the next one we have chat is dollar of agility. Now dollar of agility gives you percent cash for monsters for every 250 agility. This is increases in value. But it cost purple screws. This is like, this is like, bro, this is purple screws, bro. Purple screws are brutal. Purple screws, bro, you don't, you don't get purple screws enough until you're hard and hammer hammer. You have to be like hard into hammer hammer if you want to actually get this. Purple screws is just way too expensive. Low level bubble not worth the screws. A, because even with the cost, still one of the best ways to get money with the other two bubbles. It is a very I would I would probably argue, I would say probably top of the B. It would be, it would be, it would be higher in A tier if it wasn't purple screws. It is a really good bubble just because of free money. But A, you have to have really high stats, and B, it, it's purple screws, man. It's purple screws. So I would say, I would say top B. Top B. It affects all classes, but it only gets multiplied specifically for the archer. It's a world four bubble, so by the time you unlock it, your anvil should be sort of far. Not at all. If we're going from a general basis, everybody ignores the shit out of anvil. Getting decent edge, getting decent edgy to make it effective won't happen until late game. It is more money percent though, so just because of the cost, if it wasn't so, if it wasn't super cost, uh, cost effect or super super expensive, I'd put it in A tier. But for that case, I'd put it, I'd put it in B tier. I would say, I would say probably right below. Because you catch them all. It would be like bottom of the pack B tier. It's in the middle. It's all right. It's not bad. But it, it, it's, it's still another money multi. You, you're going to need money multis for stamps regardless so you can get all that you can get. But it is incredibly, incredibly rough. 
This is the worst of all of the money bubbles, though. C is too expensive. Cash is very important until super late game. It's a 3.41 boost at level 7. C for cash bubble. Well, yeah, B, not even just by the cost. Just checked. It stopped scaling really fast. Yeah, it does have a really terrible scaling. Could be C just because it only helps Bubo. It helps everybody. It's, it's, every, everybody needs to farm money. It's still, it's still important. Can't rely just on Bubo to help you farm out money. The orange was a B. Was the orange a B? I'm here to apologize. Say that one guy I was I was toxic on deserved it. Love chat, but that one guy. Nah, 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 Tez. You ain't gonna come in here and point out one person when you were just being a fucking degenerate the whole time. Nah, 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 nah. You ain't you ain't you ain't pulling that shit, dude. You literally called out all of chat. Nah, bro. That's uncool. Nah, you you're the one that was being toxic, okay? Let's let's be fucking honest here. No, no, you weren't even degenerate. You were just being toxic. You were like you were like you were talking like we were in like a league chat, bro. This isn't a League of Legends streamer, okay? I'm not toxic. That guy deserved it. Yeah, that's that's toxic mentality right there. No shit. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care either. Either way. We're gonna we're gonna continue. DJ is completely different than Tox. Yeah, and you were being toxic. And also, you're ban evading. Or time out evading. So now you get both your accounts timed out. I'm not toxic, my sport's just bad. <laughs> Quick question, when it says 250, is that account-based or character-based? It's character-based. It's character-based. So, we put the other- okay, so I- I think- okay. So, since we put- okay, now that I've done some thinking, since it is the- since it is the worst out of the money multi, not only that, it costs purple screws. I would say, I would say, I would say top of C tier. I, 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 I would, I would do top of C tier. I C seems fair. Because it's not, it's not as good as the other one. I would say, I would, I would say, I would say that's fair. I would say top of the C tier. I would, I can, I can agree with that. I would say top of the C tier is fine. So, all right, next one. Yeah, B's in the middle. Yeah, I mean, it's not a priority, though. Yeah, it's C late game, and it's F early mid game. By the time you actually start getting this leveled, it's, 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 I mean, I even have it at a super low level, dude. Like, mine's at 125, and I'm late game, and I haven't even leveled about it. Brother, let it go. The next one we are going to be working on is... So chat, the next one we have is Permagreen. Permagreen gives a multiplier bonus to the first, seventh, tenth, thirteenth, and fifteenth bubble. Which bubbles are these, chat? Which bubbles are these? We know one is definitely quick swift uh swift stepping. Now what's the what's the what, oh, here, let me let me take a look. So we have So what it levels up is it levels up quick stepping or swift stepping. It levels up sanic tools, cheap shot, which is crit chance, cause I catch them all, which is a uh, shiny multiplier, and also green bargain tag. I would say this is this is hefty A tier. This does help with this is huge for your fly prints, but it doesn't deserve S. It doesn't deserve S. It's dung beetles. It's dung beetles, chat. I would I would say it's probably A. I would say it's high A. It's it's still insane. It's still insane because it is a multiplier. 
It hits, it hits, it hits Swift Step In, and it also hits Sanic Tools. But at the same time, it hits the Crit Chance Bubble, Green Bargain Tag, and but it does hit the Multiplier. It hits the Shiny Multiplier, which is also a huge one. And Dung Beetles is something that you don't normally trap unless you're going for Jade Scarabs. Hourly bubble with enough Call Me Ash. No, no, not even enough with Call Me Ash. You'll be able to get 1 billion. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Multiplier too good to be low tier. Yeah, you, you can't put you can't put low you can't put those at low tier. I, I would I I personally top the pack A tier. It's still a multiplier. It's it's not an insane multiplier, but it still multiplies the basics uh for also you gotta realize too chat is archers don't get things like Hardy Diggy and Hocus Choppus. Okay, so it get it hits Sonic Tools. Sonic Tools is like the one of the only things that increases caching by a substantial amount next to the first talent page. So I mean it I mean it does it does it does uh no you're good, brother. And it does also Swift Step in, which makes Swift Step in also help out a lot. And it also does shiny chance. Shiny chance is super OP on that as well. Catching is so mid. Yeah, catching's mid, but it's still necessary. It's still necessary for so many things. But the cost, I agree. The cost is expensive. The cost is unnecessary, but it is still a multiplier. You gotta remember, multipliers, multipliers are abyss. Maybe, so how, so you guys prefer low A because it, it should not move off of A. I don't think it, I don't think in any circumstance it should ever move off of A. So you're thinking it should be, you think it should be, needs decent catching for prints for alchemy and stamps and then crafting? Within green, and yeah, within its green bubble, it's extremely powerful. Yeah, one of the, plus one of the only ways to up catching efficiency. Is this, a, no, no, no. I mean, no one, no, no, green, green bargain tag, eh. I mean, it helps out early game with green bargain tag, but this is a level four, this is a world four bubble. Just make Adam harder. Beatles, yeah. Hmm. Mid A, maybe. What do you think? What do you think it should be? Below bargain, green bargain. Low talents above damage. What do you guys think about that spot? I'd say that's more of a reasonable spot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it seems accurate. I like it there. Yo, peace out. Joker. For B and B, definitely A afterthought. Say B, but since how late you unlock them and the difficulty. So honestly, if it didn't cost if it didn't cost dung beetles, it would be higher up in the list. And only because it the, the things that it does multiply is like crit chance, which is not really huge bubble. But it does give you Sonic Tools, which is one of the only bubbles that you can do to realistically help increase catching prints other than the obvious ones, like the AFK gain ones and the Slab of Agility and whatnot. I would say this is a viable bubble specifically just for catching prints. So I would say it's not more valuable than Talent Points because of the cost, but it's, it's more valuable than Bojack. So we're going we're gonna to put it a bit of the pack A. Next one we have here, chat. It's Fly in Mind. Fly in Mind gives you percent catching AFK games. Or your catching, specifically. So Fly in Mind for temp, temp, or a percentage of your catching AFK gain rate. This is this this one is also another one that requires to have high catching prints. It's a fantastic bubble. I would say I would say this is A. Oh wait, but it does catch but it does take bumblebees. It does take bumblebees. Do we ever unban hog? I don't think so. Top of B, low A. We think we're thinking top of the B, eh? It's in the middle. The effect is pretty insane. By the time you get it, you can already get B's easily. Low S. I don't think it, I don't think it. 
it's a great bubble. It's it's a fantastic bubble. It's super super good, and it also gets multiplied. Also gets multiplied. So this this you know if I have ten percent right now, it's more like uh, like thirty percent. It's yeah, it's good, but the cost is rough. Stronger than an extra shiny, but expensive, but printable. It's one of the best. It's not the best country low S for sure. I would I would I would probably put it in high A. If, yeah, I would say it's high A. Catching doesn't get a lot of love. Catching does not get, like, any love when it comes to the bubbles. I, I, I think we put it A. I, I, would, I would say. It's, yeah, it, 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 is, it is a struggle to get. You're absolutely right on that one. Helps level catching for other classes. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely has its benefits. It's definitely a good bubble. I think it boosts AFK array enough to focus it. Feels B to me. I would say, I would say probably middle of the pack A. I would say right behind Permagreen. Personally, I put it, I per, personally, I put it right behind Permagreen. But at the same time, its scaling is trash. It has it has absolutely dog scaling. I think high B is good. A little boost of catching, so it's worth putting effort in. Top of the B would make sense for this. I could I could I could say top of the B. I like that actually. I could agree with that. I could agree with top of the B. It's it's still an insane bubble, but it's just. It's either bottom A, top B. Either top of the B, bottom of the A. Would you guys prefer? You guys prefer bottom of the A or top of the B? I personally would say bottom of the A. Top B, too expensive. Low A, bottom A. Top of the B, it's better pun. Bottom A. Low A. I I I think I think I think pers personally, we're comparing it to shiny chat. Surely it's A then, top of the B, low A, top B. Okay, here let's do a quick poll. I want to do a quick poll on this. We'll do a one minute chat, one minute poll. One minute pull is up. See what you guys say. Best catching bubble and the bees are easy. Make it five minutes. No, I'm not gonna, we're not going to stay here for five minutes. I think all bubbles are special and deserve to be A tier. <laughs> you know, this is a pretty split decision. This is actually, this is actually a pretty split decision. It is, it is just expensive. But I mean, to be fair, this is a late game bubble. So I mean, you, you, you won't even lock this until like you're pretty decent into World 4. If not World 5. And I, if you want me to be completely honest with you, chat, I think most green bubbles are dog shit anyways. I would say this is one of the worst, these are the worst bubbles in the game. Besides Hammer Hammer and Call Me Ash. I think the rest of them are kind of dog. Okay, I can agree with that. Yep, I can 100% agree with that. Low A. 100% think low A is a good spot for it. Because it's, it, Chad, it's still AFK gains, right? This is the thing that we got to remember. It's still good AFK gains. But it's wonky because the cost is kind of kind of weird. So we'll give it out a low A. Low, low A. Yeah, you can get, yes, you can get Bs from World 4 Coliseum, so it is possible to level it up. I have another bubble for a tool efficiency, I'd like the two other cauldrons. Like, like, if there, so here's the thing. If there, if there was things in the green cauldron that has like Hocus Choppus and Hardy Diggy, 
it would blow a lot of these bubbles out of the water. But, but since we don't have that, these bubbles become more higher of a priority. You know what I mean? Alright, so the next one that we're going to be working on today is chat is the big bubble known as the green bubble, which is kill per kill. And what kill per kill does is gives you extra kills for death zone opening portals, but this also doesn't count for things like multi-kill. This is specifically meant for pushing portals. Debate again, I'll say. Garbo, S. I don't think it's S tier. I don't think it's S tier. I would say Mr. Massacre is S tier. I wouldn't say this is S tier. This is only for portal pushing. This is only for pushing portals and Death Note. It's the only thing that's used for. And also, chat, green salts. Green salts. This is almost... This is almost impossible to level. This is so hard to level. Unbelievably, this green salts are so rough. This is a must for pushing though. Kind of, not really. Green salts, I'd say high A then, mid A. Here's how I see it. Low a tier if the death note pushing. Otherwise, I say C. And it's a big bubble. You have to equip it. This, this is also a equipable bubble. You have to have it on your bar in order for you to get the bonus from it. But you do need to keep in mind... I don't... I don't ch chat. Keep Sheepy out of this, okay? Because then, this, then, then, then we can basically throw this tier list out the garbage because this, is, this will turn into a pay-to-win tier list. Okay? Because if you if you want to make that argument, then Dute makes kill per kill dog shit. Because because why do you need this bubble when you can just run Dute? If you finish Death Note and Portals, it's F. But if not, it's A. It's good for pushing, but it's a late game bubble. So you're not even you're, you're realistically, realistically if you think about it, okay. It's a World 4 bubble. It costs green salts. It's almost impossible to add them. Or it just takes a really long time to add them. But it's really good for Rift. It's really good for Death Note. And it's really good for pushing portals. It is something that you're going to run if you're pushing stuff. But the cost is brutal. I would say because of all of that considering. Top of the pack B tier. I would say I would say top B. It's it's in the middle. It's a good bubble, but it's expensive. Because you run this bubble if you can't hit multi kill. If you don't run multi kill, you run this bubble guaranteed all the time. If you if you do hit multi kill, you run this bubble. If you're pushing rift, you run this bubble. It's really good, G, but the cost. Yeah, I would I would put this low S if it wasn't so expensive. But because of just because of the cost alone, top of the B tier. That's why I said mid since no bubble left. That's why I said mid a since no bubble left. Yeah, it's gonna be just no bubble left behind it, basically. And you're also praying for lithium procs. You gotta realize this is a world four bubble, so you're basically praying that a proc from lithium is gonna hit this one. Think top of the B is too high? Low, low B, nobody can level it early, refinery time is no bubble. I could agree with that. Actually, you know what? I agree with that. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. I would say, okay, I changed my mind. I'll put it low B. Low B. Low B would be a fair spot. Can we agree on low B? Arika, you've been trolling, you, you trolled even last tier list, and you're trolling this tier list. Okay, I can't take you 100% seriously, Arika, come on now. How? You, you know how. Go watch the VOD. The bubble is mid at best. Costs way too much. Green salt is very too precious unless you're... Yeah, exactly. Just be in general. 
It's because of lava? Nah, nah, dude. They, they, you were, you were, you were, there was some, there was a little bit of trolling here and there, Rika. You were, you were, you were, yeah, you're a little bit of trolley, a little bit of trolley, trolley. I appreciate you, but you a little bit of trolley, trolley. Could be OB. Yeah, it's going good, man. I feel it. Does it affect AFK gains? It, it does. It, 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 affect, it affects kill count, but it does not affect XP or anything. This is specifically just for kills. Some bubbles do deserve F tier. You're right, they do. But not, not this bubble. I have the right to be wrong. Yeah, you have your, you have a right to your own wrong opinion. Yeah, exactly, dude. We do a little trolling here. I, mean, I, I would so so because it's super super expensive and it only helps you with death note rift and also portal counts. I will give it low B tier. It is still a great bubble. It is fantastic. It is a must for rift because you will not hit multi kill in the rift. So you want to have this bubble at all times, and it's just nice for pushing. The, the worlds with it because you just get a, a little bit more kills but it is green salts if it wasn't green salts it would be like way higher up yeah but, the, but 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 i mean rika we have to do a little bit of discussion with everybody right and then until we figure out you know i like because my my opinion stands at a certain level and then i let chat try to change my mind right and it does help with v-man speed run absolutely is this going to, yeah this is going on youtube i agree low b i think this is yeah it was huge for pushing rift Everyone to Cattle Quest? Absolutely. Uh, does Kill per Kill and Massacre stack? They do, actually. Yes, Kill per Kill and Massacre stacks because they're two different things. Because Massacre, massacre is, uh, is a multi-kill per tier, while uh, Kill per Kill is a portal pusher. Not even above Shiny? Shiny's still strong. Okay. E e shiny is expensive, but Shiny is a very strong bubble. It's it's a good bubble. It's a multiplier. It's it, Tez was right. It is one of the strongest multipliers in, uh, for for shiny chances. But I mean, at the same time, shiny, and it, and it doesn't need to be equipped. And it gets multiplied on itself. And purple green hits it as well. So I mean, with those with those bubbles added onto it, it's very strong. But it does cost root souls. Additive with multi kill or no? So basically, what kill per kill does is it increases the percent chance to have one kill count as two. So technically, it just doubles your kills. That's the whole point of kill per kill. So it's a, it's a percent chance to make one kill equal two, and then if you have over a hundred percent, as a percent chance to make one kill equals three. It's basically what kill per kill is. Don't have multi kill and world five point of views impact. No, you're good, man. This is the whole point of the tier list is to have a as a group conversation, right? Because I have an idea of what I what I think it is, but I want to hear your guys' opinions so then you guys can possibly change my mind on the situation. Which basically every tier bubble you guys have changed my mind on it. After that's why I want to talk it out. That's why I want to do the tier list on stream. Is it additive with the goldfish file? Yes, the goldfish file does does add to it. So it's not it doesn't do like twenty percent times sixty percent. It would be it would it would it would be sixty percent plus twenty percent, so that's eighty percent for kill per kill. Why is kill per kill low? Because it costs green salts, and it doesn't give you XP or anything. It's meant specifically for pushing portals, and uh, it doesn't help you with loot drop. It doesn't help you with anything, except for portals, rift, V man speed run, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't have half of these, dude. You'll get there. You'll get there. All right, next one, chat. We are on Archer or Bust. Archer or Bust gives all green passive bonuses, which are smaller sized ones, and gives a times more bonus to your Archer base classes. This is fucking, bro, this is, this is, it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect big bubbles, though. It doesn't affect big bubbles, but I think this is no question. Best multiplier in the game, top the S. Top the S for green bubbles. It's also green spore caps. Green spore caps, man. It also multiplies every every bubble, every small bubble in the game, other than swift stepping. Does it affect big bubbles? Throw it in C tier, bro. <laughs> Nothing affects big bubbles, dude. 
F because Beastmaster exists. Okay, chat, we can't go on the... Okay, just because we meme on Beastmaster so much doesn't mean we can have a base take on stuff like that. Come on. Come on, man. It doesn't work on Bubble 1. But green spores are near impossible to get G. Zero head, dude. What are you talking about? Bro, you do one V-Man speed run, and even you don't even have to be that juiced out, and you easily get, get that, no problem. Oh, and another thing with Kilper Kill is it helps with bars, by the way. It helps with it helps with archers farming bars. I forgot to mention that. That's also that's also a big thing about Kilper Kill. Next companion is gonna make big bubbles affect big bubbles too? Yeah, probably. Second bubble is kind of goaded on all cauldrons. Yellow is the weakest, but even then. She doesn't understand sarcasm. It's hard to understand sarcasm in text. Alright. So if you want if you want to implement sarcasm, Snakey, put a Kappa emote. For more money percent anyways. Yeah, exactly. It also helps out with money percent. So I mean, but it does cost a lot. But anyways, Archer or Bust. It's a huge multiplier. It doesn't cost a lot to actually get to the high multiple to at least two times. And it costs green spore caps. So, and also it's a part of world one to world three bubbles. So no bubble left behind is the chances of hitting it are very high. So in the in the end, this is top of the pack S tier. Easy. Easy, easy high S. Easy high S. But like who does active with an archer uh for Siege Breaker? A, a lot of people. Do you not like drop rate? Do 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 you not like drop rate, bro? Bro. <laughs> That's how you get to like 17 drop rate. That's a 20% multiplicative buff. To drop rate. It's multiplicative, not additive. It's not a point two. It's a times, it's a freaking 20% increase. So you can't be serious. Yeah, you said ohm, dude. You said ohm, bro. One bubble like this on the yellow cauldron would be insane. Absolutely. 100%. Ohm is the same thing as Kappa. Yeah, it is. So for, for that reason, Archer Bust for the cost, what it does. Top of the S. Top of the S. No questions. No questions even asked, bro. All right. Next one. We have AFK EXP EXP. And it cost fairies. It cost fairies. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really pay attention to this bubble. This bubble's kind of... I mean, it does... I mean, it makes it so you don't need to run Biggie. It makes it so you don't need to run Biggie. It's so good for it, but so bad. Yeah, what's up, Zelp? What's going on? High C, low B. Low B, high C. I would say it's high C. I don't think it's a priority. Green is the only cauldron that doesn't have any F tiers. I mean, I can think of one. I, I I can already see one that's an F tier. Pretty expensive catching is very expensive. It's expensive, chat. Fairies fairies aren't no joke. Mastery? <laughs> there you go, dude. Yeah, yeah, we all know mastery is fucking F tier, bro. Is there a cap for double XP? 75% is cap. 75% is cap for uh, AFK XP. Yeah, so it's double XP. So it has a percent chance to proc double XP for things such as uh, your your candies, uh, your AFK time. It's only AFK time, by the way. This only affects AFK time. You can't get double XP off active. But 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 you also got to realize that y you can you can get pretty high. I mean, this definitely helps, but you're not going to pay attention to this. I don't I don't think you're going to really I don't think you're going to really pay attention to this bubble. I would say it's not a priority. I would say I would say like low C. I would personally say low C. I I would say low C. High C. For Lab and Divinity with a couple of levels. That is, actually, that's a 
sweet. That's actually a very big brain point. It does help out with divinity and does help out with lab. I think that would bring that to I think that would bring that to a high C. Just because of that. There, it, it literally it, yeah, it calculates to anything AFK. Also cooking XP. Double cooking XP, insta S rank, mid C. Doesn't work on mantra if I recall correctly. Works on yeah, it's skill XP. It's it it has a chance of doubling skill XP and active X or uh and combat XP. So it shouldn't be low C. Yeah, but you can cap other ways. But it, it, it is important just to... I, okay, you know what? Here, here's what I'll say, chat. <clears throat> here's what I'll say. This is where, I, this is where I'll put it. Just, just behind kill per kill. I don't think it's better than kill per kill. But I'd say low B. It's in the middle. It's something, it's something that you're not necessarily going to prioritize, but it is a very nice bubble to try to hit that 75% cap. Because this helps things with, like, power leveling fishing skills. Like, with, with, without this bubble, getting to level 100 fishing would be, would be, would be terrible. Can we all, can we all, can we all agree that low B is a nice spot for it? Yeah, low B, agreed. C tier says not a prio. I feel, yeah, but it's XP, man. Like, when it comes down to it, Snakey, it's XP. It's not something that you're necessarily going to prioritize, but it's still, it still helps with times two candies. Use two times candy drops, bubble for fishing XP. You're going to prio it a bit. Yeah, if you can level it up, you're going to level it up a little bit. I would, I would definitely think so. I, because you're going to cap 75%, but it's, it's, getting to the cap of 75% is, is not an easy task. So I, I would say that's a fair spot. B bottom of the pack B tier. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Snakey, if anything, we've, we've kind of hit the, in the middle, right? Low B and high, uh, low B and high C is kind of in the same spectrum. Helps with a lot of rift bonuses too, like skill mastery. Yeah, knowing all the skill mastery and everything when it comes to rift, yeah, I would I would say this is a nice, easy, equal point would be, yeah, low B. Okay, next one we have, chat, is bow power. Bow power gives you a percent more weapon power from your weapon, but only if it's a bow. And also, chat, this is this is weapon power only for your bow. Top a seer? You want top a C? You you can also not atom it. Same as before. This is unatomable, and realistically, you'll just level this up over time with your uh, with your bits. I don't think it's F tier. It's more damage, especially with all the other damage sources. But the same time as you need base damage and weapon power to scale your total damage percent. But I don't think I don't I don't think it's a Bottom B. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's bottom B worthy. No, no shot. This is above kill per kill. No way. No way. This is above kill per kill. No shot. Which is weapon power affected? But not. But not. It's not a huge amount. The warrior was C tier. I, I think this is C tier. I think it'd be high C tier. I think we put it, I think we put it above crit chance. We put, we put it, we, we put it, we put it above crit chance. It's not a priority. You're going to level it up over time with bits anyways. I would still think money percent is more important than this. It's free damage. You're absolutely right, but it's not a lot of free damage. But the thing is, is if it was weapon power for all your equipment, it would be goaded. It would be juiced out. But weapon power doesn't scale as high as it used to. But since it's only, it's, since it's only technically, well, at my level, 54% uh, to, to, to get it to that point, it is, eh, 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 what, what is, what is that? That's like, maybe what, an extra 20 weapon power? 
It's SSS because it's free. It's not free, though. It's not free. I can't even upgrade that with the amount of bits I have. I, I would say I would say right behind money percent in C tier. Because you're just going to get enough bits to upgrade this anyways. 54% is only probably 35 weapon power endgame. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only weapon power. And it's a super late bubble. It's a super late bubble where weapon power starts, starts dropping drastically. Watch the stream for the Internet Explorer. I think crit chance is B tier. No, because, because you get crit chance, especially with V-Man's voodoo statification. You're, you don't need this bubble anymore. This bubble, this bu bro, by the time you get to 150 and get it like at least level 80 on Beholder statues, this is going to be useless. Uh, crit chance is going to be fucking useless. So archer weapons don't give much as weapon power as the other weapons? True. Weapon power is your base weapons. We're talking about that this thing is 30% damage increase. This is, we're talking about weapon power for a, for a weapon. It's, it's not, it's not that insane. If it was like, if it was like, if we're talking like 100%, this would be easy, like top of the B tier. multiply it this is over 70 percent the multi which is 100 weapon power on new weapons i still don't think it's as strong as you think it is it does get boosted by archer's best bubble but it's a late game bubble chat it's a super late game bubble it's a world five bubble it's a world five bubble i still think it, no it's a buff crit no no dude it's a it's a buff crit crit's practically useless now with the new, with the new Voodoo Satisfaction buff. Later with the future worlds of weapons. Yeah, so, as it, so here's the thing. It will, it will scale higher the more the worlds we go down. But where we're at right now, it's not that crazy of scaling. Yeah, compared to try 2 bow, bow power isn't that good. Yeah, exactly. If we're doing a, if we're doing a comparison, and it's only the weapon. Only the weapon. You're just going to level this up with bits. This is not even a priority, because you're just going to be able to level it up regardless. And then, and then that's it. And you, and you will never, ever be able to add them this bubble. Yeah, at this point, yeah, flat, flat damage will end up outscaling weapon power overall anyways. There's way more sources of base damage than there is of weapon power. I'm going to die on this hill. I'm going to say right below money percent on C tier. It's a tier list. Tier list of the power of the bubble. It's a tier list. I would say this is accurate. And I mean, if you guys don't like it, why don't you leave your comments in the comment section when this goes live on YouTube? All right, next one, chat. We have Slab O Critterbug. Slab O Critterbug gives you catching and trapping power per 100, slab, 100 items found shown on the slab. And it costs maple logs. It costs maple logs. This is this goes down to there's not a lot of bubbles that help boost catching. But its scaling is trash. It's a world five bubble. Hide kill per kill. Mid C. Catching isn't need that much when you get into world five. And and you you're probably gonna use your maple logs on stamps anyways. S it will scale future worlds. No, it's not S tier. This is like all the other ones. This is the same as like the mining and chopping one. It doesn't scale very high. But it, 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 is, it is minorly expensive. It's a World 5 bubble. It costs World 5 materials. And it, it honestly doesn't even give you that much. And how many people are actually farming that much slab out? A lot of people don't have a super high slab to really benefit from this.
Got one case lab. B maple logs are honestly cheap. Yeah, I, 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 I personally, what I would, what I would say. Right there. I'd say right below times two XP. Because you got to realize weapon power, sorry, trapping power and catching power is base power. So this does help with Call Me Ash. This does help scale Call Me Ash more, but it's it's not a lot. It's 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 trapping power and catching power isn't that huge. But it but it 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 it, it is decent. It is a decent bubble. But you're not gonna you're not gonna focus this bubble. This is like one of the last bubbles that you're ever gonna add them. Because it's also incredibly expensive. It's like it's like 5k atoms per upgrade. Accurate enough, the times two XP is more helpful. Just level it hourly. You can't. You can't level this hourly. It's like 30 pa well, it's like 70. It's more it's more like 70 if you have max lab. But I mean the chances of people actually having max lab is not even coming close. So I think I think for that reason, it's an okay bubble. But it it's not it's not insane. So for that reason, I will keep it at a uh, B tier in the middle. Low low B. It's not it's not terrible, but you know, it's not not something super great. You're gonna level it up a few times, but that's about it. Next one, chat. We have uh da, 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 da. We have Sailor at Heart. Claiming AFK gains gives you a percent chance to gain an equal amount of time for sailing progress. This is high. This is high in the list. This is like a this is like a permanent that you run. This one added with Golden Hampters is easy A tier. It's an auto equip bubble. This is this literally helps you power spike so badly. This is a massive power spike. It's even better with Sheepy. But with but without Sheepy, this is still an auto equip bubble. It's I I think I think this is what this is what helps make Eldritch possible. And not to mention, it takes sailing gains. Sailing gains is so easy to get. It's so easy to get millions of sailing gains. It's auto equipped and it's got to be S. You don't need to have it perma equipped, but it, but you usually do have it perma equipped regardless. And le unless you're running big P to push portals, you're probably going to be running this. I don't think it's top S. I don't think it's top S. I mean, it's around fast boy talents. Call me S. I think, I think, I think, it, I personally, here's where I think it belongs, chat. I think it's top of the pack A tier. Because here's the thing, okay? It's 10%. Hamters give you like 50%. Okay? So this just adds it to 60%. Hamters are technically five times better, but you do want to run this. Ten percent is still good. Auto equip is S tier. Should have called me above Ash. Perma equipped A also gets doubled. It doesn't get doubled. Where does it get doubled? So bubble alone, it's it's big but not god tier. It's a big bubble, but it's not god tier. You're absolutely right. You can add him the bubble to fourteen percent. Yeah, you can add him it to fourteen percent. It's better than gamer at heart. That's for sure. It's still better than most of the, all of the other bubbles, absolutely. It's still, it's still huge. Yo, Berserk, thank you for the fall, dude. It's still a great bubble, but it, but it's, it's not as strong as Hamters. But it's still, it's still, it's still a big equip that you're going to be running for most of your characters. But it is situational. It is situational. It, yeah, it is, it is a big bubble. But the, here's, here, here, hear me out. Hear me out, okay? Hear me out. 
Hear me out. Call me Ash is better because it's a linear bubble. This is the one thing you got to remember. Call me Ash is a linear bubble that can be hourly clicked because it's Tundra Logs. Okay? That's why it's better. This, is, this bubble's not linear. This bubble has a cap. Call Me Ash does not have a cap, so I don't think it belongs ahead of Call Me Ash. Because this is what literally makes trapping, good amount of trapping, feasible. But it's definitely a very, very strong bubble. So basically, hourly clicks means you can get your printer, printers up to a level where you can just click the bubble hourly. So every time your printer refresh, your your printer your three D printer refreshes, you can click on the bubble. One, uh, you can upgrade the bubble once. Got to have to have multiple tundras printing or crack prints to do hourly. I mean, I do hourly. I think this is at least S. You can get mass hamsters until you have kill tier in which world five months and months into world five. Yeah, I mean. I Really? Okay, so chat, let's let's put another poll up. Let's put it let's 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 put another poll up. Cause I, I even still I run this. And I'm pretty much done. Even I still run this. All right. You have Sheepy, though? Even when I wasn't running Sheepy, I still ran this constantly. In my opinion, it should be called... Uh, in my honest opinion, it should be... No. Call Me Ash is linear. If it wasn't linear, I would 100% agree. And this... And also, Sailor does, does get to a point where you're not going to need to run it anymore. Because you will get to a point where you'll have all the artifacts. Do big bubbles two times if equipped with Sheepy? No. No, they do not. Say top A, because as a bubble alone, it's not too big. Yeah, as, as it potency it is. I, I could understand if you guys want low S tier. I could agree. I could, I could accept it being low S. People think of it added with hamters. Pushing world 5 normally, you'll end up with a few hundred hamters at most. It looks like a lot of people agree that's bottom of the S. I can, I can, okay, I can agree with that. I would say, since you're trying to hard push artifacts, which are literally one of the, one of the biggest buffs in the game, which is sailing artifacts, I can, I can, I can, I can say that this would deserve to be bottom of the S tier. It's a very good bubble. Very, very strong bubble. It's not as good as Ash. It's really not as good as Ash. And I'll die on that hill. Next one. We have Slabo of Agility, which gives you base agility and luck per 100 items found in the slab. So this is two stats, chat. This is two stats that it upgrades. But it is a World 5 bubble. And it does cost minor helmets. What are we feeling? It is base stats, so it does get affected by all stat percent. You think this is better than Sailor at heart? It's really good. I mean, it doesn't scale very well. But it is pretty strong. It is pretty strong. If you have enough golden knowledges, this spikes. And it does get multiplied. Low S above Sailor at Heart, you get way more buffs from Sailor at Heart, to be honest. 300 or so base agility and luck. Well, right now, what it gives me is I have, like, what, 1,300? So what is it? Let me, let me pull out a calculator here. I, I, have, I have approximately 1,400 on slab. So 16.8 times 1,400... And then so, oh shit! So that no, sorry, that's uh, that's uh, fourteen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sixteen point eight times fourteen. 
uh, times 2.8 would give me 658 agility and luck plus all stat percent. So we're looking at right around 1,500. 1,500 stat. 1,500 stats. I would say this is a, this is a, but this is, this is if you, this is if you have high slab. If you don't have high slab, it's not, it's not insane, but you should be farming out slab anyways. If it was a base, it wouldn't be nearly as good. Yeah. I would say, me personally, top the pack A tier. Top the pack A tier. Because it increases two stats. 600 stats? Yeah. Yeah. 600, 618 stat. Around there. I did the math wrong? No, I didn't. You didn't add the multiplier. You have to add the 2.8 times multiplier, bro. When it comes to Archer or Bust. Yeah, it does get multiplied. Slap is hard, so I agree. I, I would say I would say top the pack A tier. I don't think it I don't think it deserves S. I don't think it deserves S. If if he, if he buffed the base stat up a little bit more, because there's because if we're going from a generalization, realistically, nobody's gonna have fourteen hundred slap. Nobody has fourteen hundred slab. It comes plus movement speed. Movement speed caps at three fifty percent anyways. The only thing that helps is for archer's damage. Multiplied by V-Man. Hammer Hammer is garbage bubble. You're so wrong, you don't even know it. <clears throat> we haven't gotten there yet. I think Max Lab is 1300. No, you can get up to 1400. 1400 is possible. I would say, I would say for most, probably about 12, yeah, about 12 to 1300 is possible. Give or take. So I, I, I would be happy, yeah, for, for what it costs and what it does. Top of the pack, A tier. I don't think it's necessarily S. It is base stat, so it does does scale off of, uh, all stat percent, which is still huge. But it's not, it's not S tier worthy, because it is. It it takes a very long time to get this bubble. It's like, Chad, it's like one of the last bubbles that you get in the game. How much DR do you get from luck? Like, nothing. You get, you get like, we get, we get like literally nothing. Drop, drop rate, luck doesn't give you that much drop rate. All right, so we're going to the next one here, chat. Next one is Power of Try To. Total damage percent per 250 agility. And this is only for this specific class. I don't even think this is even a question. This is S tier. This is probably... It's auto S. Auto S. Now the difference is, is it higher than Archer or Bust? I don't think it is. Diamonds are hard to get. You're not wrong. Diamonds are decently hard to get in sailing, but they're not terrible. I, 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 would, I, would, I would say probably just below Archer or Bust. It's a lot of total damage percent. Like a ton of total damage percent. No, because Archer scales it. You still need Archer. Dude, you still need tons of damage for your Siege Breaker. What are we talking about here? It's like the last island, which is doable. It is doable, but yeah, it does take a long time to get it. Lithium takes out a range of leveling it so fast. Yeah, but the Siege Breaker buff also helps with increased loot value as well. This is why this is the whole reason why you run high loot value. Yeah, it, yeah, gems. Wait, are gems the ninth island? 
How is it low A if you have 750 agility? It's immediately better than Bojack. Yeah, exactly. You got gems on Crystal Snake Island. Oh, yeah, okay, well, uh, that's, that's still pretty high up there, Pickle. I thought Piano was last? No, Piano's not last. Uh, you have the, you have the circle, circle my things. The circle shiny things are last. Yeah, double everything. I would say, personally, it's right here. It's right here. It's an insane damage bubble. This is the type of bubbles that, like, triple your damage. It's, it's, and, and it, and it will forever scale. It will forever scale. 110%. Yeah, enough with the Beastmaster BMing, bro. You know what, chat? I'm actually going to start liking Beastmaster if you guys stop fucking memeing Beastmaster so much. I feel like this is my fault. I feel like I did this. I, I, I feel like I'm the one that made this a problem. And I, and I regret, and I regret it terribly. I regret it terribly. Maybe because you did? Bruh. These masters still good for bars. Put your memes away. It's just because it had it just it's just like Blood Berserker. It just doesn't have a respawn mechanic. Really like BM, but it's still bad, fun to play, but bad. But I mean, you gotta realize, chat. Okay, how about this for instance? It buffs Siege Breaker. Siege Breaker is incredibly important. Siege Breaker means more multi-kill. More multi-kill means more bars. Big juicer. Alright. Big juicy. And also not to mention, if you can one-shot everything with Siege Breaker, that means more drop rate. And it buffs Hunter, which also helps. BM is so bad class, I swapped to Siege Breaker just to get a 500 and swap it back, dude. Sadly, I don't give my love to my Siege Breaker. BM got whales as S class tier for me. You can one-shot Plunderous. I think this is still an insane bubble because because you still need dam like chat you still need damage percent on absolutely everybody. You can't just like neglect those two classes and have them just be just living in the ether, okay? They got it. You, you, all your characters need to be strong. You can, yeah, if you want to be shit. Watch me. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you know what? I'm gonna get BM juiced. I'm gonna hard farm BM and I'm gonna get him max talents. Just to, just to show you guys that you fucking stop BMing them so much. It's perfect, perfect meme class would be amazing if it had lower cooldowns. If it, if it literally had a faster mob respawn and lower cooldowns, it would actually be good. Do what you won't. He doesn't know chat. You won't. Do what you won't. Get catching prints on your BM, dude. No, fuck, you can't. It's dog shit. We managed to do active BM outside of the wheel. I'll get level 500 Beastmaster, okay? 10 trillion on BM and main him to prove a point. Maybe World 6 will juice BM. You know, you know what's gonna be really funny, chat? You know, you know, you know what's... You know what's gonna be really funny, dude? Is when the new BM Elite class comes out, it's gonna be so disgustingly strong. Play a week with BM active, dude? Yeah, true. True, it's probably just gonna be miserable. It's just gonna be miserable. But diamonds aren't incredibly hard to get. They're perfectly fine. This is a this is this is a this is amazing bubble. This is still a super strong bubble. Although it doesn't boost up any V-man damage, it's still really, 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 really good bubble. It's it's a regardless, this is like a tripling damage type stuff. Not to mention every single all stat that you get compiles on this. Not to mention every upgrade you get compiles on this. Not to mention every time you upgrade Swift Steppin, every 250, it adds you more total damage percent. By the time we get to World 8, this bubble is going to be so disgustingly strong that it's probably going to be top of the pack.
Yeah, it's gonna summon Megalodons and dragons and shit, dude. Yeah, just wait. Just wait, bro. So, we're leaving that just below. This is very good. I would argue that it's better than Swift Steppin', better than Call Me Ash, better than Sailor at Heart. Overall, amazing bubble. Amazing, amazing bubble. Moving on. The next one we have, chat. Hammer, hammer. If you're running this bubble, you're allowed to produce one more item. So then you have three in total with Infinity Hammer. And increases your production speed. Sorry, increases your production speed by percent. It is a linear bubble, so it will always increase. Hammer's heavy S tier. Heavy, heavy S tier. Hammer Hammer is insane. It is literally, it is literally, literally an auto equip. This is where I would put it. This is this is where I would put it. Above Call Me Ash. And also above Sailor at Heart. It, it's it, it's it's an auto equipped. It's it's one of the best bubbles in the game. It's literally one of the best bubbles in the game. It's literally meant for everything. Without this bubble, PVC pipes, cords, purple screws, none of that would be possible to upgrade. None of it. And also, you can hourly click it if you get far enough. And you get it super, super early. And not only that, you get plus one slot to it, which makes it even stronger. It's amazing. This is literally what, and also, you need this bubble if you're ever thinking of getting level 13 vials. Even if you will never even get close to level 13 vials without hammer hammer at a high level. Only behind grind time and cranium cooking roadkill? I absolutely agree. Now, the real question is here, chat. We already know it's S tier. We know it's going to stay S tier. You think that's hourly, but not fly in mind? I mean, I could do it hourly, but that's besides the point. Yeah, it's great. I have it at 7,195. Yeah, even Zelda thinks it's awesome. I wish the slot was passive like traps. Maybe it will in the future. We don't know. It might be possibly. I feel like it should be higher. This is like 1.5 times anvil production at level 1, assuming you instantly buy Infinity Hammer and then it literally scales. Yeah. I mean, but it, it but it is, it is a, it's a little bit pricey. The Tundra Logs aren't super easy to get early game. Zelb OP? Yeah, Zelb's one of the best players in the game right now. Zelb is literally, is literally the 0.01%. And a very, very respectable member across the Eidolon community. And also a Doot enjoyer. Imagine, imagine being a, imagine being a Doot owner and being respected among the Eidolon community. You'd have to do some crazy shit to get that to be a possibility. Because I had Doot, and I got chewed out for it. Zelb gets Doot, still respected. I don't know, as respectable players, dude. I mean, IBA is pretty respectable. Couldn't be G. Yeah, hey, hey, at least, chat, you know, at least we're not World of Warcraft, okay? At least we're not a World of Warcraft community. That shit's, that shit's toxic. That shit's hella toxic. I don't have dude, and I'm not respected. You're respected towards me, bro. I respect you. That's all that matters. League community? Yeah, league community ain't that bad. Hey, hey, without Tez, okay? Te Tez is a very important part of the community, I even know, because without Tez, Lava would be out of a job, okay? Lava, Lava would be eating ramen, okay? Call of Duty community. Sag, I don't have any money to raise up. At least we're not Roblox community. Yeah, true. True that, dude, true that. So, the real question is, chat, do we put Hammer Hammer above Swift Steppin'? Or do we or do we leave it below Swift Stepping? Or do we put it put it above everything else? Do we put it right below Archer's Bust, or is it the top of the pack? Do we think it's do we do we think it's do we think it is the bubble? We think it we think it's the top G? I, I could say Hammer Hammer is the top of the top. Zelp, what do you think? 
Do you think, do you think, do you think, do you think it's the top of the top? I think it might be the top of the top. Hammer Hammer is an insane bubble. And it's, o and it's always just gonna get better. Because with new worlds comes more production items. I think it's gonna be top of the top, but at the end it's, it's, it's huge. It'd be honestly hard to argue at that point. First or second. Archer spray bubble is useful for everyone. Man, why do you got why do you gotta why do you gotta shit on Archer, man? Archer's good for bars, bro. Without archers, our our void salts been maintained. Still Archer will double. I think I, I think maybe we put it right here. I, I, I think I think second of the pack. I still think I think doubling archer is still really good. I still think it's really I still think it's insane. This is like this is like the call me Bob, okay? This, this is this is this is like the call me Bob of the green bubble cauldron. This is just this is a bubble that you want to level as high as you can. And it's another linear big bubble. It's so a free-to-play spot and speed for Anvil. It's good for any player. It's early game, too. And it's first or second. You never... Yeah, yeah, this is, this is not even a... This is not even a, should I run this bubble? It's just, shut up, auto-equipped. No questions asked. You just always run this bubble, and you do not take it off, ever. I could agree with that. So just because Hammer Hammer is so incredibly strong and so incredibly busted for that reason and that reason alone, this deserves, and also the fact that it's a linear bubble, deserves to be at the second spot, the top of the top. It would be better if it get multiplied, but it does not, unfortunately. All right, next one, chat. Next one we have is... Little big damage gives you mastery. Mastery boosts your minimum damage, so it does not affect your AFK gains whatsoever. It takes goldfish. Is this even a question? Is this even a question? Uh, easy F tier. Mastery sucks. Nobody cares about ma mastery. It scales like trash. It is trash. Um, we don't, it, it's, it's just dog. Nobody cares. Only thing we care about is max damage. Anyways, moving on. Next one we have is Anvilnomics. Anvilnomics chat, which gives the cost for buying Anvil product points is reduced by 26%. Or, depending on what level you have it, it's just a percent. Uh... It's got terrible scaling. Forest fibers isn't that hard to get. I kind of forgot this existed. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's it's not it's not too bad early, but it's it's dog it's just dog later. Power click anvil nomics. I have max anvil. I don't need to click anymore. And my anvil's maxed. You max this. You max anvil stuff out really quickly. And it's a waste of no bubble left behind. Honestly, I personally think this is F tier. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's anything... That, wait, the discount only affects the archer? It does get multiplied, though. Should leave it one, bottom F. Discount is double for archer. It works on non-archers, bottom of the F. So it'd be better if anvil points were capped so early. Mastery isn't useful late, ML cost actually does zero. I think this is worse than Mastery, honestly. Because at least Mastery helps out later game. Anvilnomics just stops helping out in general. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, chat. It's not, it's not even gonna really help you buy Anvil points. This is just a, this is just a terrible bubble. This is just a dog bubble. It needs to rework it. Hard rework. 
It's just, it's just, yeah, this is, I think this is the first tier list that we're going to have two F-bubbles. 100%. This is just a garbage. And I prefer mastery over anything. I'd rather take mastery over Anvilnomics any day of the week. Anyways, moving on. The next one we are working on, chat, is... Quick Slap. Quick Slap increases base damage. Bonus is based on your movement speed. This is also a linear bubble, chat. This is a linear bubble that is also scaled off of movement speed. This is a pretty good bubble. This is a good bubble. Because you can always scale this linearly. But it is hard to hourly click because it is an autos. But I mean, it is an easy bubble to scale. We think an A tier? Yeah, it's either high B or A tier. High B or A tier. The speed have a cap. 350% shows on the screen, but you can get higher as much. Works on all classes. That's good if you want to add them it. Yeah, true. How about you hourly click some bitches, dude? Oh, yeah, good one, dude. I have not invested in earlier. I could say, I could, I could argue. I could argue that it's right. I personally, personally could say that it's, it's right here. Right above fly in mind. Because this still affects all classes. It costs nuttos. But I think it's, I think it's just below Bojack. Because you're going to level up the other bubbles instead over this one. When it comes to base damage. I think I think we're all in agreements on this. It's not it's 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 a decent bubble. It's base damage. It really, yeah, it's mafioso space material. It's not Nuttos, man. It's mafioso. World two. I'm okay with that. Yep, quick slap. But I mean, here's the real question. Here's the real question that we have to ask ourselves, though. Will it eventually outscale? Bojack. Will it eventually outscale Bojack? I think this one actually might be a little bit... I, th I, th I think it might be... I think it might... Uh, will eventually be stronger than Bojack. Personally. Because it also scales with movement speed. World 6, it probably will. That's for a later tier list. Yeah, with time. So, in, in World 5 and World 5 alone, would we say this is better than Bojack? I personally think this one's better than Bojack. My personal opinion, I think it's better than Bojack. Especially with the new movement speed increase, thanks to Voodoo Satification. Only for one percenters. 99, but it, but it, I mean, we got to think about it like from a, Bojack's just kind of hard to level, isn't it? Yeah, it is pretty hard to level. At your spot, you're most accurate for most people. I personally think that since it's going to outscale eventually, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to outscale it, but, but for most people, I would feel like you're going to prioritize this bubble over prioritizing Bojack, because Bojack, you're just, you're just going to let no bubble hit it. Just simply for the cost. Simply the cost difference, chat. That's the one thing we gotta remember. The cost difference, okay? The cost of Bojack does not even equal up close to the cost of Quick Slap. And not the fact that it's a linear bubble. Not only that, you get Bojack to 30%, 25%, it's done. You can get, you can get this one super high. And also this scales all the other total damage percents. So for that reason, that reason alone, I would say... Quick slap is just above Bojack. If it wasn't a linear bubble, it would be like C tier. The scaling's so huge on this. Yeah, but the name I guess is name I guess is like <laughs> arguably S tier. We're still here. 
We'll still hear in an hour. Yeah, of course, dude. Of course. That's the whole point. You know? All right. Next one, chat. We're almost done here. Next one we have is... Uh, which one is this? This would be... Quick slap is Biss for archers and warriors. The name, I guess, is for mages. What about big meaty claws, bro? Have we forget about big meaty claws? The fuck? Oh, this is Sanic tools. The following tools... So, Sanic tools, chat. The following tools give 55% more skilling power than normal. This is catching nets and traps, but this is at a high level. So, it's, it just gives you a percentage, and it's not a linear bubble. This is one of the, this is, I would say this is higher up the tier list because these are like one of the only, this is one of the few that you can actually increase your gains for catching and trapping in general. The scale is bad. And the mats are easy. They are slimes. And it's an early bubble. Yeah, yeah, wait, is it? It's only for catching nets, but it, but you got to remember it's only for catching nets and only for only for traps. Catching nets and traps, that's it. So you'd you'd get way more from fly in mind. You'd get way more from fly in mind. Here's where I'd put it, chat. This is where I would put it. Right below kill per kill. B. It's right in the middle. Right smack dab in the middle. It's a good bubble. It helps you with prints. But it doesn't scale as hard as you think it does. Well, yeah, of course, Fly's Mind is just catching. Is it better than Fly in Mind? No. Because, because Call Me Ash does most of the, carry, the hard, hard carrying for this anyways. And I guarantee you, you would get more AFK gains. The, the, the AFK gains you get from Fly of Mind would give you more, more, more bugs than Sonic Tools. Only bubble for alchemy and catching. It's one of the only one of the only later, yeah. The traps are nice. <clears throat> it does help with traps, yeah, it absolutely does. But but the real question is, does it give you enough to get you to the next bonus critter threshold? That's the real question. I would not put it above kill per kill. There's no there's no way I'd put it above kill per kill. Per kill per kill is still an insane bubble. It is a great early bubble, but it's not a strong later game. So in, in a super weak on catching, it is super weak on catching because it, because the thing is is the only time where this is going to be like really 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 good is if you like have like uh, like a void net or higher, a void net or higher would make this better. Same with like void traps or higher to make this start really ramping up, which by that time you'll probably already have fly in mind. I I I'm happy with this spot. I would say I would say this is this is a this is this is a this is a good spot. This is a perfectly fine spot. Nice early game, easy level up. It gives you a little bit more skill power, but not a not a ton. Still begging for late game added by the two multiplication bubbles. It's okay if it if it was for like everything accumulates into trapping power or like catching power, it'd be way higher. But just because it's so hard to, like, build up the fact of catching in general, it's, it's, it's just not as big. It's, it's really not. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. One sec. Before, before, wait, 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 hold up. Sanic Tools is number seven. Permagreen hits number seven. So this gets multiplied twice. This this gets this gets two multipliers on Sonic tools. That's why you can't hourly click B's G. It's it's level four hundred. I changed my mind. I'll put it low A. It's not stronger than fly in mind. 
it's not stronger in fly and mind but it does get the double buff and there's there's the thing is is there's like nothing there's there's literally nothing to help boost catching there's literally nothing to help boost catching this is like one of the one of the one of the only main things to help boost catching I think this is a fair spot. I think I think I think this is a fair spot. More things that boosted catching efficiency. Yeah, only and cheapest and early. Come back exact same spot in the ranking. No, we're, we're we have two bubbles left, man. So because it's cheap and because it's one of the only sources to get decent catching, I'll put it at A tier. If there's another source of catching. This would probably plummet down to really low B tier. Maybe, maybe even top of C. But, it, but it's not deserving of not being a priority. Next one. We have chat. A big bubble. Bug squared. Bug squared gives you multi-bug catching chance. And it increases the cap up to 300%. This is times three bugs, chat. This is times three bugs. It's not a linear bubble, though. I would say it's it's above Sailor at heart. I would say I would say it's above Sailor at heart. Catching is massive. No, it is linear, but it caps. It's it is linear, but it caps at three hundred. Without this, catching would be literally negligible. Yeah, it caps hard. And you only need this bubble to like level 140. And then it's good. And then you can get the rest from other sources. So it, it's a, it's a, it's a, but it is, it is serial flies, but serial flies aren't the hardest to catch. So I, I would, I would say, I would say it's not as good as like Wyoming blood, but it, it it's, it deserves to be there. Maybe one day there'll be, maybe, maybe one day, chat, there'll be, there'll be a buff or a companion that comes out that takes away the cap of bugs. And then this will become SSS tier, okay? And that, that, that might, that might be insane. That might be insane, you know? That'd be incredible. All right, so for that reason, just because it costs cereal fars, it's linear until it caps at 300%, and it literally makes fly samples or any bug sample possible. It deserves right above Sailor at heart, and it's a super early bubble. Super, super early bubble. All right, chat, our last one here. The last finale. The biggest one that we have. A linear bubble that makes literally all my IE reviews make any sense. Shackersy. Shackersy. Shaccuracy makes your secondary stat give a percent more accuracy than normal, and it is a linear bubble. And it also gets multiplied. This is S tier. This is easy S tier. Because there's one thing that you guys are missing out. Over accurate crit. It doesn't fall off. It doesn't fall off at all. Over accurate crit. Did we, did we all forget that you get like 50% crit chance from over-accurate crit? Are we all forgetting about that? And not to mention, this is used in literally every single part of the game? Yeah, but when you're 10 million accuracy? Yeah! Even, even less, even if you're at like 1 million accuracy or 500k, it's still like 300%. It's it's still at, or sorry it's still at like thirty percent crit chance. This doesn't fall off. This just gets stronger. It's literally used in every part of the game. The only time that it actually falls off is when you have like level one hundred and sixty beholder statue. 
But how many people actually have a how many people actually have a level 160 beholder statue with voodoo statification on their V-Man at 245? Not a lot of people. But but chat. It does cost bloaches. It does cost bloaches. But it will not only is a linear bubble, stats forever scale. So that means this one will forever scale. Here's where I would put it. I'd put it right, be right below Swift Steppin. Right below Swift Steppin. They're both linear bubbles, but agility will end up scaling higher than Shakrasy in the long run. Because Shakrasy's damage... Or, sorry. Sorry. Swift Steppin is damage. Shakrasy's accuracy. Fishing sucks so much that you have to lower it just for that reason alone. If it was Krakens, totally different story. Bloaches? Bloaches aren't that bad. Bloaches aren't that bad. You guys just need to work more on your fishing. You guys need to, you know, you guys need to power farm your fishing here. It's the reason why bloaches are such high demand for this. You literally go out of your way to catch bloaches as as early as World 2, specifically for this bubble. This without this bubble chat, without this bubble, you would even reach world five. Okay? You wouldn't even get close to world five without this bubble. And not to mention you can bargain tag the shit out of this. You you literally only use your bargain tags for shakracy. Ask Wolf. From a reasonable player standpoint. We can all agree fishing still sucks. We can all agree that fishing sucks. Okay, I'm sure we're all in agreements that fishing sucks. But even with bloaches, it's not that bad. And for the potency that you get for it. And the fact that it's a linear bubble. And the fact that it also fills into crit chance to actually make 200% crit chance for mega crit possible. This is an insane bubble. So it lets you beat World 3, you can take damage of food and hemoglobin, you still gotta be able to hit stuff. Exactly. That's why I say it's the most to get an upgrade, but it's not that useful. It's crazy useful. Are you kidding me? Overaccurate crit makes this bubble even better. Even more potent. Even if bloaches are a problem to get, you could push it on Archer, then swap to another class and add them in earlier. Yeah, I mean, you could do that as well. And it's also a very cheap bubble to add them. It's one of the cheapest bubbles to add them. One of the cheaper ones, I should say. And it helps, yes, true. And it helps DK get his damage boost. Because he needs that 1.5 times accuracy. This is... And also, we're also forgetting that it gets doubled with archers. Alright? So, I mean, that's just even more crit on the archers specifically. Not to mention they already have a talent that gives them crit chance as well. Archers are by far the easiest one to get to 200% crit chance. What does 1.5 accuracy do to Divine Knight? It gives him his damage buff from his refinery ranks. Demon Timekeeper is a bot, I'm convinced. Why is he a bot? I feel like by the time you can add him it, you don't need to add him it though. Low S for me, not call over Call Me Ash. I still, th I still think it's stronger than Call Me Ash. This literally helps you in every part of the game. I didn't know that had an accuracy requirement. That's all I said, low S. Actually, that's a Squire buff. Shut up. It's because you actually leveled FMJ. I mean, Shaq. Oh, he streams on the Discord like 24-7? Yeah, let him be. I've talked to him enough. He's good stuff. He's a good guy. He means well. And also, he's one of our... Uh... Isn't he... He's also one of our officers for the one of the guilds as well. Adams will late world five seventh point of shackers to turn into ramping over accurate crit. Yeah, he's an officer. 
Yeah, th th I I feel like I feel like this is this is Shackercy is just insane. Shackercy is so good. Linear, yeah. Rafa just said it here. Linear, no need to equip. Multiplied helps crit and divine knight mid S. I can agree. That backlog looking kind of thick. G time for guild seven. No, I'll keep it away, dude. Timekeeper played Doncraft. He's legit. It's better than FMJ. I would say it's all right. I would say I would say FMJ and Shackercy go hand in hand. To be honest, because I mean, as everybody says, you don't need to level FMJ. Just run food five head. Ugh. But I would say in every so early game, this helps you progress. You need to level this for World Three. This helps you get through World Four. This helps gets you to World Five. Not only that, this also helps your Divine Knight damage buff. Not only that, later game it helps you get to 200% crit chance. All around, super strong bubble, mid S, guaranteed. Because here's the thing, chat. If it wasn't that good, if it wasn't that good, why do I say to level it up every single IE review I've ever done? Realistically. Because you're bad? Oh, because I'm bad. Oh. Oh, because I'm bad. Is that why I've had a shit ton of people come in and be like, Griffey, your IE reviews have helped increase the damage of my account by so much, and I'm able to progress to World 4 and World 5 without your tips. I wouldn't have been there. Thank you so much. Is, is that? Well, we got a fucking, we got a Hearthstoner in chat. Oh, wasn't that handsome? Why would my grandma say it so often? Okay, well, that's... Jack is literally singly handling the most thing to progress World 2, World 3. Most of us would still be stuck without it. Trails off in the usefulness eventually, but literally have upgraded it to progress. Absolutely. So... I think that's a beautiful spot right there. It is an S tier bubble. You want to prioritize it. Sure, it falls off a smidge later game, but to, let's be honest. By the time you get to later game, you're, you're, it, it, it is what it is. Try to hit nightmare bosses without accuracy. Yeah, right. I wouldn't have gotten. I wouldn't have gotten a two hundred sub sub two hundred hours speed run without accuracy. All right, all right. In later game, you need it again. Absolutely. Shack is gateway to mid game. Yeah, this is literally. Shackercy is literally a time gate. A card prior for active money. Busy right now. This is fall off to world five with a sad overload. V man, exactly. Having a high level also help with future worlds. Yep. So this is mid. I, I am I'm more than happy with mid tier S. It's definitely something you should prioritize 110%. Gotta give the S to Shack. Respect the Shack. But there you go, chap. This is the tier list. I'm happy with all of this. Is there anything you guys disagree with? Is there anything? Is there anything you disagree with in this tier list? You have mining power double XP claim? Yeah, because it's it's such an expensive bubble. And it's the it's the slab one, dude. And it's not mining power, it's catching power. Disagree with the far bottom left? What are you talking about mastery, bro? It's world six bubbles you unlocked? It's the expression of information related to government financial interests? No, you. <laughs> And mastery should be C? No. No, dude. Mastery is garbage. I could I could see I I could see kill per kill being a different spot. I could understand that kill per kill would be in a different spot. But it's still super expensive. We still got to remember that it's still green salts. It's still green salts. It's a good bubble, but it is still green salts. Drop shiny down by one. You think kill per kill should be the top of the B? 
Cover kill in my- Oh, in my brain too? It's S tier. I run it all the time. But... I mean... My opinion, because of no bubble left behind, there shouldn't be an F. No, because you don't want no bubble left behind to hit mastery or anvilnomics. I'm able to progress world 405 without your tips, I wouldn't have been there. Thank you so much. Roko, are you trolling because I literally just said that, bro? Green salt's even bad with bargain, plus mastery bubble's cheap as hell. At least it's above shiny critter bubble. Last two bubbles, each of their down one. No, because no bubble left there is an F. But if you level it at one, it will. Yeah, if you level it to level five, Kilper Kale costs zero or one green salts when it's first couple of levels. So would you, so here, would that be better? Top of the pack, B tier? It's probably the biggest winner of having Sheepy. Low A. Buff from something else, doesn't it? Yeah, the, uh, the goldfish buff. The goldfish. The fourth drop, right? No, that, no, that's a different, that's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing, dog. All stat is better than money percent. In World 6, we'd rather have high kill per kill or high shiny chance. Yeah, uh, probably high shiny chance. Probably high shiny chance, to be honest, because there's going to probably be a new trapping. Yeah, there's going to be a new trapper. There's going to be a new critter. I'm going to want a high shiny chance to get that done as soon as possible. If I'm being completely honest. <laughs> Uh, no, Memorial Bubbles is kill per kill, Topher, but it, but it, but it's, it's different, right? It just, it just, it just adds on to it. It just adds on to the full percentage of kill per kill. It doesn't, like, multiply it or anything. Boosted by the green multi, which makes it strong lower than two times claim. You think it should be, I mean, two times claim, though. Two times claim kind of, kind of coming in clutch. To be fair. I think kill per kill should be an A. Above catching. Wait, what do you think it should you think it should be right here? I don't know, man, it's the cost. Like, personally, personally for me. I think, I think, I think kill per kill is S tier. The prayer is better than kill per- Shut up! No, it's not! Just, bro, what the, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? The prayer is dog shit compared to- This has no downside. You're talking about a difference between 80% total damage. Losing 80% of your total damage for kill per kill. When this kill per kill bubble literally just gives you more kill per kill. Are you telling me losing- and that's, that's not additive, okay? You don't lose 80% additive, you lose 80% of all your damage. All your damage is nerfed by 80%, not just 80% total damage. Jesus compared to max level prayer, dude. You go down to like 0.2 times damage. Green salt, yeah, it's green salts. Get 28% from level 50 or something, it's only 9.8 salts, which you'll hit, we will hit pretty quick. Ah, uh, but if you're going from a generalization, Tez, it's, uh... A lot of people don't get green salts very fast, man. Your green salt rank is high, it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, but how many people have a really high green salt rank? We know how long it takes. Green salts are brutal. 9.8k, but we're talking from a late game percentage, dude. That's the problem. We need to talk to this like a generalization. And that's, and that's like, and, and you're not going to really spend that on, you're going to rather get purple salts for green, green salts rather than, you're going to try to farm nullo salts if we're trying to get kill per kill up. You're, you're just going to try to let no bubble left behind level it up. Yeah, 9.8k green salts is a lot for early mid game. Yeah, it's massive. It's a massive amount. I, 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 Taz, I honestly think you just, you haven't spent enough time in early game to, like, understand the true pain of what it is for green salts. I'm struggling with blue salts. You want me to have green? Green are a huge crafting bottleneck while leveling. I don't think you understand. I was here since beginning. Yeah. And you remember how rough green salts were. I remember how rough green salts were. 
Just, just like I remember how brutal Frozen Souls were. And not to mention, it's literally used in all luster gear. Green salt is all luster gear because we had no boost back then. Most of our refinery boosts come like world five, bro. Our boosts, our boosts are late, like like mid world five for refinery speed. Armor is kind of useless. Yeah, but the tools, man. The tools, bro. The tools. Think about, think about the tools. And especially if you have to get, if you have to get all the tools for all your characters. No green salts and tools? Tools don't use salt? What uses green salt, Seth? What you, okay, well, hold up, hold up. What, what, before, before we get to a, a full conclusion here. What, take, what takes green salts? Okay, first of all, your weapons take green salts. Okay, so that's a must. Oh! Oh, tools use green salts! Oh, that's right! Fucking guide guy, by the way! Jesus fucking Christ. Why'd you go play Hearthstone? And also green salts for luster bags. I mean, you're gonna probably skip to Dreadleo anyways. But you need you need lusters just to create the first ones anyways. Green salts for these. Green salts for these. Green you're gonna need green salts for all efficiencies. Green salts for these. Yeah, dude, green salts are a massive bottleneck. Green salts are an insane bottleneck, dude. I I I think I think we're underplaying the cost of green salts. A hundred percent, dude. And then not to mention we're then we then we're talking about stuff that costs purple salts, which you need a shit ton of green salts. Then we start getting into nullo salts. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm happy with my original. I, I'm ha I'm happy with what it was originally. I, I'm 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 much happier with where it was originally. It's too expensive, way too expensive. It's a good bubble though. It's a good bubble, but it, it's too expensive. Way 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 too expensive, dude. You're gonna literally hope no bubble left behind levels this up. That's literally what you're praying for. So I, I would you know what? I'll put top of the B pack, top of the B pack. I say it's above shiny. It's above shiny for sure. I, I could agree with that. I think top of the B pack. If it wasn't so expensive, if it wasn't so expensive, it would be it would be if it if it was a way cheaper material, if it was anything but salts, probably Esther. You'll have refinery running before you even get no bubble left behind. Not true at all. Uh, you won't you won't be at the level of green salts by the time you get no bubble left behind. No fucking shot. Bro, you don't get green salts until you're like almost fucking into world five. I've I've done enough IE reviews to know where people are at in the grand majority, and they do not have fucking green salts when they're in World Four. Yeah, you're gonna bargain tag this. I I I'm I'm happy. I'll change it to the top of the pack B tier. This is why they need IE reviews, dude. Yeah, true. All right, I'm happy with this. So, chat, this is the finalized green cauldron tier list. If you guys agree, if you guys disagree, leave in the comment section below. Tell me how you feel about it. But until then, I gotta get back to the guide grind. Hope you guys stay safe. Happy grinding. And peace out. All right, we're done, chat. We're done. Mastery and C? No. I mean, once again, you know, obviously we'll be accepting of it. We won't be accepting of it. It is what it is. Yeah. 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 G list will help people without the need of IEs, right? Yeah, for sure. Oh, 100%.
Like even even if this, you know, even if a lot of the, like late game players disagree with this whole shit though, it's it's good enough as a generalization that people would understand. What do you think of the top five bubbles in the game? Hammer hammer. I would say hammer hammer. Big P. Power of try three. Uh, arguably Diamond Chef, maybe. Cooking Roadkill. Cooking Roadkill's insane. Larry is nasty. Larry's really good. Grind time is insane. Grind time is what makes high levels possible. But yeah, there, there, there's a lot of good bubbles. There's a lot of, lot of high S tier bubbles. Why is Hammer Hammer below Archer or Bust? Because it's a big ass multiplier. But the, I, I would I would say Hammer Hammer and Archer's Bust is like really really close close to first place. It's almost like the game requires you to use mechanics. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. World Four is correct about having green salts since I'm struggling on blue salts. Yeah, I think I'm right about the whole blue salts. I mean the whole green salt situation here. I don't think I'm wrong on it. I still think you're wrong. That's okay. It's okay to think I'm wrong. That's all right. You can you can think I'm wrong. There's nothing wrong with not agreeing. But what is wrong about it? Is feeling like your opinion is correct and everybody else is wrong. Because it's a group discussion. But when I disagree, I get my IE roasted. See, the difference is, though, the difference is, Pickle, yo, you're bored, Johnny. Thank you, man. The, the, the difference is, Pickle, is you start getting, like, way too into it. Way, way, way too into it. And then you started getting a little bit toxic. So then I had to shut you down. It's one of the players of all time. I think you're right and y'all wrong. Are you saving Adams for World 6 bubbles? Mm, not so much. Not so much. Because by that time, I'll, I'll be able to... I got a lot of other bubbles anyways. You shut him down too far and now he's playing Hearthstone, dude? Yeah, true and real, bro. True and real. Pickle says something wrong that I just have to be right to spite him. Yeah, true, dude. True. It's not right, it's not wrong. So, chat, probably... Probably next week, we'll be maybe doing... The the two most controversial bubbles. The the yellow bubbles and the purple bubbles. The, these ones were the easy ones. But the... Ooh, but the oh, but the fucking oh, the purple bubbles and the yellow bubbles. I'm not excited for. Oh, I'm not excited for. Oh god. Oh god. The oh, bro. But sh sh fuck off with the sheepy. Birthday gift bubble. Tomorrow's catmate stream. Yes, chat. Tomorrow is the catmate stream. It won't be controversial. I'll just be right. I'm so ready to watch the fight, dude. Just put them all in F tier. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm able to, bro. Like when I, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. When I'm when I was doing the edit, when I'm editing the alchemy tier list for the last ones we did, bro. Rewatching some of that shit, man. It's like 25 minutes per fucking bubble. It was out of control. So shocked that you want people to wear 10% sailing bubbles over so many better boosts, because if you accumulate it all together, Tez, the amount of upgrades that you get from artifacts blows any other thing out of the water literally you you're gonna want to run sailor at heart for eldritch do we forget do we forget the sailing has eldritch uh, uh fury are we forgetting that fury is one of the most sought after things in the game right now any percent to help you get fury is better literally what makes most classes playable. You can have charge rate, hammer, hammer, and grind time. True, but that was for the green bubble. 
right? You got to remember, we're not basing it off all bubbles combined. We're basing it off the specific cauldron. That's the difference. Over half the people in World 5 don't have Eldritches unlocked. Yeah, so they're going to be using, they're going to be using Sailor and Golden Hampers for a very ass long time. Eidolon, but I beat World 6 without doing Sailing once? Bro, that just sounds dumb. This sound, that sounds like a, it sounds like you're just throwing. Like, we're talking, like, we're talking about, like, Sailing as, like, we're talking about, like, a boost to printing. We're talking about, like, damage, like, Crystal Stake, one of the best damage buffs in the game. You know, we're talking about, you know, Lantern and Opera Mask, Socrates, Post Office, no, not to mention the Post Office boxes as well, that makes it even more broken. Opera GX, Ancient Artifacts are really big, yeah, even, even normal artifacts are huge. Already insane grind, absolutely, but even getting Ancients, dude, even Ancients are so super powerful. Ancients are amazing. Try to lock Eldritch, but you guys, one of my guys was able to beat the healing snowball. Hell yeah, dude. So like those, the, those are just the types of things that you got to think about, right? You know what I mean? Ancient artifacts are not super hard with a sailor heart. It's more of an Eldritch thing. They're still, I mean, you got to realize too, brother, some people actually have dog shit RNG. Okay. You know, so, so, some people get, like, fucking beans three times in a row from their, from their weekly fucking pet grind, right? And that Sailor at Heart helps people, helps people snowball. And also, Sailor at Heart, you unlock Sailor at Heart before you actually unlock the ability to, uh, to get, uh, Golden Hampters. Right? Because, you, because, because you, if you're in World 5 and you're pushing World 5, the chance of you having enough drop rate for Golden Hampters or even, like, crystal, crystal mobs at that point, it's not there. It's really not there. A lot of people don't have that. And we're talking about, like, the 99% general. We're not talking about, like, the people that are already passed through World 5, shit like this, you know. Imagine farming money of all expensive World 8 stamps with a 3-second tentacle eye. Yeah, true and real. 3-second tentacle eye is literally a game changer. Getting third level artifact like Rift thing, or is it get them all before unlocking third level? No, you have to unlock it first before you can start attempting Eldritch. I'm almost all ancient up to Fury with only Omni. Omni, but the, but this is we're we're not we're we're so Omni is good, right? But most people are going to be running either Goat or Arctus at that point, right? So they're not going to be running Omni. Chance of having a high level shaman for the percent you need for the bubble with the cauldron upgrade seems further away. But it, but you're always going to wear it if you're in World 5. You're never going to not take it off. Because, because arguably what you're going to be running is you're going to be running Hammer Hammer, Call Me Pope, and Sailor at Heart. You're not going to run Big P yet because your divinity isn't high enough. So there's no point of running Big P at this point in time. Not only that, You're not going to run Gamer at heart, because gaming is just fucking dog shit. And also, at the same time, you're not going to be running... Uh, the, only, the only time you're going to run Call Me Bob is going to be on your Divine Knight. So Sailor at Heart is basically an auto-equip when you're in World 5. As soon as you unlock it, you're going to be auto-equipping it. Because you're going to pray for even that smidge amount of a chance. Even if it's like 4% increased chance, you're still going to run it, because you're going to want to get those sailing procs to push sailing because artifacts are like one of the strongest buffs in the game. You know what I mean? It's a perfect bubble usage for each class. Surprised to see you're still on? Yeah, we just finished off the tier list. Been with World 5 for like 2.5 months, only have 400 hampers, so I'm getting more from Sailor at Heart still? Yeah, exactly. Beelined Omni fix salts and sailing? But, but but people aren't... You gotta think. It, here's the thing. That's you. Okay? That's not what the 99% is doing. That is specifically you. Okay? That's like saying... That's like saying there's not a lot of violence in London because I've never been stabbed before. Okay? But in reality, in the grand majority, there's tons of stabbings going on. So you can't base your opinion off of that one... One point. It has to be a grand majority's point. 
And let alone Omni's far, uh, let alone Omni's far end, dude. But gee, you're one percent. I haven't, I haven't been, I, I haven't done the alchemy based on one percent. It's rank thirty, pickle. Are you saying my strategy is bad, or are you saying it's always possible? I'm saying, I'm saying the the possibilities are different. What you're doing is probably from a more logical standpoint than what from the ninety nine percent is doing. Right? Because you've been in stream long enough, you've been learning from me, you've been watching IE reviews, you've been watching YouTube guides. The 99% doesn't watch YouTube guides. They don't they don't ask questions in Discord. They don't they don't join our Discord. They're not they're not watching the stream constantly. That's not the 99%. Right? How could you let them catch up to me? I know, because I keep because it's getting faster and faster. It's ramping up now. So that, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, although you're doing a way a certain way, you're doing it from a more logical perspective than the 99%. That's all I'm saying. So you can't really base that premise off of that specific situation. But then we can also sort bubbles on not being expensive when you get to 70% of the bubbles boost, really cheap without cauldron upgrades and other bubbles calculating in. Yeah. Yeah, and also they neglect alchemy for two worlds. Yeah. Stream usually is on when I'm at work. Yo, what's up, Tidville? I'm so mauled now that you have do you're going to catch my red salts. Absolutely. Yeah, that's true. If I didn't have Am Omni, I saw this tier list, I think Sailor at Heart would help. So there you go. See, brother? If you, yeah, see, if you just think about it in a different... See, that's, that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. You need to be able to take yourself out of your own shoes and put, your, put yourself in someone else's shoes when coming to this understanding of, you know, for making a tier list. That's how you make it more unbiased. Just your tips on farming drop rate ovals, etc. has helped me so much. Yo, what's up, Low Crimp? What's going on, man? I just feel like it's a lot easier to ask here than on Discord. And that's perfectly fine. If you want to come on stream and ask here on Discord, I have no problem answering these questions. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying the 99% isn't watching the stream and asking questions. What's Omni? Omni is the elephant. The elephant that gives you uh, one out of six procs every time you claim AFK gains. In my opinion, you shouldn't be stealing other people's shoes in the first place. I mean, if I didn't steal other people's shoes, how would I have an unbiased, accurate IE review? Is there a way to pick up a sword pack I want to buy? I want to buy the pet one, but it shows different ones. It does it in rotation, Shroom. So you're just going to have to wait until it comes into rotation, so you just got to check it every, ever so often, like once a day or something like that. You're right, I don't ask questions, I just troll. Basic 0.0001% mindset. Arika, honestly, you only troll on the tier list. I mean, I mean, like, bro, <laughs> you're so fucking trolly sometimes. I love it. That's why, I, that's why I respect you, Rika, but sometimes, holy fuck, your trolls are nuts. I've been slacking, dude. Yeah, once, yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a very good point, Rafa, because once people get, this is the one thing that, that things that makes you different between a, a player and a teacher, okay? And I, I see this all the time, that, once people get super juiced, they base their premise of how they are because they're juiced, not where they were at that point in time. Right? So they, so they don't put themselves in a different perspective where they're just like, okay, if I was here and I had these buffs and I was about this far, what would I do next? Instead, they'll be like, oh, just do this, this, and this because this is what I did. Because I, am, I, I had this X, I had level 120 alchemy bubbles when I attempted this. You only have 30, level 30 alchemy bubbles when you attempted that. So it should work just the same, right? And it's like, no, that's not how this works. Favorite troll was Hog put slush calls on every character, i.e. review. It wasn't Hog, dude. It was Chass. Pickle. Stop playing Hearthstone. <laughs> Real never used mass sailors, but I did get lucky with god percents. Yeah, some people get really lucky with RNG. Some people don't get. Lava did try to type a future content blog though. No capping. Did he? Oh, he might have accidentally clicked on it. Dude, they're the same ass person. They're totally different. I'm playing Eidolon right now. Uh, last time I checked. Uh, here let's let's take a look at your status. Uh, looks like you're playing Hearthstone. Yeah, it looks like to me. Chat, does that look like he's playing Hearthstone? Looks like he's playing Hearthstone to me, dude. Or to my IE getting ripped apart, who still plays Hearthstone, dude? <laughs> hey, bro. I never said there wasn't going to be repercussions for you quitting as an editor, okay? Okay? 
Okay, bro. I said it was fine that you had to do you, but I never said I wouldn't do anything about it. Besides, that was- that was smile. Besides, that was smile. Whatever happened to Chas? I don't know, he probably quit. Like most of the end gamers. Calling me out, dude. Ah, oh, bro, me? I'm, I'm not just stating out the obvious, dude. I'm just being Captain Obvious on that one, bro. So what was my- what was my crazy- quit because he didn't get dupe first roll? Yeah, dude. Bro. Imagine- imagine playing free-to-play and not getting dupe first roll. That's like- that's like playing- that's like playing like Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail and getting mad because he didn't get a five-star champion in the first roll. Like, bro. It's like- that's- it, that's- that's literally gotcha. Oh, that was actually a low- low alchemy proc. In IE review, I got trolled hard, dude. Honkai. He smiled not in Discord? He smiled in Discord, he's probably just offline. I have seen Chastin's pets, I think he, maybe he does quit deuce -less. It is what it is, man. Would you- would you get a Kiki, dude? Yeah, it- Kind of sad the pet system is worse than those gotchas, though. It's not, though. The only- the only- Jerome, the only reason why it's worse is because there's no anime titties. Okay? That's the only reason why it's worse. It's because you're not paying for anime titties. Two popsicles, bean or frog, not 100% sure. Do you love me? <laughs> no, that's too parasocial. I respect you, Wolf. You're one of the re most respectable noobs that I've ever met. Rates are worse than less free pulls. I mean, to be fair, I can understand. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. But I mean, also, at the same time, they only have one currency. Because we also have green gems, we have blue gems and green gems, right? So blue gems, if anything, are better than all of Honkai or Genshin put together, but then green gems kind of balance that out. Oh, oh, Kiki. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Red and purple gems when? Oh, that's an idle skilling, bro. We'll have an idle skilling crossover again, just so you wait. Can't get green gems in game? Yeah, but you can get blue gems in game. And arguably, blue gems are still, still very, very strong. Blue gems are very, very, very good. I feel like people are downplaying the power of blue gems. It literally makes anything possible. It literally helps progress your game. By, by even, even more than what dude does. I would hard argue. If you, if you, I guarantee you, chat, if you spent $500 on blue gems, Versus five hundred dollars in green gems, you would get more bonuses from blue gems than you would from green gems. Even if you rolled dude, even if you rolled dude. No, dude, dude, dude ain't that powerful. Dude's strong. Dude's really good, but it ain't that strong. You get all pets. That's quite juicy, though. Not as much as the gem shop. Not as much as the gem shop. The, the, the blue gem shop, way fucking stronger than the pet companions. Yeah, the 3D, yeah, 3D printer slots alone are more powerful than Dude. dude yeah, dude, dude, dude is insane, okay? Dude is really good. I won't deny that fact. But comparative? Not even close. Gene Pickle having the same opinion? Well, it's it just, it's just, it's just being straight with you. Because I, I, it's just, it's just a total overtune that people are thinking here. And, uh, you know, it's like, would you rather be able to have my characters do stuff in game than have them brought in the lab, to be honest? Honestly, I didn't have a problem with them being in the lab. I didn't have a single problem with my characters being in the lab. It actually took me some time to grasp the concept and not be overwhelmed of having to run 10 characters. It, it was actually very overwhelming at the start. I was overwhelmed. The final one about Art of the Ball. Blue Gems give limited power creep stuff and sick looking hats. Limited power creep? I don't know about that, man. Blue Gems give more than a limited power creep. Not to mention... Green gems also give gotcha as well. 
The Blue Gems also have a gotcha. We all forgot about Plinko. Can't imagine having to prog all 10 characters with roll 5 at the same time. Yeah, there you go. Besides, realistically, even with Dude, you still have to put people in the lab. You still have to have people in the lab, and you still have to have people in Divinity, because Arctis and Goat conflict with each other. So if you want to have a decent level... So even if you unlock Dude, you still have to throw your guys in lab. So they can level up Divinity and level up lab at the same time. Because you still got that 75 level uh, threshold. You still got that, like, level 80 Divinity grind to do. It's... 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 It only starts increasing that ability once you get past those thresholds. There's still big thresholds that you need to accomplish. Blue gem gachas, lab chips. Yeah, I mean, we have lab chips, and not to mention we also have Plinko. I mean, honestly, when people were totally, totally overblowing the fact that it was gacha, I was like, bro, we, we've had gacha in this game for a while now. Lab 75 threshold, what is this for? To unlock old chip slots. I just wish I had Choco Chip. Yeah, Choco Chip is is insane. We need levels for skill things that rift. Yeah, so I mean, guards are guard cards are gotcha too. Yeah, there's there's already so much gotcha in this game. Yeah, I could see that though. I will say God Unlink Limited is so annoying for me at the moment. I feel like I wouldn't have it that with do. Yeah, but the fact that he increased it to two unlinks a week is much much better. So even the free to plays don't feel like they're super capped out on that because he gave an extra god on Link, which makes things a lot easier to do prints once a week. So we got to level up minor Link bonuses after Dute? Yeah, exactly. You, you can't even hit Dute's true potential until you're, like, late into the game anyways. Because there's still going to be lab farming, there's still going to be divinity farming. Unlocking meals is gotcha. Well, I mean, it's a free gotcha. Dude, what's the best chip to have to build for active Bubo? Choco chip. By far, Choco Chip and the top left doubler and the bottom right doubler. And then, and then double keychain, double trophy, double star signs, anything, and basically all the doublers. I, yeah, I, th I think, I think the biggest boost is the, is the, this, the, the hair prints. I think that's the thing that every, that the, makes it super, super strong is the two times kills in the hair prints that makes it insane. You need to get everyone in Divinity, it's huge for the god bonuses. I will eventually do that once I finish off my grind with cattle. Like, if I, if I end up going into maintenance mode, I'll throw everybody in Divinity. And just get that done. Just get that done and over with, get 120 Divinity. Besides, I'm still building up, like, my, my Poyas for my Divinity XP gain, I'm still building up my stance for XP gain. It's all Silk Rolls, all Omegas, and Cookies. Is there one more slot? Just one more slot? Here, I'll show you. I'll just show you what I have here. It, it's, it's for, this is actually, like, for all characters. The only difference is, is if you're, like, trying to push portals, you'll, you, you'll run two mob respawn pennants instead. This is what I run. So, so th this is what you have for a Bubo build. Oh, yeah, sorry, double pendant. That's one. Double pendant is what we forgot. So, it's, it's, uh, Cookie Chip. Uh, double keychain, uh, top top left card, uh, star signs, pendant, trophy, bottom right card. What's the blue chip? 15% fight AFK. Yeah, it's 15% AFK gains for fighting. And then if I'm doing something else, I'll just go like this and then swap it to skills. And then my active player just doesn't run one. I'm farming would you learn water so biggie for gems is prage and yeah so i mean obviously when you when you look at the grand scheme of things here chat the the grand grand scheme of things i personally think lava didn't really do anything differently other than you can't farm green gems free to play that's honestly the only difference but there's already been gotcha in the game for years okay that's always that's already been a thing Gem Shop is still more powerful than Pet Companions combined. You get, w you get way more buffs in total from Gem Shop than you do for Pet Companions. Not only that, when World 6 comes out, that means there's going to be more gem buffs. You can probably have... A gr you can, and not to mention, you're going to probably be able to get 
green gems from like events and shit as well. Or even even think about this. Maybe the summer event will give you daily free pulls. Ever think about that? Daily free pulls per day for for like eleven fifth for like two weeks. You know, there might be might be or there might be a way to obtain free gems. Only only the time can tell. I think people everybody jumped ship too hard and just. They, that's what that's why I kept on saying is people were just oh just waiting to pull out their pitchforks. That was basically what it came down to. They were just waiting. What's the best way to make it faster? I got 13k per hour at the moment for what pitchful. The, the grand scheme is the gem and ship rotation of shit. Absolutely agree. That's some big cope. Is it though? Is it big cope? That releases some updates on Fridays and Saturdays every two to three weeks, right? I'm coping for tomorrow. Bro, it better not be tomorrow. What is the summer event? There might not be a summer event. We don't know. Magic Lava releases an update while G has his cap made on. If he does, I'm taking it off. Summer event, he fixes the damn chips and lab system in the years they drop. Limited time shop and island raids. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, no, you ain't. That's not part of the deal. I mean... It's tomorrow. I have to wear it tomorrow, don't I? Good thing I have an air conditioner. The fucking, the fucking outfit's hot, bro. Cat made a new update, dude. Divinity, 13k uh, per hour to Divinity and last, need the last two gods. I think that's... Well, you need, you need a couple of artifacts that will help with that. New update video on YouTube with the maid outfit. I will just, I will just record it off stream. Still isn't a beta, so yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit more. And I mean, the game isn't still early access, by the way. It's not full release, so that any, anything's open to change. It's worn it before. I had to wear it on to make sure it, to make sure it fit. I can't wait for... No, you're not... Hadix, you're not uploading that VOD, bro. So, sorry, man. You ain't uploading that VOD, bro. I will, I, will watch, I will watch the YouTube studios like a fucking hawk, and if you upload it, it's instantly deleted. Instantly fucking deleted. We're, we're having... Just stop me? I will fucking stop you, dude. <laughs> as 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 your as your boss, I say no. <laughs> I'm a fucking no. Don't worry, Adix, I got you, bro. Please don't. God, for the love of God, don't. Lipstick ready? It's not lipstick, dude. It's not lipstick. It was it was cat nose and fucking whiskers, bro. And maybe I'll do a couple of dots on my face for the whiskers, dude. I speak for the Hadix here. I want work a strike. It's lip gloss. No, I ain't going full Finster bit, bro. That ain't happening. Hey, hey, nah, dude. Ain't gonna be full Finster bit. You're crazy. It's whiskers and stuff. Just cat ears, dude. I mean, it's the full shebang. Like, I, I got it. I got it all full shebanged. Upload it to Venmo and never fired it here, dude. I'm gonna delete all fucking evidence, okay, chat? And I'm gonna be honest with you. I spent a pretty penny on it, okay? Right back to work, dude. Yeah, I spent, I spent a pretty penny on the fucking mid. Come on, do the full finster. No! No! Why would I do I'm not down like that, bro. Keeping the emote of the cat made, though. You can make a- I'm okay, smile, if you make a new emote. Okay? You can- you can make a new emote for the cat made. Or the cat- or the cat. The cat. You can replace that cat one for- with a new cat one. The Griff- Griffy the real me stream bods idol on, bro? You're fucking crazy. I'm sure- I'm sure you're- GF is in for it, dude. She's fucking laughed her ass off, dude. When when I said uh, it has to happen, post it, bro. True fans come to see it. You're degenerate chat. All of you are fucking degenerate. I hope you know that. I hope you know that. Yeah, we've been going for a long time, eh? I'm not a fucking furry, dude. I I I don't care what you are, bro. But hey, I ain't that man. You know, you do you, boo. But I ain't that level. G is the most degenerate out of all of us? How? How am I? Your Twitter says otherwise? 100% degen? I'm not even, I'm not even degen. I'm not even degen, bro. What are you talking about? Your brother might see it, though. Does he watch the stream? No. My brother, no, my family does not watch my stream. They don't even know what my tag is. Let, let alone... They, let alone they care, let alone support, all right? Dude, dude, my, 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 my freaking dad tried to, uh, tried to sabotage my career, all right? 
We need to recreate this, dude. Hell no. Gma. Gma supports. Gma is in hard supports of it. Imagine they tune in for the first time tomorrow. Fucking better not. Fucking better not, dude. God damn, they better not. I'd be, I'd be a sad panda. But chat, my dad in jail right now. I mean, my other, my biological dad is out for milk, so I mean, I, I feel that. Your dad would disown you in seconds? He actually would, probably, more than likely, he would disown me, absolutely. He'd be like, you're not my son. And I'd be like, daddy, no! Daddy, no! Actually, believe it or not, dude, you know what's really funny? I, so, I showed grandma the purple hair. Bro, she actually loves it. She actually loves the purple hair, dude. And I'm like, God damn it, why does everyone like it? This pisses me off. Bro, she was totally down for it. She was totally down for it. Of course she does. Because it, it actually looks good on you, dude. I hate how I actually... You gotta keep it, all jokes aside. The purple hair is actually great. Because it looks good. Because purple best color. Purple's best color is a good color tone. Bro, bro. I can't, man. I can't. I can't keep it on, bro. Who doesn't love it? Yeah, true. Suffering from success. Yeah, who would have thought a punishment would actually be a good thing? One dignity? Hey, man, thanks for the plus one dignity, bro. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Oh, man, I appreciate it. You know, thank you for the 18 months, bro. Grandma's based, and I love her for it. She's so based, bro. And I love it so much. Ah, uh, bro, that's not what the TTS said. TTS said one dignity, dude. It did say, it did say, it did say, it, did say, it, said, it said one dignity. Uh, that's a plus one, baby. Ain't no minus on that one. Hey, it's a good stuff right there. That's good stuff right there, dude. But with that being said, chat. That is the end of the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I was a little bit late today because I had to go help out with the GMA, but we ended up getting it done. We ended up doing the beautiful tier list. So now we officially have the orange and the green one done. Tomorrow is where I wear the cap made. So, I mean, I guess grab your cameras, catch you in 4K. You know how it is. And uh, next week we'll be working on the notorious purple cauldron and the yellow cauldron which are arguably the two best cauldrons in the game. Thank you for all the follows, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Welcome on in. I hope to see you guys again. Always a good time here in the IBA. If you guys haven't, we had a brand new short just come out today uh, on the YouTube. Not to mention we have Hadix that loads up all the VODs. So if you want to check the second channel so you never miss a second, there you go. Also, if you're not part of the Discord, make sure to join the Discord if you want to sign up for one of the guilds or get all the good stuff, especially the Idol Index. We'll be back at it tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday. So if you guys want to catch it there, you know where we'll be. And thank you for all the subscribers today. Thank you for the primers. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the biddies and the donos. You guys keep the dream a reality. Keep your brother off the streets and keep this fake job a reality. Because everybody thinks content creation is not a real job. So, I mean, hey, I guess I'm working a fake job. But with that being said, I've been a guild master for today. My name is Griffy Bit. Proud owner and leader of this beautiful, dedicated, hard-working, tier-list fighting, totally based, itty-bitty army. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I bless you all the RNG. I hope you guys stay safe. Not playing Hearthstone. Happy grinding. And peace out. Good night, chat. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, chat. Okay, see you later. Okay, have a good night. Bye. See ya. Later. Just like Discord. We're gonna go deep, dude. Don't play Hearthstone. Hearthstone's bad for you. Stops you from getting idle on gains. Just look at Pickle. Bye, bye chat. Bye.